clash of two different personalities, of two different people, of two different sides, of two different challenger and a junglers. A clash of the titans. And as we're only one minute away from loading into this game, all we can think is what must be going through their minds right now. The rush, the emotion, the feeling. How every day they queue up and they feel nothing. But right now, they feel everything. Every emotion, every feeling. At a fucking magnitude of a thousand, of a million. Everything is magnified. Everything is ready. And the game commences. Alrighty! How are we doing today? So, for everyone who is just tuning in, we are in day one of the greatest tournament. Let me just mess with the lighting a bit. The greatest tournament NA has to offer. So, for anyone that doesn't know, we have been doing... A draft recently right where we've assembled all of the top NA teams all of the top NA streamers and <laughs> half my legs are gone but that's besides the point anyways so we've assembled 12 teams five streamers each team all NA 60 streamers in total the biggest names in the scene and we will be doing a five day long tournament in which we will be crowning who is the real king of NA and who will be the first ever winner of the Dantas Invitational. Today we have an insane lineup with game one being Tarzan versus Solar Baka that we will be presenting very, very shortly, just waiting for them to get in their respective groups. And let's just say that it's going to be a crazy lineup. So it's four games. Eight teams being featured today, with the main event being Tarzan versus TF Blade, the battle of the rank ones at 7 p.m. Crazy lineup today. I'm excited for it. Think it's gonna go really hard. And I'm excited to see what each team has brought to the table. Because for everyone that's been living under a rock, every single team has been scrimming against all other teams for the last few days to see who can get best prepared, and who will be ready. So, just so you understand how the event will work. Essentially, before each game, both captains are going to get in a call with me. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a coin flip. Each captain will choose either heads or tails, and the winner of the coin flip decide, gets to decide which side they will be playing on, red or blue side. And then, after sides are determined, Captains will have five minutes to prepare a draft and all that kind of stuff. And then they're going to be shot right into champ select. So it's going to go crazy. A lot of things planned for today that I think will make this an extremely memorable viewing experience for all of you. And uh, without further ado, let's get it started with day one. And also for everyone wondering, yes, I am holding a microphone. And yes, it is a wireless microphone that just so happens to not have a USB cable connected to it. And yes, I also still need to use my headset for an unnamed purpose. But just know that this microphone is a necessity for the stream. I just really want you guys all to know that. This microphone is required because it is working. Okay? So just so, we, just so everybody knows, you know, the microphone is a part of the setup. Uh, okay, nice. They're starting to get on their call. Perfect. All right. So now what we're going to be doing is we have an interview lined up, pre-game interview, with two of the biggest names in NA. On one side, we're going to have Tarzan, the 4X rank 1, James Jungle God King of Graves. On the other one, Solar Baka, the guy who had 1KLP on the most mechanically difficult champion in the game that one-shots you with a million true damage through 500 armor, fucking ignores 80% of your armor, cues you 30 times in lane to to kill you, and gets free gold as well, because why not? The King Solar Baka himself. Okay, 
So how are you guys feeling today? The first matchup being casted for day one of the Dantes Invitational. Dude, I'm feeling fucking good. My team has been practicing. And let me tell you, we've been in the shitter. We lost our first, we lost out of 15 games. We lost 14 of them. But hey, we're on the come up and we're going to perform our best today. Win or loss, you will see a different team than we saw last week. Well, you guys didn't see it, but I promise you, we, we are a team that has the potential to take it all. All right, good. Confidence coming in from Sorbaka. What about you, Mr. James? How are you feeling? I watched their scrims. They lost like 10 games straight yesterday. So if we can't beat this team, I as well have FF, I think. Well, so Tarzan, before we get into the game, the reason why I want to make this the first game of the tournament is because I know that recently you had a bit of drama with the enemy junglers, uh, with the enemy team junglers, Mr. NXI. So can you elaborate a bit more on what exactly happened during scrims and how you're feeling today about how the jungle matchup is going to be going down? Well, Solar Baka uses challenger pick on a master tier player, so pretty unlucky to have no challenger players off GP on their team. Just sucks that like really bad players think they're good, but that's just uh, 2023, I guess. Everyone has an ego and everyone sucks at this game and always will. And anyway. You should not compete in a tournament if you don't think you can win. That's dog shit mentality. Mm. Well, Solar Baka, wait, wait, how does it make... <laughs> oh, oh shit, wait, we what? got beef. Wait, what does that mean? Is he talking to me? No, no, because you're you're you were saying that like his it's just unfortunate unfortunate a lot of people with egos who think they can win. Bro, are you sure like D four off gangplank? You only have no hands. I'm down to do a bet whenever you're ready. Oh, do you shit. want to do a bet to challenge or like whoever peaks higher? I'll play off graves. You play off GP. Ten thousand dollars thoughts. <laughs> yeah, I just stop talking. Okay, go ahead, Dantes. <laughs> wait, their, wait. their team's called Team Silent. They just stop talking like a fucking owns. <laughs> Holy shit! We are off to a crazy start today, aren't we? Anyways, so are you guys ready for the coin flip to determine which team gets to choose their side? Sure, bro. Okay. All right. So on three, two, one, go, you guys are going to say the one that you want, either heads or tails, okay? Three, two, one. Go. Heads. Heads. Mm. Tarzan did say heads first, so I think I'll give Discord heads to delay. Tar what? Discord delay. Or just let him go heads. I don't even care at this point. Just, oh, okay. Uh, okay, so Tarzan feeling himself today. Feeling the confidence. I like it. Matter. I like it. Doesn't matter. Okay, so you got heads and Tarzan gets tails. All right, Joe, are you ready for the coin, coin flip? Wait, hold on. Oh no, wait, I need to flip a coin. Fuck! Wait, okay, wait. Shit. Give me a second. Okay, so in my hand, I have something called. Let's fucking flip it, bro. Hurry up, man. We need time to okay. prepare our draft because it took forever. Just to go, please. Okay. Thank you. Wait, I'm tells, right? Wait, wait, it landed on heads. Wait. I'll, I'll prove it. Wait, hold on, let me prove it. That's a redo. That shit fell on the ground. What? Let's go. You're supposed to catch it in the air. <laughs> I, yeah, You're but I missed. To... <laughs> You're supposed wait, to catch the fucking okay, wait, point. Okay, wait, I'll, ca it, I'll catch it. You... I'll catch. Yeah, I'll, ca I'll catch it one second. You catch it and then you put it in your palm and then you pit on your top of your hands. This guy's just fucking acting at this point. I'm just kind okay, of it got tails. Great. So I can pick our side. Well, you yeah. did two, right? Do a third one, no? No, because it dropped. He's supposed to catch it. <laughs> okay, so he's a bad person is what you're telling me. He's literally just acting for a stream. Can I pick my side, please? Uh, sure. We want blue. Okay. And with that being done, Solar Baka, you can return to your team. That concludes the pregame interview. I wish you both the best of luck. Guys, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. There's a reason why I was picked fucking last in high school in gym class every single time. So I think from now on, what we're going to do is instead of a coin flip, I'll just use my big trusty wheel here. <laughs> so I'll use my wheel here and I'll just tell them to choose colors. I make it 50% and then they can get it with like their colors. That way it makes it so that I don't need to embarrass myself on national television anymore. That is...
the pregame interview. Now, guys, we have a special performance where a very special singer is going to be coming on the stream and singing a song for us. So, without further ado, before the first game, we will be having a very special song. All right, Joe, kick it. Wait, is the music on? Wait, guys, is, it, is this thing on? Wait, can you guys hear it? Yes? Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, oh! Just a dream. Fix the mic, fix the mic, fix the fucking mic. Here we are, don't turn away now. We are the warriors that built this town. As a child, you would lay and watch. Wait, fuck, is the song already done? Wait, they said they're ready. Fuck, okay, okay, just just make them start. Okay, sorry. Um, I'll, I'll make Tarzan. Okay, okay. It's looking like we got a round one Seraphine lock-in for Killa G. And it's looking like, I don't think that's going to be Seraphine top, but maybe it will be. Or maybe they'll put it on the Duo King or Hawaiian Punchy. And it's looking like a round one lock-in. Jinx locked in for red side. So they said, you know what? You want to ban our misfortune? Well, you're just going to have to deal with our jinx. You don't want the busty ADC? We'll give you the flat one. That's just how it be sometimes. If you can't have one, you got to have the other, if you know what I mean. But that's all it is. That's all it is sometimes. I'm going to be honest with you guys. So now... They banned out Draven, mechanical player Draven Wunchuk getting banned out, looking like Yasuo locked in as well, Yasuo Jinx, not too sure what the synergy is there, but maybe we're going to get some knockups on the support, and if we get some knockups on the support, then we're going to have some crazy shit going on, it's looking like Tarzane's locking in, he's sitting there, he's wondering, what am I going to play, what am I going to play, Zaya Jungle, locked in for the end! Zaya Jungle, there it is, so that's a fucking round one Zaya Jungle pick, Zaya Jungle, Recon ADC, a recon mid so it's looking like they got a crazy funneling shot going on not sure exactly what's happening but they're going to be funneling they got tarzan on the on the zaya jungle the surfing top the recon mid they got a support lineup locked in locked and loaded so now it's looking like Zen, Zhao, and Kindred banned from red side. Doesn't make any sense that they're banning junglers when Tarzan already locked in his Zaya jungle. But I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. Maybe they, they just don't understand that. Tarzan locked in Zaya. Yep, we got Solar Baka. We got Tars. We got uh, the two captains, right? Team, team Solar over here. Team Tarzan over here. Looking chill. So that's a Maokai locked in for Team Solar Baka. Not sure yet if that's Maokai support, Maokai top. Guess we're going to figure it out. And now it's time to see what the final two picks are for blue side. The final team comp. They got Seraphine mid. They got Recon support. They got Zaya jungle. And the Hacker of ADC! Woo! Banger fucking! 
fucking lineup locked in for Team Tarzan right now. Bang, your lineup locked in. All right, so now it's time to see what their last pick is. Now it's time to see Duo King 1 locking in the fucking Malphite Sup! The Malphite Sup! Let's go! Some crazy fucking lock-ins happening right now. Some crazy lock-ins. Oh my god! It's looking like Red Side decided to say fuck you to Team Tarzan, and they're bringing out the power of Brazil! Any Brazilians in chat? Any Brazilians in chat? I love Messi! We Brazilians, we love Messi! Let's chant it, let's fucking go, dude! Woo! Let's do a little dance too for him. Oh! It's looking like it wasn't Zaya Jungle after all. Looking like a Zaya Rakan bot. Seraphine mid, Malfoy top, Hecarim jungle. Locked in for blue side. On red side, Yasuo top, Mordekaiser mid, Lee Sin jungle. Jinx ADC, and Maokai support. Now, before we get into the game, I gotta know guys, who are you rapping this game? Are you a part of the team where they have a Graves one trick off Graves first timing Hecarim because he has a million hours watch time in my stream. T -t 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 Team Tarzan type one. Or are you a part of the GP one trick off GP who Tarzan called a D4 at best and challenged to a $10,000 bet? T -t -t Team Solar Baka type two. Who are you guys repping this round? Who are you guys repping this round? All right. I see some people calling the captain of team one Tard Zane, and then another guy called the captain of team two Solar Beta. So we got some drama in the Twitch chat. It's looking like a, <laughs> it's looking like some drama in the Twitch chat right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you right now. Bit of drama going on. And without further ado, it looks like the game is starting okay so it looks like tarzan is not going for the level one invade well that's the first time i ever saw him not do that but maybe it's because he's against nxi this game and right now tempers are rising high tensions rising high because if there's one thing about tarzan it's that he doesn't like it when people challenge his authority and his authority is being the rank one jungler and nxi flamed tarzan so because of that NXI is now on Tarzan's death list, and Tarzan will stop at nothing to make sure NXI lives out the rest of his days in abject misery in game, of course. So it looks like we got the Zyra Khan versus the uh, the Jinx Maokai matchup in the bot lane. Okay, we got the uh, Ignite Yasuo top in the top lane right now. Oh, never mind. It's actually Yasuo mid. So we got the Ignite Yasuo top in the mid lane with the Mordekaiser switching top to get counter pick on the Malphite. All right. So Balin walking up to wave. No one really doing too much. No, uh, no insane engages or anything like that. Just people farming. People farming. I'm just going to say it. All these people that go around freezing waves. Oh my god! Never mind, nothing happened. Anyways, I'm just going to say it. All these people that go around freezing their waves, dude, that's not the way you're supposed to play the game. The way you're supposed to play the game is you push and you 1v2. Push and outplay. Push and outplay. And if you're not if you're not willing to push and outplay, well then you just shouldn't have a kid. Bot to top full clear on the Zane. Never mind, I was wrong. He's actually clearing top to bot. Fuck me. Anyways, so Tarzan, clearing Krugs. Then it looks like he's gonna go for red. Gonna try to hit that level four power spike and then maybe contest Lee Sin on the bot side. All right. And now it looks like enemy red side is pushed in. If there's one thing Tarzan likes more than shitting on people in solo queue, it's fucking priority. If you have priority, Tarzan won't flame you. Unless you don't play the play exactly like he wanted you to, then he will flame you. And then even if you did, if the play didn't go the way he thought it would, he'll still flame you. So the good news is that right now his volume fulfilled one of the conditions, which was getting priority. And now we can actually look at... Oh, it looks like Tarzan's going in for the bot dive. It looks like there's some action going on. Duel King tanking the tower. Mother Fortune might just fall. First blood for the Zane. 
One for one trade, Mother Fortune trading on Duo King, Nikki Taylor showing Duo King who the real king of bot lane is, or queen of bot lane, or uh, uh, monarch of bot lane is right now. So it's looking like bot is the crazy lane. It's looking like NXI, once again, as Tarzan accused him of being a folk hero all game. He's just farming, not ganking, just sitting in his jungle while Giga Chad Zane full diving, turret diving at level 4, a full HP enemy bot lane. That's a proactive JG motherfucking DI double F right there. So it's looking like Solar Baka in the mid lane matchup, resetting right now, getting a buy because he's up. 15 CS on the enemy mid laner. Got the CS lead in the mid. Got the CS evenness in the top. Got the jungle 1 KP versus 0. Bot lane. I guess they're even. They're actually not even, but we'll just say. Well, I mean, technically, she. I mean. I mean, Jinx has a kill. Zaya doesn't, but Zaya's up 20 CS. But one kill is actually worth 16 CS in terms of gold value. Therefore. I think that we can actually say that it's like technically even Tarzan doing the fucking dragon. He doesn't give a fuck right now. He's just saying, you know what? Come drag. But it looks like enemy red is collapsing. As far there is a team fight breaking out. Tarzan gets a smite. Duo King doubling two people. Tarzan getting Q after Q after Q. Spamming that helicopter. Zaya knocked up. Solar Baka getting a, a kill or a double kill. Triple kill on the Jinx. Triple kill on the Jinx. Oh my god. There is some action going on right now. Holy shit. Malkai went in for the flash W to root even though he was still in W range. But you know what? The play worked out. So respect. Flashing for damage. Respect. Respect for fuck's sake. Fucking bastards, dude. The 4v4 in the bot lane going in favor of Team Solar Baka. And I can tell you right now, Solar Baka is sitting there with a smile on his face. Because Tarzane flamed him, and now it looks like his game is in a good state. So looking at the game set right now, it looks like red side, most fed player, Jinx. The other thing about it though, is Jinx is also the most low elo player. So now we're going to be able to see, does low elo versus high elo actually matter in a skill difference? Because I'm going to be honest with you guys, when I was silver, I played against master players in ARAM, and I actually solo killed them. So. In my opinion, I think that there is no such thing as a skill difference between elos. The only skill difference there is, is iron to silver. Everything after gold, it's just luck. Oh, if you spam 500 games and get lucky, yeah, then you'll get challenger. But if you're unlucky, you could spam 500 games, and even though you could play at a challenger level, you'll be stuck gold too. Fucking 50 LP, dude. I'm just going to be honest. So now we're going to see. Can Nikki Taylor with a 4 and 1 start, with a 400 gold shutdown, carry her team. Oh, looking like a top lane play is going on. Tarzan going in for the chase. Shuggy missing the E. Tarzan waiting for the shield to expire. Getting the kill, and he lives. There we go. Now that the demons are out of the way, let's focus on the things that actually matter. Trick question, nothing actually matters. Life is meaningless. Everything we do will fade into nothingness one day. The universe is infinitely big in comparison to us. Our individual lives mean nothing. Our individual enjoyments mean nothing. In the grand scheme of things, the only thing that matters is getting a high rank in League of Legends. And that's why you gotta drop out of school, quit your job, Start forcing your parents to give you their paychecks and then just commit full time to playing league. I don't care if you're gold. I don't care if you're platinum. I don't care if you want to become a doctor. The only doctorate you're going to have is in fucking the jungle world after you watch my videos. God damn it. And that's just facts right there. So it's looking like nothing's really going on right now. Dragon will be respawning in uh, one minute. Baron spawning in 10 minutes. Herald spawning soon as well. I didn't even see which team got Herald because I was too busy having a monologue. But it looks like Tarzan picking up the Herald for blue side right now. Now, let me just say something. I'm the kind of guy that always says, you know, why would you sit there? Oh 
my god! Shutdown on mechanical player! Zaya takes the 700 gold! Is Navkan gonna fall? Goes for the flash W! Fucking ends! Solar Baka and XI looking to do something! Hawaiian Punchy shielding to Oking! Hackerim coming in from the side! Alt! Two man alt! Charm! Feared! Getting shit on! Oh my fucking god! Jenks alt coming from base doing fucking nothing! Shuggy is going to fall! And the game is now even again! Tarzan bringing it back from the brink! <sighs> Look at the Maokai Flash W try not to smile! <laughs> <laughs> That's the second time he's done it this game, and I'm gonna be honest, I know Navcan only plays supports like Lulu, Janna, and Enchanters. I'm gonna be honest with my boy Nav, I like you, but you might have to stick to those. <laughs> okay, anyways. Whew! Okay, so with that being said, state of the game. Tarzan's team up two dragons. Solar Baka's team down two dragons. <laughs> Tarzan's team up one herald. Solar Baka's team down one herald. Tarzan's team up one kill. Solar Baka's team down one kill. And that's the current state of the game. It's looking like Shuggy versus Killer G in the top lane. It's looking like a bot side potential river fight. Tarzan ghosting for Solar Baka. Saying, you know what, Baka? You want to fucking call me out on my fucking interview? Well, you're going to get shit on. And then Tarzan takes down Solar Baka. And now Tarzan going in 1v fucking 4. He doesn't give a shit. This is the thing about him. Tarzan, he doesn't believe in a thing like winning when you're up 1 kill or 2 kills. Tarzan's either, either going to win up 20 kills or he's gonna make sure his team solo loses the game. He's just like that. He wants to make sure that he just gave the shutdown to Nikki Taylor, who then proceeded to maybe die. Well, she did die. It's not maybe. But now Zaya's fed, and it's looking like Nikki Taylor's also fed. So we might have a battle of the 80 carries in the bottom roll right now. The one thing about this game that I will say, as a Hecarim player myself, the best Hecarim world, some might say the best hecarim world all with brain cells would say right is that hecarim versus that comp is actually not fun at all because you try going in mordekaiser alts your ass what are you gonna do then legit what are you gonna do then he brings you to brazil what are you gonna do then what are you gonna do then so the thing about this game is that tarzan is in essence their entire damage zaya isn't really a high output like damage output adc and seraphine Rakan, Malphite are just there fulfilling support roles. So if Tarzan gets ulted and he doesn't buy Quicksilver Sash, then nothing can really be done. So even though this game is looking good for the Zane right now, they will need to make sure that they secure dragons because as the game goes later, and Lee Sin, Yasuo, Jinx start coming more online and becoming bigger threats, there will be some problems that might just arise. So now it's looking like Duo King Mechanical Player dueling in the mid lane. Duo King dueling. Right? That's a pun. Because it's like Duo King remove the K. What do you have? Duo Wing. Duo Wing in the mid lane. 2v0 on the turret getting the mid tower. Mid priority. That's what's going on right now. I'm going to be honest with you. The blue side is up. One turret. They are up. A herald. Well, actually, no, they're not. They're even in heralds. But Duo King is getting caught. Mechanical player is auto-attacking. Duo King going back in randomly to tank it for Zaya. But then Zaya still gets it regardless. Hakrim zooming in. Four-man knockup by Killer G. Tarzan going for the kill on Navcan. Navcan flashing. Tarzan getting the double kill. Diving under tower. 1v2. Duo King tanking. Mechanical player coming back in. Hawaiian Punchy throwing out skill shots. And and it's a 1-4-2. It's a 1-4-2. All of that for a 1-for-2. All of that for a 1-for-2. It's like when you sit there and you go and you queue up for league game and there's 10 dodges. 3 enters. You have to dodge. You queue up again. 3 more dodges. You get in a game. Your ADC loads in, says, sorry guys, my mom just got home, I need to leave at 2 minutes, your team 15 minute FFs. And then you're just sitting there like all that built up, for what? For what? For what? What was this even for?
You know what I mean? Or it's like one of my friend's brothers. He sat there and he was in university, about to finish his degree. One month away from finishing his degree. And do you want to know what he did? I'll tell you what he did. He dropped out because he wanted to play Fortnite all day. Because that was when Fortnite just got released. And he didn't even stream or make content. He literally just stayed home for 20 hours a day playing Fortnite. And he did this for about 8 months, took another year off school. And now he has to go back to school because let's just say it's not going too great for him right now. But you know what? It is what it is. Tarzan securing vision around the Baron area. Looking like Duel King is getting vision as well. Warding. I heard recently in their comms, Tarzan said Duel King never fucking wards. And then Duel King said, oh yeah, find me proof of that. And then there was a big battle between the two. The battle of reality. But only one reality could be right. And it looks like Duel King is placing more wards. And now it's looking like NXI landing the Q on Duel King. A TB coming in from red side. NXI looking for the re recast of Q. Sorobaka ulting off the lead kick. Mordekaiser sending Tarzan to Brazil. Doing damage. But red side is just getting shit on. They're just getting fucking shit on. Mechanical player has 20 kills on Zayo. Hawaiian punchies keeping her alive forever. And there's just nothing they can do. Tarzan picking up the Sunder Cleaver. My mom checking in on me. Yeah? What? Yeah, I'm good. Alright. So Tarzan with the Divine Sunder Black Cleaver and the Ninja Tabby or Plated Steel Caps. While Mr. NXI on the red side who called Tarzan dog shit is sitting there with a lonely Gore Drinker Black Cleaver. And you're just sitting there wondering what is even going on right now. What is even going on right now? What is even happening? Who knows what's happening nowadays? I opened up Twitch art section today. And I saw a stream title that I never thought I would see in all my years on Twitch. 18 plus ASMR twerking. And it was just a guy streaming a TikTok compilation of girls twerking. But that's besides the point! Tarzan is 1v5! But it looks like he got taken down. Tarzan just got taken down. Red side down 10 kills. But they just got the shutdown on Tarzan. Can they bring it back? It looks like blue side securing the fourth dragon, getting the soul, getting the game winning advantage, and they're gonna set their eyes towards going down mid. And me bot lane, or I mean blue blue side bot lane. Oh wait, never mind. Fuck the blue side. <laughs> I have nothing to say. I have absolutely no words. I have absolutely nothing to say. Kill a G slapping the fucking Krugs out of NXI's disgusting hands and then just alting away without a singular fuck given. This man has sat there, split pushed the entire game, 15% kill participation, and now instead of using his ult to initiate a fight, he uses it to move one unit away, even though he wasn't even getting chased just to show maximum disrespect that's a giga chad right there everyone else nothing to say killer g definitely the mvp of this game so far so now it's looking like blue side is walking up Tarzan is looking to shove out side lane top. Killer G pushing out bot lane. Hawaiian punchy dual king mechanical player laying siege to the enemy mid lane. Sitting there, daring the enemy to walk up to them. Daring them to show their face. As they sit there and they do damage. Cross, multiply, divide, fucking fractions, calculus, trigonometry, three man seraphine out! And just like that, two red side members fall, Solar Baka falls, Tarzan tanking tower out of BM, but it just won't be enough for red side. They gave it their all, but it just won't be enough.
blue side, shoving the bot towers, getting the bot inhibs, killer G looking rock solid while he just solo hits the enemy top lane tower for no reason while the rest of his team ends and now he's farming, not even autoing the nexus or the nexus towers, but now he just auto attacked a singular nexus tower once and he's helping his team end the game. And that concludes game one. The first ever game of the Dantes Invitational and Team Tarzan takes the win. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have a little post-game interview. We're going to bring in Tarzan and Solar Baka and get their thoughts on everything. Solar Baka, what do you have to say for yourself? Or Odin at Dragon? And then bad things happen. That's all I can really say. All I can really say is we get a rematch in the future. That's about it. Well, they play, after getting four out like that, getting four at Dragon, I would think that they're like a little bit mentally shot. But no, they have pretty good mental to be able to like still play consistently, not tunnel vision, um, to still go for those uh, fights bot lane, especially for the two v two bot, and then going for um, Harold. Mm -hmm. So Tarzan, it looks like Solar Baka is complimenting your gameplay. He's very, very, very graceful in defeat. What do you have to say to him now? <laughs> we banned Gangplank, their top or their jungler's Diamond 4. It's very hard to win, I think. <laughs> well, Tarzan, yet again, sits there, sees Solar Baka offering his hand and just slaps it away, saying, fuck <laughs> off, for <laughs> no reason. So, anyway, so that being said, Solar, you did say you guys would get a rematch in the future. The only way you're getting a rematch, though, is if you manage to make it past the round robin. And since you're off to an 0-1 start, you're going to have to pick it up in future games. Yes, sir. That's the plan. All right, but we're I believe in you. Lose. All right, Tarzan, any final words as the victor of the round? Every jungler sucks in this tournament. Sucks I'm down three levels on mid-top every game. But, uh, yeah, jungle is strong this season. Hopefully we can win. Wise words. Wise words. Thank you, Tarzan. You can rejoin your team now. Thanks. <laughs> All right. So there you have it. Game one. Tarzan versus Solar Baka. A battle of the egos. NXI versus the Zane. And it looks like Tarzan managed to take the win. So now I'm going to check because game two will be SRO versus Trick. And I just want to make sure. Bring in Killer G. Actually, type 3 if you guys want me to bring in Killer G so I can get his thought process. Killer G, unmute your mic right now. We got to talk. Okay. All right. So we, we spectated some of your performance in the last game. And uh, I just want you to run me through your thought process towards how that last game went and how you felt you performed. Uh, I felt I performed well enough. Uh... I meant to E into emo on Lee Sin's Krugs, and you know, we just had to get the R out as well. Okay, but can you explain to me why you ulted out when he didn't even attack you a single oh, time? Oh, I meant to press E E to T. So E and then emo. But oh, I so rolled you wanted my... to BM him? Oh, absolutely, but I feel like that's way more BM. So you That know makes you the MVP of the series. Congratulations. Thank you. So... Can you also explain me, run down your thought process, why were you split pushing as a team fighting tank like Malphite? Oh, I'm eating. My, my team's goaded. I can go just go, I can get all the tier 2 side towers, get 2,000 gold, I'm chilling. Okay, but wait, did you mean like you were eating in real life? Like you just went and got no, like No, I'm, I'm getting all the money. So you're getting your money up, not your funny up. Well, did you see the skin I was using? Shamrock Malphite. The color of money. You know what else it's the color of? What? Weed. Are you on drugs right now? No, I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do nothing. Do you do meth? Nope. Black tar heroin. No, do you? Anyways, Killer G, so I wanted to thank you for the post-game interview. Congratulations once again on the MVP of the match, and I'll drag you right back into Team Tarzan. Thank you. Good talking. There you go. All right. So now, everyone, you can use this as some time to get your snacks, get your bathroom breaks in, while we take a short little break and we wait for Team SRO to finish. And we'll put a five minute timer for when we will be returning.
Never mind! Get the fuck back in your chair! We forgot to interview the other player that we should have talked to, who was Mr. NXI himself. So now we'll just be running through all these teams, and we're going to have to talk to NXI. NXI, can you hear me? Yo, what's up? All right, NXI. So, I know that you and Tarzan had a little bit of beef, <laughs> right? Oh, Before the game started. But in that last performance, I'm going to be honest, I want to know your thoughts on what just happened. It's unfortunate stuff, unfortunate stuff. <laughs> unfortunate things happened in the second dragon, you know what I mean? I'm sure as a fellow jungler, you can know, you know, you know, sometimes shit happens <laughs> and you can't do anything about it. All right, so your your thing is sometimes shit happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I now, mean, I think we were in a pretty good position after the first dragon, but you know, things just fell apart. <laughs> okay. Now listen, if there's one thing I know about Tarzan, right? As someone that's duoed with him a lot in the past, something right. Tarzan really likes is humiliation rituals. So can oh, you think. say for the camera, I just got gapped by the Zane. Why the fuck would I say that on camera? Say it! <laughs> Why the fuck would I say that on camera? Did okay, I get no, gapped? Just say it on like camera. Just say it. Just say it. Go. Bro, I'm not saying that. Why, Why not? Would that? It would make him would smile. Say it would bro, make get, him listen, smile. Uh, what you, hey, give me the 10k right now. I'll say it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do you not want to make Tarzan smile? He doesn't have much to smile about. This would make him really yeah, happy. That is true. That is true. <laughs> All right, go. No, make man, him happy. No, I, I can't. I can't make him happy, bro. I got to fuck up in front of it. You're a self-centered narcissist for not saying that. <laughs> I'll put you right you back saying, into man? Team Soibaka. <laughs> All right. Well, unfortunately for us, NXI, like any typical league player, exhibiting the signs of a narcissist, sociopath, Machiavellian psychopath, and refuses to make Tarzan smile. Sometimes, there's just no saving this community. No saving this community. But now we're going to take a little check-in to see how Team SRO and Team Trick are doing. Opening up their streams, it looks like... Wait, SR was in a game? Oh, he's, okay, he's down like seven kills. Okay. All right, so I'll just at them both and tell them to let me know when they are ready. Let me know when you guys are ready. What I might actually do is we could do some sneaky maneuvers and listen in on their comms. Type one if you guys want us to listen in on what's going through Team Trick and Team SRO's heads right now. Yeah, maybe I should have gone crack in this game. Their front line, like I'm just spam hitting it's in this. So tanky. Yeah. yeah. He went tabby. Like, should I go for a Rylai build or is a Zonia's? Get a Zonia's. Okay. Okay, that's SRO. Now let's listen in on Trick. Oh wait, Trick's already done. Unlucky. <laughs> well, now we know how Trick's game went. Trick. What's up? All right. So, an informant has just informed me that your game just ended, and I was calling to see how your first game of the tournament went. Uh, we we fucked up. We made some mistakes. Um, and yeah. All right. Yeah, we, I was just doing a little VOD review, checking out the the Baron, and then you know how you do Baron, and then like you're supposed to go inside the pit. Uh, yep. AD carries uh uh like taking a dab or some shit and just standing next to the wall, gets stunned, and then. Um, yeah. Uh, just miscommunication. First game, our, our yeah. jungler is fucking in Vegas right now watching the UFC, uh, going to watch UFC, and, you know, we, we had to get him in a spot, so it was kind of, like, on the go, but we are warmed up, ready for game two. Bald-headed as SRO is about to get dropped. He's a little crybaby bitch talking about my play style, saying it's cringe, but the thing oh, is, man, he's 55 years old. I'm gonna uh, have to say it there, because that's kind of kind of <laughs> rough, but I'm ready for the next game, game two. Okay. Is all the games done yet? Uh, almost. So SRO's game will be done soon. And the second it's done, I'll bring you guys both in for a little pre-match interview. I, I, okay. I'd appreciate right. that. I need, a, I need a talk to that Don't worry, bald bro. man. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to have the Battle of the Baldies in the voice channel soon. Yeah, damn right. Let me go shave my head real quick. <laughs> right back. All right, all right. I'll see you. Peace. SRO versus Trick2G coming at you soon. And I'm telling you guys, this one, it might just be crazy. Because not only do they have one match on the line, they also have so much more on the line. Because somebody actually told me, 
and this stays between us. But Trick 2G recently got a hamster. And the cartel stole his hamster. And they told him that the only way that he would get his hamster back would be if he beat Sol Renekton only. Because Sol Renekton only fucked up a plumbing job for one of the biggest cartel bosses in all of wherever he lives. So this game coming up, there is so much more at stake than just one game. It's a battle of the egos, a battle of the boomers, the baldies, and it's a battle for Trick 2G's hamster's life, where everything is laid on the line. Because if there's one thing that I know Trick can open, it's a can of pickles, a jar of mayonnaise, and the gates. So now we just wait until SRO's game finishes. Trick, you here? Yeah, what's up, Abby? We're back. We we're just doing oh, some VOD reviewing. All right, SRO, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. What's up, brother? SRO, I'm going to be honest with you. We brought Trick into the call a few minutes ago, and he was talking some mad shit. I'm going to be honest. And he said, you better bring SRO into this call so I can say it to his face. So let's hear it. What do you have to say to SRO, Trick, before the game two starts? Uh, I mean, you heard it. I mean, somebody can clip it and send it to Baldy. Uh, I mean, first off, this guy's crying about my play style, talking about he can't control other players' movements. It really, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I'm, I'm rendered bot lane. One leg, you know what I'm saying? How many challenger players you got, Solo Renekton? One, I got a part-time jungler, and we're, we're going to shit on you this game. I'm not going to ban Renekton. I'm not going to ban any of your champions. You get to play what you want, and you're going to get smacked around. You go ahead and ban Udyr because you're scared. You're scared of the motherfucking god damn. Wait, Trick, give me a second. SRO, Trick just said he wouldn't ban Renekton. Could we have a gentleman's agreement right now that you nah, No, 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 don't do that. No, 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 hell no, hell no. He'll get shit on so bad. Yeah, that right. He'll get shit on so bad. They don't like this shit, man. I'm like a disease. They like, like they don't even know what to do. I go in the side lane. They, they, they fold. They fold like little yeah. rats. So, SR, what is your, what is your clap back to the trick? I don't really have absolutely <laughs> nothing. He ain't got nothing to say. Just let let, let his game play. His game Wait. play is him fucking getting left. He's the Trick. captain. They leave him on an island with me. <laughs> 14 years experience. He's going to get jumped. He's going to get jumped. It ain't just me up there. He's going to see a jungler come down. He's going to get smacked and it's just over. And he's going to look and hit tab and pray to God his team teammates can carry his bald ass. All right. Before okay. we go. That's why I drafted we... him. Let's okay. go. Okay. But before we go, one second. Trick, I just right. wanted to say that we did actually have SRO DM me privately. And he told me that the only trick Trick2G can produce is tricking his chat into thinking he saws his hairline. What do you have to say to that? It, it doesn't matter. He can't, like, he can't say it to my face. This bald ass motherfucker. I'm going to give him a neck and let's see what he can do. His name is Solo Renekton and he's not going to be able to do a goddamn thing. Right, okay. Goddamn thing, boys. All right. So the battle of the two... Oldest people that we have on the roster right now, Trick versus SRO. You guys are going to now be doing a spin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make each of you choose a color one at a time. And then we're going to go, okay? So, SRO, choose a color. Uh, uh Red. Okay, so that's Bro, S. There's like four red. You re Can you count? There is four reds, but that's okay. Trick, choose a color. Uh, let's go with uh, uh, let's go with uh, green for all the potheads. Green for the potheads. What about the flower heads? <laughs> I can't, anyways, uh, SRO, now your turn. Uh, yellow. Yolo. Yellow. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Slots. SRO with the yellow, and then trick another one. Uh, let's go with uh, uh, uh let's go with perp. We smoked that perp. All right, that perp and that green. That's what I like to hear. And then finally, SRO, you can choose one of these four one, two, three, or four. Which one do you want? I didn't know you could get that high. Uh, one, two, three, four. Three. Three? All right, so then this SRO and then trick, you get these three, so it's even. All right, so now we will be spinning to see who gets which side. Jesus Lord, just flip a fucking coin for God's <laughs> sake, man. I can't! Oh God, I'm bro. I'm athletically incompetent. I can't do that. I tried. 
All right, so it looks like Trick got the side selection. Trick, which side would you want? Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a uh, 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 blue side. All right, that's blue side locked in for the T2G. You guys can both, before you leave, do a little final any words before you join your teams and get ready for the draft? I mean, I pretty much said everything I uh, could say to uh, uh, Baldy, but he ain't, he ain't saying shit back. Um, he's just praying. He knows what happened in scrims. The guy is just... He goes through the struggle <laughs> right here. Hey, no. damn right. Who's your support again? Oh, yeah, it's the cry by Baby I.O. Yeah, why can't he just group up? This is cringe. This is cringe. Wait, wait. That's them, guys. Little cry baby ass baby back. Learn the fucking game and shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> hey, that's all. Any final words? Yeah, I'm ready to play. Let's get it. Ready to play. All right, so you guys can rejoin your teams now in the Discord voices. And we'll be starting in five minutes. You'll just both have to DM me your name so I can invite you, okay? Got it. Perfect. Let's go. All right, chat. Now, I need you all to be honest with me. After hearing the banter, the insults, the, the competitive tensions at an all-time high, who are you guys backing? Type 1 for the leader of D-Gates himself, Chick2G. Type 2 for SRO. Trick 2G on the top lane matchup, the battle of the captains. Trick 2G versus SRO Megalol, already fighting it up in the top lane. Darius versus Trundle, two melee fighters that excel at just getting in deep and making sure that their opponent knows exactly what's about to happen. Now, the only thing about Darius, right, is that that champ, when he sits there and when he gets his level 6 and he gets his ult, then he might outscale Chondal. But in the earlier levels, Trick will have the advantage. Sitting there, smacking him around, clubbing him about, giving him the smackdown of the century. Q, auto, auto, Q, cancellation. Looks like... Steve Kick on the Jarvan 4, looking for a red invade on the enemy bot side, and going for the level 2 gank, EQ onto PG, a PG knocked up, Aoki getting the W, first blood for red side. And I can tell you right now, after all the shit Trick talked in the pregame, he is not happy seeing his balling get first blooded level 1. But you know what Trick, it's fine. Because if there's one thing we know nowadays, it's that top lane's fucking broken. So now it looks like Mikey playing against Aiden Yasuo in the mid lane. Seraphine versus Yasuo. Cookie Man Man ganking top. Sorrow canceling the Zaki. Evading the gank. Popping the ghost. Trading ghost with Trick. And living through the gank. Alright, so we're listening in on comms right now. Which team is this? He ran down. Wait, am I still streaming on my screen? Right. They ping so it looks like in? we're getting some some where's that word after not sure we're facing sr after that it's viper wait after i that, think it's... you're wait i think you're on a few minutes away okay look it's fine joe we don't we don't have to get the comms it's okay <laughs> it's okay it's okay joe we're okay with the comms you're good all right so joe it looks like we're chilling right now Right now, game is looking like it's in an even state. One kill on the Jarvan after getting the first blood. Aoki going in for another kill on, on a Peachy. Value auto attacking, throwing feathers, and making sure that Lulu falls once again. Making sure that Lulu takes the fall yet again. Lulu 0 2 at 5 minutes in. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's not looking too great for red, for blue side right now. Because if there's one thing blue side can do, it's kill Isaiah. Once she eat, once she ults the Zack engage, how can she die? She can't. So I'm going to be honest with you, blue bot lane has got to bring it back. Because if they don't, the bot cannon will just be too wide. And, you know, it's like there just won't be any salvation from the top side. Uh. Oh shit! We're getting a news broadcast. Wait, what's going on? To the news channel live right now. It looks like we have Anami has altered. Holy shit! Wait, what's going on? Wait, Nami! Ah!
All right, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. The studio is now flooded. It looks like Nami altered the studio. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't, I can't even breathe right now. I'm just talking because I have a set of gills inside me. But the thing is that if there's one thing that I can do, and if there's one thing that I know can be done, it's that I can still cast even while underwater. Going back to the game, it looks like SRO's team up two kills. Check 2 g has yet to be on the board. Down 1,000 gold seven minutes in. It looks like though, that blue team's top side is doing well. Aiden Yasso up 20 CS on the Seraphine. Trick 2G even in CS up 1 CS. Zach up 4. So even though there's a bit of a ball lane discrepancy, there still is hope. The water, the mic is underwater. We know the mic is underwater because Nami altered the fucking studio. What did you guys not just witness? Nami altered the studio. So yes, the mic is underwater. Obviously, I'm underwater. If you guys have a problem with that, bring it up with Nami. But it's okay because I just got a text from the studio reps and they said they will be pulling up the drain and that the water will slowly be leaking out of the room. Slowly. All right, actually, it was extremely fast. All right, back to good audio. Let's go. Looking like bot lane, perma priority. Zaya up 30 CS on Ziggs right now. And you know, the interesting thing about this game as well is that Red Side's bot lane is about to get shit on by Cookie. Man, man. We were going in for the flash EQ, slowing the Zaya, double kill on the Zack. Red side pushing tower, getting plates, while Trick just sits on his top side, slanging his shit. Slanging his shit. That's what he does best, just sitting there, a big old club, while Aiden Yasuo knocking up Seraphine in the mid lane. Cookie Man Man knocking up Solar Renekton only in the top lane. You popping his ult, popping the chain CC, and just like that, Solar Renekton only will fall! Trick 2G, four target bans, fucking getting counter picked as well i think actually no he didn't get counter picked but that's besides the point fucking sitting there putting his team on his back and saying watch how a captain plays his game grabbing his team putting in putting him in the putting them in his backpack and just saying look at how i can get this done just walking out of base trinity force or divine thunder we don't know yet in his fucking inventory just saying look at me and it turns out he has neither he only has a sheen all right so looks like aoki with value and steve looking for bot side play dragon looking like it has potential to be taken but little do they know trick 2g sitting there just waiting for them to mess up just waiting to be able to capitalize and really push his lead into the next dimension Pushing leads, pushing P. That's where it is right now. All right, Cookie Man Man, fighting Steve Kick on the Dragon, getting knocked up, caught out, trying to alt with the move speed away, and it looks like Zack is just that fucking broken. Heals for a million off just a single blob, does insane damage while building full tank, and on top of it, has a bunch of CC as well, because why not? Just why not? Build no damage, one shot an entire team, and then also knock them up and be unkillable. Don't we love tanks? Don't we love tanks? Don't we just love tanks? It looks like Steve right now just saying, you know what, I'm going to farm. He has his first item, Gorchinker, completed. Down a bit of farm, down a bit of KP on Zach, but they're even in drags. Blue side, up 1.5k. Aiden Yasuo, farming the enemy Raptors, up 50 CS. Worth a shutdown, even though he didn't get a single kill. 
Blue side said, you know what, Mikey, you don't gotta perform. You just gotta not die. Mikey said, you know what, I got you. Hasn't died a single time on the Seraphine, but he's still down 50 CS and still down a turret. Just hoping that late game scaling. I know a second 2v2 is happening on the top side. SRO flashing out. Steve kick flashing. Getting caught. Cookie flashing for the fall up. Using E. Yes, sir. Safety not coming in. Steve kick EQing out. Yes, or ulted. Wasn't able to find a kill. And Steve lives with 1 HP through the ignite. Now, the thing about this game, right, that you guys have to keep in mind is that you might be sitting there saying, Dantes, how is Ziggs down 60 CS? when he's playing Ziggs ADC? And the answer is, you know what? I don't know. But I will say one thing. Get low is the low elo of the team. So the fact that he's even holding even right now, yet to die, while still getting spam ganked, shows that he knows what's up. He knows what's going on. Aiden Yasuo, the challenger of the team, up 60 CS on the Seraphine right now, trying his best to just make sure that everything gets done. So now it looks like Blue Side getting the second dragon of the game. Second dragon of the game secured for Blue Side. Getting the objectives, getting the gold, getting what they need to get the soul. And I'm not talking about the soul at the bottom of your feet. And now it looks like Trick 2G versus SRO. Go the top lane. 1v1, 1v2, 1v4, and he falls. Aiden Yasuo still has yet to participate in a single kill, but he is up 100 CS. Trick 2G fighting SRO to the death right now. Slap, 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 Q, auto attack, auto attack. But SRO's playing Darius, so he just autos five times. Q's regens half his health and lives. And Trick 2G surviving with one health through the bleed, but still saying, you know what, fuck this shit, and going up regardless. And now, now it looks like, well, it's the battle of the top laners in the bot lane. SLO flashing on Trick and making him sit his ass down. And now it looks like Blue Side is saying, you know what? Aiden, you farmed for fucking goddamn more than enough. You're gonna help us do some shit right now. And there's a team fight breaking out. The first team fight of the game, 3v4. Numbers disadvantage while Ziggs pushes mid. Trundle splitting bot. Darius hovering top. And nothing happens. Absolutely nothing happens. And it looks like for the third time in this game, Blue, Bo Blue Side is going to start Baron. But are they finally going to fucking finish it? Or are they just going to start it and just let it go yet again? SRO matching trick in the bot lane. 4v4 going on. Kick Mikey waiting for the ult. Steve Kick waiting for the flash. Smite. Steal. Value. Clearing boards. Aoki walking around. Applying pressure. And now Steve Kick hovering the Baron. For the first time in this game, we might get a red start. Baron start. And said no. Nothing happens. EQ and out, just waiting. And now, a peachy, cookie man man, get low, hovering the mid. Trick 2G, already got the tower bot, the inner turret, just waiting for SRO to show a little bit of leniency and then swooping in for that inhib as soon as he can. Hovering in the bush, daring SRO to walk up, daring SRO to walk in his jungle, saying, you know what, SRO? I'll make sure that you are the only, the only one in base. But I send you back there after catching you out. Cookie Man Man finishing the dragon. Third drag of the game, one drag from Soul. Blue side about to get a huge advantage with this, but red side's hovering the Baron. Are they gonna start it? They're scared. They won't start the dragon. They won't start the Baron. The only thing they'll start is random side lane picks. But at the end of the day, it ain't the pick that wins you the game. It's the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Cause like, cause like with a guitar, there's a thing called like a guitar pick. Need to like. So now, looking at the state of the game, it looks like Blue Side is yet again hovering the Baron for the twentieth time this game. But why they're doing it, I don't understand. All they need to have is Cookie Man Man hovering in the bot lane. Just hover there, bro. And the second SRO walks up, get the kill. And then if they try Baroning, you have the range with. 
Lulu with Zig so you can just get something done. But getting something done is what's happening right now on the bot side. Both ghosts pop for both top laners. Baron down to 4k, 3k, 2.5k. Oh my god! Steve Kick getting the smite seal on the Baron. Zaya killing the Lulu. Aoki walking in with ults, ulting absolutely nothing. While Aiden Yasuo picks up his first kill participation of the game. Now it looks like Steve Kick got the Baron Seal, and now is the red side going to, for the first time this game, push their advantage? Are they gonna push some P, pushing some positivity? Is that what's gonna happen right now? And now it looks like Trick Cookie collapsing on SRO. SRO with the two man knockup. Aoki, OW, Zaya getting damage in from the side, and Trick will fall. The red side has got to start hoping that their bot side, their challenger bot side starts carrying. And we're getting a replay on the Baron Seal. Steve Kick waiting on the sideline, sitting there and watching. And then eing in, Cookie pressing alt, and then queuing in with the 780 Gore Drinker Smite securing the Baron to keep his team in the game. Zyra Khan channeling the resets together. Alright, so looks like red side did get the dragon. Red side gets the dragon. Blue side does not secure the soul. SRO gets his backstop. Trick getting the turret. 700 local gold. Getting his money up, but not getting his funny up. But if he had a bunny, he'd be getting his bunny up. Jarvin looking for the EQ, missing it on Trick. Trick backing off, applying pressure while his mid pushes and his Zack splits the side lane. I don't know what they're more of, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. People that go on spring break with STDs or people that main Yon Yasuo and get to high low because of it. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what there's more of on this planet in game, of course, though. I think it was something like last year, Tarzan was sitting there and he was saying 50 people with Yon Yasuo and Challenger. But now Chick2G sitting there and he's saying SRO, get that ass over here boy! Smacking him around, giving him the smackdown! SRO, SOLO KILLS TRICK! Trick 2G outplayed by SRO solo fucking bolo boom what up and now red side pushing mid blue side countering trying to de push the wave spot d push but if you went to trick 2G's house you gotta give him d kush Anyways, that's besides the point. Red side doing the Baron. Zack looking for a seal. Red side securing the smite. Second Baron of the game, and Zack will fall. Passive proc, and now they're just picking up the pieces. Red team slays the dragon. Cookie tries for the seal, isn't able to find it. Outsmited three times this game by Steve Kick. And now Getbo, wait, was that Getbo getting his first death of the game? And it looks like Red Side will be looking to push to end the game here. Aiden Yasuo, 400 CS, still hasn't done anything all game. Will he finally, on his one trick, as the highest ranked challenger Yasuo one trick in NA, be able to get something done? Trick, pushing out the wave, saying, you know what, you guys can do whatever you want, but I'll make sure you don't have the wave to end. Trying to clear the minions, just not able to find the last two though. And now it looks like Red will look to try and end the game. Get low, 20 seconds left on timer. Trick 2G, fallen. Cookie Man Man walking up instead looking for Frank. Aiden Yasuo, J up. Lulu, everything up. Yes, Zack getting knocked up. Seraphine ult windwall. Yasuo doing absolutely nothing. GA popped, and it looks like he will fall. 
and it looks like Get Low Respawn. He's hoping that he can do something, hoping that he can alter clear the wave or push out anything or just try to solve the game. But it's looking like Red Side will not relent. And they will make sure that after all of Chick 2 gs shit talk and after everything he said to SRO, that SRO does not lose the game. Value! Hit! 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 Knocking down that Nexus, flashing in for the autos, ending the game. And just like that, game two comes to a close. And just like that, Trick 2G, after everything he said, we're gonna have to see what he has to say for himself. And he has to say about that performance and what went on. All right, Trick. Trick. What's up, baby? All right, we're going to bring you in a call with SRO, and we're going to ask you guys how you think the games just went. All right, SRO, you here? Yeah. All right. Now, I want... Trick, after everything you said in the pregame, can you tell me exactly what just happened right now? Ah, uh, man, I tried to kill the Baldi uh, on the Nexus <laughs> Towers. Those Nexus Towers fucked me up. The game was over <laughs> right there, but I got a little greedy, and the, the, the rage, you know, came in. Yep. Uh, but hey, at least he can go to Turkey, uh, uh, fly, and use his portion to get a new hairline. <laughs> All right. Oh, baby. I saw... I've been loved that for years. Any comments, SRO? I mean, I let the play speak for itself, you know? I didn't okay. die to uh, SRO. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. I mean, they, they, they had the squad. Solo in lane. I'm playing Trundle. Anything solo is Trundle. I thought you weren't going to ban Renekton. What happened with that one? I know. I, you know, they, they look, I don't know what you're talking about. I was like, they didn't even realize that we banned the hookers. I just don't want to play against Alawi. That's, that's the only one I don't want to play against. Yeah. Cause I don't know. You got to be some type of loser to play Alawi. That's me, baby. Me and team. Yeah, Lawi damn right. Well. Yeah. Got that, yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, I, they, it's, I mean, I'm doing a charity stream today. Toys for Tots, you know, fifth year, you know, it's kind of like a charity. Uh, this okay. is his, uh, um, uh, donation over to, uh, Baldi. He needs it. He needs it more. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thanks for picking me as your make a wish. I'm happy to get this W here. <laughs> All right. Anyways, great game, guys. And good luck in your future matches. The next game that we will be casting is I Will Dominate versus Hums. The ultimate battle. So we're just going to check in on Hums' stream right now. Looks like his game is over, so he's ready. And now we're going to check in on I Will Dominate. Is his game over? Looks like it is. So now we're going to bring them both into call, and it's time to get game three going. Yo, yo, what's up? All right, give me a second. We're just going to bring Hums in as well. All right, so, guys, game three of the day. I just want to know because I haven't been checking up with Sally. Wait, wait, why'd you pick that pic? Why'd you put that picture? I look fucking homeless. <laughs> you are Hums, you, you, Hums, bro, Hums. Why'd you, <laughs> you could have chose anything better. <laughs> wow, that was a good one, bro. Like, you got that all out perfectly. I like that shit. <laughs> all right, anyways. Okay. Hums. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I remember <laughs> seeing, you know, this is where I found Hums before I made his career on Twitch. He was literally on Twitch. Ah, good one, good one, good one. I saw him there, I'm like, bro, bro like, you... I gotta get him out the trenches. Well, listen, <laughs> Dom, I'm gonna be honest with you. You're talking about Hums on Skid Row, but I've been hearing yep. about Hums getting Skid Marks because he plays League for too long. All right, so Hums with the 2-0. I will dominate with the 1-1. And now you guys are gonna see... After I will dominate makes Hums on Twitch, is Hums going to repay Dom by spitting in his face and giving him his second loss of the day? We're going to see soon. So, Dom, since you have lower amount of games won, I'll let you choose first color. What do you want? First color? Yep. Uh, I'll go... I'll go red. Why is there only two blues and but you get four red? <laughs> what? I'm go, uh, no, I'm, I'm dude. Bro, Hums, I'm so confused. No, wait, dude. Wait, Hums, not, Hums, they're not the same colors. Hums, how does he get? Wait, wait, wait. How does he? How does he get four reds? How does he get four red? No, I'm gonna make it fair at the end. You're gonna see. Trust me. Which color do you want? Motherfucker, this old, the, bro, the, the only four is red. So, <laughs> Hums, Hums, by oh, the, so by, he, Hums, okay, by the end of the- Give me blue, I don't okay. know, give me fucking blue. Okay, so Hums, you're on blue, okay. Dom, 
Which color do you want? Uh, I'm I'm going uh yellow. Yellow, okay. Oh fuck. All right, Hums, what color you want? Bro, is that a D? I thought that shit was an O. Holy dude, fuck, dude, you dropped out, didn't you? It's fine, dude. It's okay. Dude, okay. you dropped out for sure. What no, the fuck? Dude, no, it's it's okay. Okay, Hums, what color do you want now? <laughs> bro, they're different colors now. Bro, I'm not tweaking, am I? Is it gray or is it all my tweaking? Hums, oh my Hums, gosh. all the colors are the exact bro, same as they were. Bro, they're gray! Yo, no, I'm not Hums, tweaking. I'm not tweaking. Hums, 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 oh Hums can goodness. you just bro, choose a color? Bro, <laughs> Hums, bro. just choose a fucking color. What color? They, they're legit changing colors. I'm not fucking Hums, tweaking. I'm look not at my stream! Dom, Dom, is it all the same color? Yes or no, Dom? You can't no, gas bro. like it's the same as before, bro. It's the Hums! same as before, bro. Hums! Did you you asked the crackhead. You, you you just asked the crackhead. He's having a fucking episode, bro. It's changing colors. <laughs> no, dude, uh, the okay, colors are all, all the right. same. Choose one. Go. Changing colors. Uh huh. Yeah. Hums, um, you can't gaslight me. Choose a color. Bro, I fucking the other blue. The other blue. The other blue. The this. The dark blue. Okay. All right, Dom. Wait. Okay. So now for the last four, what we're gonna do is it's one, two. Three, four. Dom, you get to choose one of these. What do one, you mean one, two, three, four, bro? They're okay, just ju no, you need to say one, two, three, or four because then Hums gets the other three so that you guys are even on the spinny wheel. Oh, okay, bro. I'll go. I'll go two. All right, there you go. Dom with two, and now Hums. You got this. All right, are you guys oh, ready for the- flip a fucking coin? No! I, I, no, dude, I, is, no! I, dude, I, no! Stop! I'm athletically incompetent! Okay, let's go. All right, it's time. Spinning wheel. All right, Dom, it looks like you won. Which side will you want for your game? We want blue side. We want blue side. All right, Hums, you have All anything right. to say to that? Uh, no. It's yeah, fine. I know you don't because you're part of the Crips. You're a Crip member. Huh? Repping that red. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so you guys can go back to your respective calls, strategize, and I'll ask you for your names, and we'll get in a game in five minutes. With that being said, it looks like we will soon be starting game three of I Will Dominate versus hums now i want you guys to be honest with me if this was the matchup that you guys were the most hyped for today type one if the matchup that you guys are the most hyped for today is tarzan versus tf blade type two i'm seeing a lot of ones a lot of ones couple twos 50 50 split but now the question is the question is who here thinks Team Hums, currently 2-0 is going to win. Type 1. If you think I will dominate, will redeem himself, type 2. What's going to be happening? See, and again, a little bit of splits. A little bit of splits going on. Wait, why did I close my lights? Oh, I guess I actually chill. Okay, guys. As we sit here and we witness the beginning of Game 3. It looks like for the first time, there might be a little bit of shenanigans going on in an early play. Because up to now, no team has dared to deviate from either a full clear pathing or a buff start. Up to now, every team has decided that they were just going to sit there and play every game normal. But it looks like TF Blade's father, Chase, done, all waiting to invade... K K-Man on his red side. They're saying, K-K-Man, you want to start your red? K-Man, you can get invaded. And it's looking like we might have a little early invade play going on right now. So as we sit here and we lay in wait, witnessing, it looks like blue side will be going for an early invade. K-Man, wanting to start his Raptors, now just gets fucked. Chase, starting the buff. Starting their camp. Is he gonna have to smite this? It looks like he just might. He's waiting. He's waiting. K-Man backs off. Chase secures a raptor start. And now we're watching and we're seeing 
the bot lane matchups, the mid lane matchups. Nikic looking for roams, not really finding anything. Looking to maybe mess with the enemy jungler, get positions, nothing happening. I will dominate. Trundle versus Malphite. Getting a trade, looking for the kill. Lethal Temple procced. Getting the auto? Doesn't finish the job. And now it looks like Malphite got his reset off. The low elo player of the team, Silsoul. Swapping in for Godly Cabbage for everyone who remembers the player that was found out to have applied using a boosted account. Balling, looking for a play. Nikic getting rooted, ignited. Master looking for the fourth shot, gets it on Hums, not able to find the kill. Wait. Oh, okay, I know it is now. No, I'm good. Alright. Oh shit! Hums randomly gets first blood out of nowhere, but Jin manages to trade a kill, and it's a 1 4 1 for Dom and Hums. And I'm looking at Tab, I'm looking at the scoreboard, and I'm seeing two things. The first one is 10 people, 10 different champions in a game. And the second one is I will dominate, up 22 CS. Chase, looking for a dive, getting the autos, spell shielding the E, taking Dave Mon down for the second kill of his team. And now Kraken walking up, looking for the root on Zaya. Hums looking out of position, dodge the Jin W and is able to escape. And now it's looking like even though Red had a draft kingdom, Blue Side is actually taking the early game lead. Nikic going for the hex flash W onto Jin, and Zyra gets taken down. And now it looks like nothing is really happening. Both teams just kind of content with where they are. No one really pushing for more. Dragon spawn has, is there. Dragon has spawned. But up to now, it looks like no one's going to try anything for it. No vision around Dragon Pit. No blue side vision. K-Man could look for the Dragon with his mid lane priority. Chase securing top crab. And if there's anything we've learned from the GOAT Tarzan, it's that the jungler that gets more crabs wins the game. Dom taking bad trades. Silso could look for an ult all in soon. And it looks like K-Man has started the dragon. Bot has prio. Mid is even wave state. And Chase is farming wolves. And it looks like Chase caught on that the enemy is on Dragon, but it might be too little, too late. Never mind, he's just coming for the full clear. And now as we watch, it looks like everyone is just kind of playing safe. No one trying for kills, no one trying for trades. We locked in Trundle Top, they locked in a tank that can build armor. Good luck doing anything. Oh my god. Discord is just down. Okay. Hold on. Okay, he's dragged in. We're good now. Now it's saved. It's saved! But the game is looking like it's just getting started. And now, as Hums secures more kills, his Kraken Slayer is now completed. First item of the game on red side. Dave Mon taking Dunn's ult, looking for potential play, and bot lane just opting to reset with the jungler. Plate one down, plate two falls shortly after, looking for a third plate. Just like me at the Christmas dinner fucking uh all you can eat buffet, dude. I'll get three, four, five plates. I don't care if I'm up 20 pounds after I leave grandma's house. It is what it is. That's what New Year's resolutions are there for. So you can sit there, go to the gym for a few days, feel like you're doing something, and then watch as Dave One gets taken down by Dunn and Chase. Silso trying to hold mid, seeing if he can do anything, but then all the while, I will dominate. Knock, knock, knock. Here's the IRS knocking on your fucking turret top, taking all your money, taking everything you own, and taking another kill. But Zyra lives! Never mind, gone. 
And now, as Trundle finishes his divine sunder, all we can think it is truly divine how he has sundered the enemy top side, completely taking over and up 65 CS, clapping Dave Mon's cheeks and showing him who's boss. And now it looks like Dave Mon's going for the roam top as a bot dive occurs and Bot is getting dove, Jen is getting killed, Zaya popping the ult, fucking Trundle getting the TP, Chase killing the Zaya as K-Man falls to Zyra and Chase looks at Nikic and says you will not escape. But then he escapes anyways, it is what it is. And now... Team Hums up two dragons, better comp, better draft. But there's one thing that the blue side does have as an advantage. And it's the fact that I Will Dominate has officially turned 45 years old this past week. He is older than the combined ages of both enemy ball laners he has against this game. With his experience and his old age wisdom, will he be able to solo carry his team to victory chase soloing the herald gonna take it down might look to open up the enemy mid lane as silso and k-man are just chilling watching waiting for an opportunity to go in okay herald dropped mid red wave Pushed in, Herald Eye has been hit. They're looking to kill it, but they're unable to. Herald takes tower and mid lane falls. It's now looking like red side is fighting, blue side is fighting, everyone is fighting. Especially two random middle-aged people out there on the verge of divorce while their child just sits there listening to their dad calling their mom for the 50th time that night and he just queues up for his next game of League of Legends, completely uncaring about the situation around him. And as this happens, it looks like the dragon is down to 4k. The dragon is down to 3k. Zyra is dead. Cassiopeia is dead. Dragon for red side. I will dominate has fallen. And red side takes the lead. I will dominate just got dominated by a silver. And red side takes the Baron, channels the resets, and looks for a push down mid. And it looks like Dave Mons off to the side, looking for a pick on Trundle. But the old man has still got his moves, and he dodges the Silas E, securing safety. K-Man off to the side, looking for a flank. Blue Trinket having the vision, and Chase for the first time this game, getting his Raptors invaded. Red side looking for an engage. Zyra ulting, looking for the kill on Rakan. Rakan falls, but Tia Blade's father off to the side looking for autos, backing up. Fucking Taz gets ulted. Rise us all gets a one man ult. Fucking Cassiopeia dies. Hans getting the kill, ulting to safety and taking. I will dominate down. Zyra has fallen. Jin is ulting. Hums is getting shit on. But he fucking lives. He lives. And Jin just sits there thinking, why the fuck could I just not land my last ult? Sitting there, regrets plaguing his mind. Why did I just not land that last ult? And now it looks like I will dominate, getting the split off on the enemy top lane inner turret. Dave Vaughn sitting there with the Everfrost, getting the CC, looking for some trade damage. But Chase off to the side, ulting on Silas. Silas getting feared. Fear lands. Recon saves Silas and. Now, blue side is caught, and they fall yet again. Trundle fallen, Nocturne fallen.
My grandma last year in the middle of winter, fallen, had to get a hip replacement, and now she can't walk right. God bless her. And now as we look, blue side up four dragons with the soul. Fucking 15 kills to six, up nine kills. Trundle getting shit on yet again. Worthless champion doing absolutely nothing. Dog shit champ done. TPing in for god knows what reason. 1v3 about to get shit on as well. And just like that, solo lanes have fallen. Solo lanes have fallen. And when I say things twice, I am stalling. But that's because the more I talk, the more I'm bawling. And I hear these people on my phone from my past, and they're calling. And now as we look at the game, as we look at the status, it looks like Silsoul has built nothing but armor items when he is against two fully magic damage dealing champions, as well as Trundle, that steals a large portion of the armor as well. But this could be a 1 billion IQ strategy. Because the thing is that if he builds R MR, when Trundle ults him, he gets MR. And since red side is fully magic damage, by Silso only building armor, he removes the possibility of Trundle getting magic resistance. Silso's a girl? Oh, okay. Noted. Well, guy, girl, doesn't matter. Silso's fucking shitting on the entire blue side team. Walking up 1v5. Maximum disrespect. Absolutely fucking clowning on everyone. I will dominate ON5. His entire team. All for 5. And red side gets another ace. And just like that, will they have the timer to end? Five seconds on Zyra, 23 seconds on the rest of the team, and it looks like Red Side is saying, you know what, we're gonna go for it. And Zyra's AFK in base saying, fuck this fucking bullshit, as the Nexus falls! And Team Hums takes the win for their third win of the day. Leaving, I will dominate to sit there in a pool of his own defeat. And now let's bring them in for a post-game interview. Okay, yo, Dom. Yo, yo, yo. Wait one second, we're just waiting for Hums right now. I just need to drag Hums in. Uh, Undefin. Hello, mate, with the call. Yo. All right, <laughs> so Hums and Dom. Thoughts on the most recent match? We'll start off with the winner. Hums, what are your thoughts? Uh, yo, Dunn was trash. That motherfucker was too busy eating eating garlic dip. He was AFK the whole game. We better than him. Dom, he tried to bully my top laner. He couldn't do shit. He stunk the bed. We, we just ran that bot lane too. Easy. All right. Dom, what do you got to say? Ah, we just made one bad call. If we just don't fight third Drake. And I just start splitting it. We just win this game. So All yeah, right. we're up like, what, four or five K gold. We made one bad call. They have like <laughs> the most brain dead wombo comp known to man. Everyone just presses R. You know, the thing about us, the thing about us is different between us and Hums. Like Hums is just going for like the cheese wins right now, bro. We're elevating we, we got, our gameplay. We're, we we got not, split push. We got what? team fight comps. We got everything, bro. So when we meet Hums later in this tournament, we're going to f*** him, bro. It's going to be fucked up. In game, in game, like, in game. In game. Oh. Uh, yeah, in game, sure. Whatever you say, bro. All right. Well, to that, I just have to say one thing, Dom. I think you did make one mistake, and it wasn't the split push call. Oh, I think your it? mistake. He's was just locked. yapping, bro. Legit. No, like, you, you got listen. Like, you I'm gonna got be gapped. honest. I'm gonna be honest. It wasn't. It wasn't even cheesing. You just got gapped. Simple. We out macro you. Out mechanically macro. Out mechanic you. Everything. All around the board. Out macro? What do you mean out macro? You just went to the Drake fight and we 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 contested it. That's not out macro. What do you mean out macro? We got we got all the dragons in the game, and then you, we played we played the team fights perfectly. Bro, because all you guys have to do is press R. You guys just press R, man. Okay, but then you guys still fell for it, and if you guys don't go for it, we get third dragon. 
Yeah, yeah. Whether you... It's a cloud. It's a cloud. Yeah, you get third dragon. You get a cloud. I start splitting. Like, did you not see? I took I took turret right in front of Dave Mon, bro. He couldn't do shit. I walked up to the turret. I took it right in front of him. If I get whole so why'd you guys... game, it's a wrap. So why do you guys try to contest third Drake? Listen, I just have one thing to say. I will dominate with saying it's a wrap, but I have another wrap for you guys. My arms are sweaty, knees weak, palms are heavy. There's vomit on me. No, wait, no, don't leave oh yet. No, wait, wait, hold on. Well, Eminem. This is a cracking of Eminem. Yo, GG's down, GG's. Yo, don't have to beat all the people in the retirement home. Don't beat them up. What? Okay, bro, I won't, I won't beat them up. <laughs> GG's. All right, peace, peace, peace. Peace. Alone again. All right, but anyways, with that being said, guys, that concludes game three. Game three, I will dominate versus Hums, and now we lead our way into game four, the main event, the final game of the night, the highly anticipated rank one versus rank one matchup, TF Blade versus Tarzan, the battle of the Persians, the battle of the rank ones, the battle of the egos, the battle of the century. And now we're gonna look, and it looks like they're both in lobby. So I'll quickly drag them into call, and we'll get a pre-game interview going. Why? All right, TF Blade. Oh, yo, what up? All right, so wait, we're just waiting for Tarzan to join a VC so I can actually drag him in, and then we'll get a pre-game interview going. Okay, okay. Okay, so now we're just waiting for him. While we wait, how have your games been going today? It's been going good, bro. We've been stomping every game, like 20 to 5, 20 to 4, 20 to 7, 10k really? gold lead. Yeah, it's been going crazy so far. Three games in a row. Perfect. I'm so, in 12, 0, 3, 3, 1, 11, and 7, 0, 4. All right, Tap Plate, are you still here? Yep. Okay. Before we, before we get Tarzan in the call, though, are you guys confident that you are the best team of the tournament so far? Dude, if we were in BIOS, would we sign up? Nah, you have to be confident. But yeah, for sure. I believe in our teamwork. Tarzan! Uh, yeah. Alright, Tarzan, how are your games going so far? What's the score looking like? 0-3. What? No, you won the first game. 1-2. and two. All right, so TF Blade's team is currently 3-0. and oh. Do you think that you have what it takes to dethrone him? Of his no losses run. He plays the most broken role in the game. And he flames his team in scrims. <laughs> I don't know. It might be hard. I can't be that toxic to win. Might be a, might be a rough one. Oh, TF played. Tarzan just called you toxic. Any rebuttal? No, no, no. I'm like speechless. You know that point that like... <laughs> I can't. It's just too... <laughs> it's just Persian people are I'm... really toxic. So I feel True. bad for TF played. It's fun. <laughs> Dude, well, the boy boy is the only exception from us. Yeah, boy, boy. <laughs> well, <laughs> Poor guy, he's not even playing anymore. <laughs> well, TF played, I'm going to be honest with you. It looks like your ADC horsey's in my chat saying that it's completely true and you flame him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> horsey, don't worry, don't worry. He's, he's... All right. So if you guys aren't currently aware, the way that the side selection is picked is because I have a spinny wheel. And what you oh, guys are... do it? That's good. Uh, yeah, so now you guys are going to be doing the spinny wheel to determine who gets first pick of side. All right, let's see it. All right, there we go. All right, so since Tarzan is starting off with more losses. Fuck, where's my thing? Now we're 2-1 else getting. kidding, if that matters. I think they're 3-0 anyways, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait, fuck. Okay, here it is. All right, so Tarzan, since you are 2-1 and one and you have lost the game so far, we're going to let you start off with the first color. What do you want it to be? How many colors are there? Uh, no matter which color you choose, there's going to be an even amount uh, of, like, uh, like Red. of chances. Red? Okay. Two, three, four. All right, Blade, which color do you want? Um, I'll go yellow. Okay. So that's yellow locked in for blade. All right, Tarzan. Give me a uh, blue. Okay, blade. Green. Green. And now Tarzan, there's one, two, three, four. You got to choose one. 
Is that pink? What is that? Yeah, so this is purple, and then this is sure, pink. Sure, give me pink. Alright, so you want Why second like... or three? Two or three? What? Two or three? What, what do you mean? Yeah, so like, do you want the pink at the top or the pink at the bottom? Yeah, like, don't Why don't you right give me now? both of them and give him the dark blues? What? What? No, no, because the thing is, red is four, so you're only oh. allowed... Yeah. What so kind of a like... shitty wheel is this? You got Dude, stand. No, it's <laughs> fine, bro, just give me, give me bottom pink, bro, I don't fucking know. Okay. And then TF Blade walked in for the next three. Alright, guys! Go time. Oh. Interesting. Alright, and it runs on yellow, so Blade, you do get side selection. Which side do you want to run? Uh, since it's B, I'll go blue. Alright, so blue side bought in for Blade. Tarzan, you get red side. And uh, now you guys have a few minutes to strategize with your teams. And then when you're ready, just let me know, and we'll get right into the game. I'm ready when you are, Tarzan. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready, because we already all flipped right. in TF Blade 1, but I guess it's all good. I have to redo it. Oh, let's uh, just go. <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck, my friend. I appreciate you, my Persian brother, but your dog shit. Top wins week. Good luck, bro. Good luck, good luck. It won't matter. No... Okay. Go, 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 go. I'll break her gap. GG. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so, guys. It's looking like now is the main event. The time that you've all been waiting for. The battle of the rank ones. The battle of the Persians. The battle of the egos. The battle of who can flame their team the hardest. TF Blade versus Tarzan. And now the greatest part of all is that if TF Blade wins this game, he succeeds on day one with a perfect score of 4-0. If Tarzan wins this game, then they are both tied for 3-1 and he puts a dent in TF Blade's win streak. So now I'm asking you guys, who do you think wins? One for Tarzan, two for TF Blade. Show me. The king of jungle or the king of top? I'm not seeing enough movement. I'm not seeing enough movement. <laughs> oh All right, anyways. But with that being said, it looks like we're getting into the game. And today, the thing that I like the most is the fact that we have the high elo matchup in the bot lane. Challenger Master versus Challenger Master. In this game, there are no uneven lanes. Low elo. Actually, there is unevenness because TF Blade wanted to play against Seraphine instead of Orn. So it looks like Hawaiian Punchy might just get the lights punched out of her as she gives him first blood, potentially, if he can look for the first blood solo kill. Level 2 popped, E thrown out, queuing, double Q, trading, two more autos, Conqueror fully procced, and he backs off with the good trade. An emerald player versus a rank one player. And then in the top lane, Horsey, a low elo player, emerald, versus another, versus a diamond player, Killer G. But that's besides the point. Mechanical player, Duo King, looking for Kill on Tempest. Mechanical player, auto, auto, auto. Tempest gets the shield, gets the heal, lives. Mechanical player, kiting, looking for re engage, trying to auto and get a good trade, and trade he did. Duo King, 3 quarter HP, Mechanical Player, a bit under half. Bot lane has HP advantage, Tarzan is bot side, will he look for a play? Full clear, done, level 4 acquired. But it looks like Dark Sword is hovering off to the side. Looking for a kill, looking for a counter gank, looking for any kind of play, Duo King knocks out his W, Dark Sword coming in, teleport coming in from blue side, Dark Sword chasing, and first blood! Okay, so, Oh my god, Dark Sword might just fall. Oh my god, Tarzan! Oh my god, Tarzan just got shit on. Looking for the kill on Tempest, but he doesn't find it. And Tarzan falls, and Duo King escapes, and Blue Team starts off with a two kill lead. 
And it's only fitting that a man with the name Dark Sword plays a champion who characterizes himself by being a part of the darkness. Nocturne was the champion I was talking about. But it doesn't matter because Siempre just lands a good trade, queues out, and manages to get a health advantage. Hawaiian Punchy down to half HP. Bot lane just chilling. Nothing really going on right now. Horsey, Killer G, tank versus tank. You could take a guy that's genuinely... Put him on Malphite, he'll have a positive win rate. But Tiaplate's going in for the solo kill, and he finds it, and he queues out, and he lives! Tarzane finds Dark Sword in a dark alley all by himself, soloing the dragon, and he says, Yeah, you want to do that in front of me? You'll see what happens. TF Blade, HP disadvantage, forced to back off. Hawaiian Punchy, trying to farm under tower, might have to rotate to the play. Bot side is looking to secure the dragon. Red side has claimed the Chemtech dragon. And now, it looks like TF Blade's looking for a realm. Looking for a roam, leaving his home. Going up to the enemy bot lane. Okay, oh shit! Okay, so Tia Plate looks for the roam, finds mechanical player, caught out. Mechanical player, forced to auto, won't be able to live, can flash, gets ulted on, and mechanical player and Duo King fall yet again. Tarzane sitting there in call right now saying jungle is really strong this patch guys and he's calling duo king dog shit And now as we look at the game red side up a dragon blue side up five kills up one of the highest grossing Disney movies out there Tarzane starting the herald Hawaiian punchy helping him secure Dark Sword looking for a contestation, but he won't be able to find the angulation. Oh, misses the E. Q's in, doesn't get the reset, gets traded on. Oh. Hawaiian Punchy putting up a fight. Emerald versus rank one. The thing is that TF Blade knows how to beat the shit out of Royal players because it turns out that only days before the announcement for the Dantes Invitational came out, TF Blade has started his 50th unranked challenger of the split. <laughs> He's played versus Hawaiian Punchy 20 times already. He knows her laning inside out. She doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Alright, Nocturne looking for the ult, finding the ult on Duel King, casting the spell shield to avoid getting charmed. Duel King taking damage, falling, Tia Plate on the bomb, looking for the kill on Tarzan, getting the W, getting the kill, getting the escape, getting the double! Blue team dragon down. Red does have numbers advantage. Moth Blade's for pushing top, but it looks like they're not even gonna go in. Tia Plate misses out. Rakan gets a double charm. Zaya looks for kills. Rakan seals the kill. A mechanical player looks for a fight. Hawaiian Punchy, Killer G looking for chase. They're going through the turret. They're trying to prep for a dive, but bot lane off blue side just backs off. But as I say that, mechanical player Duel King looking for a 2v2. Dark Sword ulting in for the counter gank. And Wukong coming in. Tia Plate is following, but he might just be too far to impact it in time. Mechanical player looking for the kill on Tempest. Hawaiian Punchy. TP has been casted. And she looks for the kill, but the die has been cast. Killer G looking for the kill on Horsey. Will he find it? No, he won't. Oh, but it looks like TF Blade's coming in with the TP. Killer G, no flash, no ult, no chance for escape. And just like that, Killer G falls. And now, it looks like even in dragons, dragons spawning 
in a few seconds will red side contest they're down numbers they're down teleports they're down alts mid looking for something adc looking for something building the damage trying to get something done but tf blade is sitting there up 4k gold and all they can think is how is this even possible top will fall mid has fallen and just like that alt coming in from orn misses nocturne nearsighted looking for an alt play will he find it tf blade coming in on tarzan tarzan doesn't have a way to escape orn falls wukong falls and tf blade is nine and oh Horsey catching the wave bot, trying to make sure that they don't get the tower. But the thing is that Baron is spawning soon. All blue side needs is one pick. And the second they get that one pick, it might just be over. Because once Baron goes down, so too does the Nexus. Horsey looking for trade on Killigy. Able to find it, and kill us down to half health. Tarzane looking to contest the blue fight. TF Blade coming in on vision. Killer G has no idea. Boom! What up? That's a fucking kill. Yet again, Killer G sent right back to base. And now, as Bot looks to be taken down, it looks like TF Blade, Horsey, trying to do something. Tempest finds the alt onto Zaya. Zaya flashes away and lives. Bot lane diving enemy bot. And it looks like Tarzan picks up the double kill. 1k shutdown. And just like that, TF played through. And Tarzan is back into the game. TF played has fallen. Mechanical player has fallen. Everyone's dropping dead. It feels like I'm living in the 1200s. And the bubonic plague is in full swing. TF Blade looking for the TP. Dark Sword Amelia looking for the two man on Baron. With TF Blade CPS, they might just be able to find it. Tarzan, now he's aware something sus. He's getting his Among Us sensors. They're tingling. And now he realizes they're on Baron. He's on talking. Ward, you fucking piece of shit. Ward, motherfucker. I will seal this. I am rank one. Baron down to 3.8. Orn ulting in. Looking for a fight. Blue side, all in, Dwoking, ulting in, eating out, 3.7k on the Baron, TF Blade getting picked off, but finds a kill on Killer G, Baron resets, red side will look to trade the, the scuttle. And now Dragon spawns, red side looking for it, Killer G's teleport is up. Will they look for the fight? Red side should drag this out to stall time for Killer G, but it looks like they're saying, fuck this shit, we have a timer. Tarzane secures the smite. Tempe gets a three man ult, Malphite gets a three man ult, everyone's clapped, everyone's getting shit on. Red side wins! What the fuck? Oh shit! Red side fucking wins! The Zend brings the game back from the brink! But his team fucking throws an ins for no reason! It looks like Blue's going for the Baron. Tarzan has no smite. Will it be up in time? Will he be able to steal? He's trying to buy time. Maybe there's 10 seconds. 9, 8, 3.1, 3k. Going down 2.5, 2.1. Tarzan ulting in, but Dark Sword gets the smite and blue wipes red. Funny story about wiping, I actually didn't know how to wipe my own ass until I was like nine years old. So whenever I would go to my friend's house, their moms would have to wipe my ass. I also didn't know how to tie my own shoes until I was 15. So I was wearing Velcro until then. But that's besides the point. 
Joking, looking for some trades. Trying to throw Qs that do 50 damage. Tarzan, Brikachu respawning soon. Malphite missing out. Joking, getting out. Killer G in the thick of things. Mechanical player getting stunned. Alting, trying to eat. Sonya is coming in from TF Blade. Tarzan coming into the fight. Alts coming in. Syndra finds a kill. TF Blade stuns on. Could look for the Q we said. Doesn't. And Tarzan says, you want to take my jungle? I'll take your fucking life. And he goes for Dark Sword. But then he gets clopped on. Clops on, and it looks like he might just fall. And Tarzan falls. TF Blade, Tempest, pressuring the enemy base, while Horsey tries to shove in the wave to look for the top inhib. Orn ult coming in, not able to get it. TF Blade ulting in, going all in, casting his W, damage reduction coming in, redemption coming in, Hawaiian Punchy flashing away, Orn trying to peel for his team, mechanical player throwing autos, but no damage is coming in, TF Blade just won't fall. And as we look at the scoreboard, 25 to 8 for TF Blade's team, absolutely stomping. Blue side securing the third dragon, just taking it from them. As abilities fly, the Ornald coming in, Aurelio's coming in, Blue is getting clumped, and Blue is getting shit on! And just like that, the game turns around! Oh my god! TF Blade hoping to do anything, but there just isn't a chance, he will fall! And Red lives to see another fight. Tarzan with the flank. Seraphine with the two man alt into the Dwarf King triple mock up. Knocking up more people than Genghis Khan when he was in his prime. And then Red just wipes. Baron spawns. Blue side is on it. Will Red look to contest or will they give? Tarzane walking in from mid. Baron is at 10k. Rakan looking for the ult. Two man knock up on the mouth fight. Wukong ults, Zaya flashes, Ornald coming in, surfing with the flank, gets the ult, Tarzan on the enemy's backline, 1v1ing the blade, but he just won't be able to find it, mechanical player flashing in, getting the kills! And it looks like Red will find a way to run! Down 20 kills! Down three losing lanes! The Zane brings it back from the brink and the edge! Red side hitting the inhibs, trying to get it done, thinking that they can look for the end. Sindra respawning in eight, M Malphite respawning in eight. Red side TP coming in, will Blue be able to contest in time? No more wave, Red overstayed, oh my god, but Nocturne has fallen. What the fuck, wait! Oh my god! Oh, I thought we were about to have a fucking Syndra TP coming in. Oh my god, what is he? Duo King getting caught, Zaya, no, getting QE'd, stunned, and one shot. Oh no! Seraphine trying her best to live. She finds the ult on two, but no damage is coming in. Tarzan trying to shove out the bot wave, hoping against hope that there might just be a chance for another fight. A chance to live another day. Dragon has spawned. Blue can get soul. Oh my god. 4k, 3k. No chance for Red Side to seal. No one is near. 
No one is around to help. Blue secures Baron. And it looks like they're gonna get the soul too. Red side overstayed. A classic mistake. And now not only did they overstay, but that play will overplay in their minds. Every single day. Blue side, Baron, Soul, 15 kills up, 3 winning lanes. Red side, down 2 dragons, down Soul, down Baron, down 3 winning lanes. But they have one thing that red side doesn't have. A much higher chance to lose this game right now. And now, as blue comes together and they look for a fight mid to finally put Tarzan out of his misery once and for all. All we can think is what will happen. What happens next? Twitch chat, tell me right now. One, if Team TF Blade manages to win. Two, if Team Tarzan manages to win. And as you throw out your chats, and as you make your voices heard, it looks like Horsey is looking for an angle. Tarzan on the flank, gets the ult, looks for the knockup. Seraphine ult coming in, all ult coming in. Sandra has fallen, Tarzan ult coming in. Seven damage coming in. Ult, TF Blade will fall. TF Blade will fall! And just like that, TF Blade has been diagnosed with his first loss of the series! In the biggest comeback so far, the doctor manages to bring the game back from the brink. And as they walk five people together that were, that were grouped together with nothing but a mission to give it their all, they knock on the doors of the Nexus Tower, knock on the doors of the Nexus, and they open the door to victory. What a game. What a game. Whew, wow. All right. We're going to need the two captains to get in a call. Join Jen. And then I'll message you play join Jen. Now we have to have... We need to we need to discuss what went on. Tarzan with three winning with three losing lanes, down twenty kills, manages to find fights with his team and brings it back. At TF Blade, join Jen. You know that was the craziest game of the day. That was the craziest game of my life, to be honest. I don't know what the fuck happened, but shit was Well, we're gonna wait until uh the blade sir gets in the call and then we're gonna ask him what exactly happened. This is the kind of shit I thrive for, man. This competitive league shit. Thank you for doing this. That was... <laughs> I got you. Alright, TF Blade has joined us. Now, TF Blade, we're gonna start with you. Your team was up 20 kills. You guys had soul. You had Baron. You were 10 Wait, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, so TF Blade, you were up Yo, my Uber so is about to come in two minutes. Let's go, let's go, quick. Okay, TF Blade, you were up like a billion kills with three winning know, lanes. Right? How did you lose? Dude! I think we played it a little bit too fast, but like it, it's, I mean, the fact that we're up by so much gold, I, we, we're going to improve on the team fighting quickly. Yep. I think, I mean, I'm confident in the team. It's just a quick little blunder, but it's not a big deal. It's just mechanical blunder in team fighting, but it happens, right? Like, yep. no one can play perfect in team fights. All right. And Tarzan, before TF Blade's Uber arrives, we'll talk to you more soon. But do you have any last words for TF Blade on the day? Oh, uh, now nah, he's a hell of a player. Has to be in yeah, the Persian too, James. It was good a good shit, game bro. overall. Yeah, almost 1v5, bro. Good shit. Well played. You as well. Your team's very good. Do I have to leave? No, no, no. You say. Oh. All right, Tap Blade. Enjoy your night out. You earned it. Have a good one, bro. Thank you. You as well. GG's, bro. Later. GG's. Later. All right, so now Tarzan down 20 kills, 3 losing lanes, 15,000 gold versus the strongest team today. Down soul, down two barons. How did you bring it back? I was just, just say that was a soul key game out of left, but uh, I don't know. My teammates are just very, they're very ambitious and it kind of like motivates me to want to win because like I feel like we are an underdog team, but if we're, if we're on our game, I don't think we can actually lose a single game to any team because I think everyone 
is on the same page. Everyone wants to improve. Everyone wants to, you know, do their job. And I don't know. I feel like our team is just great individuals in and out of game. Except Duo King, of course. That guy's like mentally ill. But you know, <laughs> it's really nice to have people that are really committed to winning and just never giving up. I was really surprised to see Morel not drop because typically in scrims if we're losing, our team kind of gives up. But that game, I mean. <laughs> they, they knew we could win, and that's the kind of mentality and mindset from my teammates. I'm very proud of them. I'm very glad I picked them as well. Good shit, yeah. guys. Could you uh, elaborate a bit on why Duo King is mentally ill? Well, I guess that's seven years ago, first interaction ever. Post chat after beating me with his duo, I will find Tarzan. And I will... yeah, <laughs> Duo King's a very good friend of mine. He's a he's a troll, but he's actually a good guy. Deep down inside, so uh, I wouldn't right. pick any other support in this tournament. I'm very proud of him as well. He actually showed up today. Good shit, bro. Good shit, everyone. There you go. All right. Well, congrats on the win. Three and one to end off day one, taking the win versus Tiafle, the other rank one player. So I just want to congratulate you on the win, and I'll let you get back to your team now so you can, like, end off your call, whatever. Yeah, thank you for this, bro. And, yeah, yeah thanks for the uh, interview. All thank right. I got you. I'll get on. I'll get you later. All right, guys. So that does conclude day one. Surprise! <laughs> All right. So, starting six minutes early because the uh, timer was overshot a little bit. And, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Day one was a crazy start to the Dantes Invitational. We saw 20 kill comebacks. We saw favorites to win the tournament going literally 0-4. We saw... SRO versus Trick 2G, Battle of the Tops, the Battle of the Rank Ones, the Battle of the Crackheads and the Homeless. We saw the craziest shit that there was to see, and that was only day one. So, Joe's gonna bring up soon the standings, and we can all just look at where day one ended off. Boom. So, as you guys can see, Tobias Fate in the lead, 4 wins, 0 loss. Hums, Tarzan, TF Blade, and Viper all tied for 3 and 1. Karismar, Lolo, SRO, 2 2. And then the team's facing elimination. Gamer Girl, I will dominate Solar Baka and Trick 2G. 1 and 3 and 0 oh and 4, respectful. Respectable. Res respectable. Resp resp respectively. Respectively. So, respectively, oh, 1 and 3 and 0 oh and 4. So, as you guys can see, a lot is at stake. A lot is at stake today. Today is really going to be the day where teams are going to have to show up and they're going to have to perform, right? And don't forget that the four lowest ranking teams of the round robin are going to be eliminated before the quarterfinals. So, especially for the bottom four teams, they got to set their game up. But without any further ado, let's get started on day two. So today, a little crazy lineup that we're going to be having. Joe's going to bring up the lineup and then we'll go over everything that there is to go over today. For the first game, the battle of the challenger top laners, Lolo versus Viper. Both players that have had LCS professional experiencing facing off head to head for our first game. Second game. Charismai, the Kane guy, versus TF Blade, the man who got shit on by Tarzan in a 20 kill comeback. So we're gonna see if today TF Blade can redeem himself on the casting screen and be able to win his first game of the cast. Then for game three, Tarzan versus I Will Dominate, the founding fathers of the jungle facing off head to head in a grueling matchup the battle of the egos and then finally final game of the day tf blade versus hums the main event two players that are starting today off as three wins one loss two of the favored teams to win the tournament starting today so we're gonna see if by 7 p.m that changes or if they actually end up facing elimination too. So anyways, those are the four matches we have today. And without any further ado, we will be bringing Lolo and Viper in for the call for a little pre-match interview. Okay, wait. Oh, Vi I don't know where Viper is, but wait. What about, wait, Lolo isn't in his VC either. 
They're playing arena. <laughs> oh my god, they are. <laughs> Alright, so I guess uh, there will be a slight few minute delay while we wait for Viper and uh, Lolo to quickly finish their arena match. Oh, and right now we can bring in Lolo. Lolo! Wait, were up, you in a, How we doing? Were, I, I'm chilling, but wait, were you just playing arena with Viper? No, I was not. I was not. Oh, so. Yo, what, oh, the, so I look at your, what the fuck picture do you take of me, bro? That's no. what, I'm, what the fuck? I looked at your stream. Yo, what the fuck? That's, that's fucking 10 years no. ago, bro. What Listen. the fuck? Lola. What the fuck is that picture, Lola. man? That's literally 10 years ago, man. What the Lola. fuck is that? I'm gonna be honest, you look like a serial killer in yeah. that picture. Bro, you that's, look... that's literally me when I, I was 16 and a half. I just turned 17 in that picture, bro. That's right when I got drafted to LCS. Don't what worry, wait. Hold on. If you thought that picture was bad, wait till we bring in Viper. All right, what Viper. What the fuck is that picture, bro? V Viper. Oh. <laughs> Viper. Oh, oh my god. All right, Viper. How did the uh, how did the arena go? Did you win? Uh, no, no, I'm still in game. <laughs> yeah, it's about okay. to finish. Though. It's about to finish. Yeah, what's up? Gotcha. Anyways, so um, we just wanted to have a little pre-game interview because you and Lorlo are. As far as I'm aware, the only two team captains that have ever played professionally. So we put you guys head to head in a matchup to see who the better pro player streamer is. So before we start, I just want to know, Viper, who do you think is going to win this game? Honestly, I think we're going to go 4 0 today. Oh, wait, never mind. There's also I will dominate, but he's like. He's a dinosaur. It doesn't count. But only one of us go for <laughs> Omran. I, I think it's us, bro. I think it's us. I'm yeah. sorry to say. I'm sorry to say, yeah. but uh, you're going through one. I, I do think whoever wins the first game will go for zero today. That's what I'm gonna say. Really? Which honestly, I, I honestly agree far. with that. I actually agree with that. We'll get huge momentum on both sides. I'm actually okay. I'm with you. Yeah. Well, listen. All I'm gonna say is both of you guys are top laners. You're both the team captains, so it might just come down to battle the top laners. Who? Now I'm gonna ask. Who is the better top laner between you two? Let's see. Lorlo, who do you say? Wait, we'll start with Lorlo and then Viper. I think we're both Smurfs in our own right, actually. I would say the same. We both have our own strengths. And then uh, today's match is going to come down to who plays better. Okay, we've so known two... each other for so long, actually. I I've known Viper <laughs> since we were like both 14. Like We've known each other for like 11 years, like 12 years. It's kind of crazy, no? Yeah, actually, that's, that's actually some fucking lore, bro. I don't know if there's like that's actually insane to think about. Yeah. Wait, I guess bro, you could say there's a, I guess you could say there's a lot of lore low, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Like after you just put that picture of me down there, I don't know what to think you, man. Like what? So you take a pick ten years. Yeah, I, I wish I never heard that. How many flaming your ass, Dante's? What the fuck is this picture, Wait, man? I'm not gonna put my boy flaming look your ass. Look oh, look what is that? What am I looking at? Okay, the screen. Look, oh, look, 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 this guy used the worst picture of me yeah. too. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the hell? No, but it's not that bad because for Karaspy's picture, we didn't even use a picture of him. It's just some dude that kind of looks like him. I'm telling you, <laughs> everyone gets the same treatment on this stream. You all get embarrassing pictures. But with that being said, we need to do the the spinny wheel <laughs> to determine who gets which side. So. Oh wait, 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 oh okay, okay. Uh, oh, because we shit, already bro. did it. Why is is the match bugged out? What's going on? There, okay, we're having some. Pro oh, okay. With that being said, game one has officially started. Team Lolo versus Team Viper competing head to head. The battle of the former pros, waiting to see what can be done. We have the matchup of the ladies in the bot lane, Alice and Bon Chili versus Jaden and you Jelly. In the mid lane, we have a Briar mid, never seen before, never seen before, right? But if you walk on a minefield, you might step on a C4. 
And if we're playing Battleship, I might just call out for D4. Farming and CSing and auto attacks flying and people stutter stepping, walking around, dodging abilities, throwing out abilities, Q's coming in, W's coming in, E's coming in, full force, everything is going on. Wait, there could be a seal! There could be- OH MY GOD! OH MY GOD! Truck driver throwing out a queue to secure the scuttle fucking seal, sending Electro right back to base and saying, YOU GET THE FUCK OUT OF MY RIVER, BOY! Oh my god, massive seal, and we're not even five minutes into the game. Electro resetting, truck driver looking for a gank mid, landing the queue, recasting, ignite comes out, W, auto attack, fucking ward up! And Quantum lives. Oh. But nothing ends up happening. Electro going in. Yeah, Quantum coming with the flash. First blood for detention. Alice coming in. Getting a cleanup. Getting a kill. Jaden will be chased. And Jaden will maybe trade. Doesn't trade. And Jaden falls. Three for one on red side. Starting the dragon. And it looks like. Blue side's jungle, his pants are sagging. He wasn't able to make it to the dragon in time. And now all he can do is sip on his pina colada in base with a hint of lime. <laughs> Red side team kills on all their hyper carries with dragon secured breaking scaling is assured and now it will just be even better but can viper pull it out and say you know what i know that we're lacking bot side and i know that things are looking bleak but can viper put his team on his back and start going on the attack picking up the slack We'll just have to wait and see as the game goes on. All we can do is just wait and see. Looks like Briar Mid getting a recurve bow. Looking like a Blade of the Rune King on a first buy will be coming out. Going for more of the on hit. Of the on hit itemization. Items like Bork. Items like Gore Drinker. Items like Wits End. But will he build Wits End versus a full AD team? I hope not. Both teams just chilling. But it looks like, if I'm looking at the map, Electro's looking for a gang top. Will this be the first kill of the game on either top side? Oh, it's coming out for Lolo. EQ and Viper Falls. Chain CC'd, couldn't flash, couldn't alt, just fell down. Mid is shoved. Lorla walks to Dragon to try and secure it, but the, he has absolutely no reason to be there. His mid and jungle and bot are strong enough to get it done on their own. And just like that, second Dragon falls in favor of Team Lorla. Okay. But don't forget, yesterday we did see one of the biggest comebacks of the 22nd century. Tarzan versus TF Blade, down 20 kills, down three losing lanes, but still managed to find a way to come back. What do you mean 22nd century? Okay, what year are we in? 2023. 2020, 22, 22nd century. Fucking idiot. Quantum, finding the knockup, finding the ult, getting the damage, and Jaden falls. Killing spree for Quantum. And now Quantum is on a killing spree. <laughs> Just like Lorlo when he took that picture all those years ago. <laughs> In game, of course. And it looks like Blue Side is trying to secure the Herald. They say, you know what? Yon is bought. Maybe we could get it done. But Yon going for the TP mid. Rolo going in with the knockup. With the E into the wall. Usually getting caught. But she lives with one. Oh my god! Alice!
Nicholas sniping you jelly with the alt and you jelly does fall both hyper carries on team Lorlo the tension trying to look for a kill trying to chase saying you know what I gotta get something done I gotta get some gold but Electro's hovering and he's right there waiting Quantum, Viper, side laning against one another in the bot lane, trying to look for ways to assert their dominance over their enemy right now. Viper recasting the E, going for the Q, R1 flies in, R2 flies in, flash, Q, IO, and Quantum falls! Shut down for Team Viper, and now he's on the board! Viper said, you know what? I'm getting bored, so I'll get on the board! And decided to all in on Quantum, sending him right back to base. You know what's so funny to think? <laughs> think of like a season one champion like a Moomoo. -moo. You know what I mean? Oh shit! Wait a team fight coming in! Charge driver going all in! Going for the Q on Alice! Recasting! Oh my god! Briar! Ulting in from behind! Blonde Jelly gets hit! And she will fall! Blue side might have been down, but they are not out! Showing once again that they are a force to be reckoned with. Now, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Think of a season one champ like fucking Amumu. Oh my god. And of course, fucking uh, Riot champ fucking 8.0 just gets another random kill. And, and of course, fucking dude... Giga Broken Jarvin just goes in and gets another. And the fucking most OP champ in the game, Briar, just randomly about to get another. Like... Guys, stop fucking fighting and let me say what I want to fucking say. Stop, idiot. Anyways, for fuck's sake, I'm not going to look. CBA. So anyways, it's funny, dude. You think of like a season one champ like a Mumu, dude. What does that champ have? He throws out his fucking bandage, dude. Stuns if it hits. AoE damage on his W. AoE damage on his E. And his alt is just an AoE stun. Then you think of a champion like Riven. Right? Guys, what does Riven have? Oh, well she has dash, 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 damage, damage amplifier on passive, AoE stun, shield on 6 second cooldown, that's also a dash, alt, damage amplifier, as well as AoE damage alt, that's also an execute. What does Akali have? Triple dashes along with a W that's a shroud and Lorlo going all in, finding the E on you, Jelly, catching her out, but Blue Side will fight back and they will say, You wanna go in? We will too. Fighting happening, abilities getting thrown, people fucking dying. But at the end of the day, Viper gets a Quadra kill! And blue side looks to get the Baron. And now red side decides to say blue team wants to go for Baron. We'll just take third drag. We will just take third drag. So now we got to make sure if blue side manages to find a push that gets him at least two in hips and sets them up for the next dragon, that Baron was worth. If not, and red side manages to get soul, it just wasn't. It might just be fucked up. Viper coming in, throwing out the E, waiting for the recastity from Quantum, but taking a horrible trade in the process. Royal TP coming in, but it does get cancelled by the Briar. Our assault flying in won't find anything. And now, blue side shoving out the ball wave, looking for a push on the inner turrets, looking for a way to capitalize on the objective that they just got, the Baron. Jarvan channeling his reset for no reason, just sitting there waiting. Jinx randomly farming mid. Yone split pushing top. But they do have the range and they can hold the turret. For now, Jinx coming in, whipping out her fucking rocket launcher, saying this turret will not fall. Yone taking advantage of the fact that no one went top. And saying, you know what, it's time to get it done. So now, 
two items on both right on both junglers two items on both mid laners almost three items a one and a half item advantage on blue sides top lane alice holding out waves as much as she can not building LDR yet for god knows what reason. Opting instead to go for Rune Dance or Phantom Dancer. But I'm looking at Blue Side scoreboard and I'm thinking to myself, there's an Akali with Zonias, there's a Lee Sin with Tabby, and he's building GA. And then you have Briar with Thornmail Tabby, and you're really not building LDR third? That might just be a jungle diff, as Tarzan would say. Jungle is by far the most impactful role in the game, as Riot Freak would say. And now, I'm looking at both comps and I'm seeing Jarvan has the Serpents saying, you know what, I'm gonna make sure that there's no healing coming in. Goodbye on his end, Seraphine, Lulu, Lee Sin, all champions with shields. And now, Dragon spawning in 30 seconds, Blue Side looking to prep it, oh my god, Oh my god, Viper, he has flash, he has alt, he has three items. And he also has a mission to 1v9 this game. Fire alt coming in, but it will miss. It will miss, flying past everyone. Not hitting a single person. And now blue side is playing at an ultimate disadvantage. But they have the advantage of Viper on the Akali, waiting for Nalt, but he gets engaged on Lolo, holding on to him, but Viper will go in, gets ulted away by Lolo, Viper is out of the fight, detention going in, oh my god, Electro finding the ult on Seraphim, Seraphim getting caught, and Viper is in the middle of the mix, but he has no ult, he has no play to make, you Kelly hovering off to the side, trying to keep him alive, but she will, she will, she will fall. And now, Jace didn't get the speed reset, but can maybe look to chase this down. Jaden, 30% HP. Viper, 50% HP, no up. Rolo with a beautiful ult that knocked Viper out of the fight and rendered him unable to do anything. Detention on the flank, flashing in randomly, and just getting stunned, getting done, absolutely nothing. And then he gets the gold trigger, 900 kill, and he lives, and it's 2023, and Riot just gives a champion 1,500 healing for no reason. Rolo trying to reset, trying to run, but he knows, just as well as everyone else, that Viper is there for the chase. Fix the mic? The mic is fine, Mora. Joe, is the mic fine? Yo, okay, no, now it's actually fine. The mic sounds like it's underwater. Guys. Okay, how's the mic now? Now it's fine? Good. Okay, now we're good again. Alright, so it looks like Blue Side, after denying Soul, decides to look for Baron play. Viper, 8 kills under his belt. Like Hecarim Zalt, an unstoppable onslaught of Viper's revenge. Viper's vengeance, ulting in 1v4 randomly for no reason. About to die, 30% HP, getting grounded, unable to run, and Viper will fall. Electro EQing in randomly, Jaden getting a zero man ult, Blue Side securing the smite, Quantum going in, but no one dies. And Blue Side does get the resets off, and Blue Side will live to see another day. All except for Jaden, who. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, all except for Jaden, who will make the enemy ADC look like an absolute clown. But it looks like another fight broke out, and I didn't even realize what happened. But Jinx will fall. Rolo, 30% HP. Bronchilli trying to heal, but Bronchilli will fall. Quantum will fall. Rolo will fall. 
Briar has like 150 armor. Lee Sin has like 150 armor. Akali has like 150 armor. And Jinx built Rapid Fire Cannon as her third item. With absolute zero damage output being thrown in from red side, they just can't do anything. Nothing can be done. And now, as I look at the items, I'm saying, what in the fuck is going on on red side? Jinx with the rapid ca fire cannon third item, and Electro building Zonia's hourglass. <laughs> Electro opening up ultimate bravery before this game, and saying, well, God, you tell me what to build. Building a bruiser item, a lethality item, and a mage item all in one. And just like that, red side does fall. Quantum and Electro, both with 40 seconds left. Lolo, Alice, and Bonchili, hoping that they can hold. Lolo, trying to get in, trying to prevent his backline from getting engaged on. Alice, throwing out autos, trying to get something done. She gets one, she might get two! Alice, throwing out autos, but she walks in melee range of Viper, and Viper, like the snake he is, sinks his fangs into Alice one last time, sending her back to respawn, and sending Team Lolo with the first loss of the day. And just like that, Team Viper takes the first win of the day riveting match and now we must get both team captains in call to hear what they have to say yo what's Piper. up okay one second we're gonna bring in lorlo all right lorlo that's an extended one where you tp back lorlo. same one yo lorlo. all right so we're having oh, the... sorry no you're good we're having the post game interview so we'll start off with the loser of the match lorlo what happened last game tell us um, fucking Viper's too good, actually. Holy shit, you're a smurf, bro. No, honestly, we, we just played better on, on, on Dragons. It was sad. We were so close. I swear if we just played a little bit better on Dragons, we just win, but we just fucking... We just fucked up, bro. We just fucked up. It's kind of sad. It's what it is, well, you know? I, I will ask you one question, Lolo. Did you press tab at any point of the game? Tab? Yeah. Did you well, see where yeah, your teammates... Look... Okay. Did you see when your Jinx built Rapid Fire Cannon third item versus three bruisers that had 150 to 200 armor? <laughs> I did tell her to go LDR. Hey, I did tell her to go LDR. But uh, it is what it is. What, what can you do, you know? Yep. It's all been there. And <laughs> it's okay. You know what? First game of the day doesn't dictate how the game will go. But now, Viper, what are your thoughts on that first game after that riveting performance? I honestly think. Um... Their draft was was a was a problem. I think our draft wasn't that great too, but we got bailed out by 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 Sam's team picking full AD. So we were just able to stack armor, and then when we saw the third item, rapid fire jinx, that made everything better as well, right? We knew yep. no one was gonna die. We can just do like jump in, dive, uh, play however we want. Uh, but I thought they they played really well in team fights in terms of peeling. Like I I thought the poppy pick was good, uh, but yeah, the only thing was uh, they were missing. Um, they just had the, no damage. No damage. no damage, exactly, yeah. Yep. Well, anyways, that concludes first game of the day. I want to thank you both for giving your absolute alls in the performances, and I wish you both luck for the rest of your games today. Thank, thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Good luck. Have a good one. Thanks. Peace. All right. So now we will. Zonia's Jarvin for his good trust. Electro, I'm going to be honest with you. We're going to find that build on fucking Ultimate Bravery tonight. You didn't know if you wanted to play as an Assassin, a Bruiser, or a fucking Mage. So you said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to be all three. And you just built these three insane items. And you know what? It's okay. Because it's the first game of the day. I believe in the comeback. Team two of the day. Charisma versus TF Blade. Okay, wait. Are they both in games or no? Let's see. Okay. Charisma is out of game. Perfect. What about TF Blade? TF Blade out of game two. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to be bringing TF Blade and Karasmai both in for the next captain. The next captain meetup. Karasmai. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. We're bringing TF Blade too. All right, TF Blade. Yo. All right, before we start, I just need to know, TF Blade, how was your night out drinking last night? Okay, bro. I had like 
four or five shots around. Like, I mean, I wouldn't call it a shot. It was glasses, basically. <laughs> Woke up today, a little bit hungover, but I'm getting the coffee in. Dude, I am zoning out a, a little bit. little rejuice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but okay, it was so, good, it was good. All right, so now asking. Tiape, did you win your first game of the day? Somehow. All right. With my fucking zoning out brain, we won. All Thank right, God. Then. And what about you, Karismai? Did you win the first game of the day? Nah, we lost. How'd you lose? Um, honestly, I drafted Zach, and I don't think you'll ever see more missed cues and E's in your life. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I know, Shane. Wait, who are you playing against? Gamer Girls team. Okay, gotcha. Alright, so, now guys, the head-to-head -head showdown. Karismai versus TF Blade. Let's start off with first off, Karismai, look at my stream and tell me what you think of the picture we decided to use of you today. That, dude, that's not me. Who is that? <laughs> Bro, is, that is not <laughs> me. Is that actually even him? <laughs> no, that's not me. What do you mean that is? Dude, wait. Who, who is that? <laughs> that's, I... <laughs> dude, who is that? That's not me. It doesn't even look like me. Karismai, it's about time you stop gaslighting the audience. Everyone knows that's you. Dude, that is not me. I'm not a gaslighter. <laughs> Anyways, so now that we've established that that is in fact a picture of Karismai, I want to know, going into this game, TF Blade, how confident are you that you're going to win? Bro, I feel like you're baiting me with this question. Last time I said we were hella confident, and we were doing really good, right? Yep. And we lost. I mean, I'm, we're still hella confident, okay. All right, we should be able to easily win. They, I think they said our jungle is our weak point or something. They're shit talking. Okay, bro. We're gonna have to sit them down. Oh, really? Karismai. Apparently, there's allegations of you saying that TF Blade's jungler is a bad jungler. Thoughts on that? I mean, it's true. I, I think that that's the way I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win through jungle. I'm gonna hard out jungle him. You know, jungle gap. This rolls OP. It'll be easy to carry through that. And I mean, we're gonna make the greatest comeback in this tournament's history. Okay, well, so you're saying you're confident that you're going to win. Yep. So two team captains confident in their abilities to win. Are you guys ready to do the coin flip to determine sides? Yeah, yeah let's get it. Oh, well, it's not actually a coin flip. It's actually a wheel roll. And hold on, I need to like... <laughs> Is it the scuffed wheel or did you fix it? Dude, fuck <laughs> off. It was never scuffed. <laughs> um... I'm going to say, wait, what? there's so many different colors. Uh, blue? I'll blue. go blue. All right, so that's Karismai. All right, that's Tiap not Blade. me, by the way. That picture is not me. Yes, Karismai, you can stop lying. We all know it's you. Tiap played your turn. Bro, there's four reds. Give me the red, bro. <laughs> okay. So that's oh, I didn't Tiap even realize Blade. there's four reds. What the <laughs> fuck? Wait, what, what is this wheel? What is Dude, this? It's so it's, shut it up! It's going to be fair! Shut up! It's going to be fair! Are you kidding fair. me? <laughs> no! Dude, you're, gonna gonna you're gonna see! You're gonna see! Alright, Karismai, which color do you want? Um, yellow? Okay. Alright. TF Blade. Give me blue. Okay. The other one, dark blue. What is okay. that? That's uh, either dark blue or purple, I don't know. Okay, so now, Karismai, next color. Oh, wait, no, Dang. never mind. No, wait, wait, no, 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 don't give me a color. Hold on. What? Here wait. we go. No, wait, no, shut up. Wait, wait, hold on, give me a second. Okay, so now we get to the part where the, it becomes fair. So, wait. Okay, so... Okay. I choose one, he chooses three. Yeah, okay, so Blade, now you need to choose one color. Or one, two, three, or four. Which one do you want? Go with two. Okay, so that's Blade, and then Charisma gets the last three. Look at the All team. right, TF Blade... Wins the spinny wheel. Tia played which side do you want? Um, let me talk to my team, bro. What I I think mm, probably blue, but I'm gonna talk to my team to make sure. Yeah. One sec. No, no, wait, Tia played. Before you leave, that's a beta move. Never consult with anybody about decisions that you make. Just make the decision and then deal with the consequences. Choose now which side you want. Oh my God! All right. Oh, let me see. Your top laner is. Give me blue, it won't matter. Alright, so blue side locked in for TF Blade. Red side locked in for Karismai. And with that being said, 
I wish you guys both the best of luck. Um, one of you is going to have to invite me to the lobby, though, so I can do my stuff. All right, I got you. All right, uh, just DM me. Uh, I'll, I'll DM you my gen, and then we'll be good. All right. All right, doo -doo -doo. All right you can join your team now. All right. Good luck, DF Blade. You too, you too, buddy. Peace. All right. So, with that being completed, game two will soon be underway. And now it looks like the game is loading. All right. But anyways, enough about that. What matters now is that we are starting game two. TF Blade versus Karasmai. The battle of the NA challengers. Karasmai, a consistent challenger. Kane, one trick. Which means that on every other champion, he's Emerald 1 versus TF Blade, an absolute raging alcoholic who gets drunk every weekend for four days a week to forget the pain that Soul Cube brings him. Who will win this game? Who will take the crown? Ravy Demon, the challenger top, versus CF Blade, the challenger top. Karis My Kane, the challenger jungle, versus Dark Sword, the diamond jungle. Horsey, the low elo, versus Never Seen a Moose, the diamond. And then we have the master tier and challenger bot lane of blue side versus the master and low elo. Matchup on red. Jurassic and Skylash looking for a pick. Looking to fight level 1. Why they're looking to fight level 1 when I'm 99.9% .9 sure Janna and Cassiopeia would win? I'm not too sure. But it's actually Janna Seraphine bot. And it's Casimir. And Amelia walks into them. And she loses half her health. Jurassic looking for 4th auto. Won't proc his passive. And now enemy blue side bot. Sitting there, shoving it out. TF Blade, proxy farming, maximum disrespect for the second time this game. Saying, you know what, Orn, you want a fucking reset? You will lose out. Or you will be forced to teleport. And Karasmai on the dragon, on spawn. Securing it for his team. And just like that, Dark Sword is on the other side of the map, completely oblivious to what is going on as Karasmai knocks it down. Tick, 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 smite! And Dragon falls. And now, looking at state of the game, not a single kill has been acquired by either team just yet. Top, even in farm. Jungle, even in farm. Mid lane, even in farm. Falling even in farm, support role even in farm, everything is even except one thing, the objectives, as Karasmai gets a little lead and a little bit of edge for his team, Dark Sword invading the enemy topside, making use of TF Blade's constant priority. And now it looks like Blue Side trying to secure the top tower for TF Blade, Held has been dropped, and the lane has been roamed to, and TF Blade will secure First tower. First dragon of the game secured for red side. First herald and first tower secured for blue. Blue has a gold advantage. Red has a scaling advantage. Which is more important? Only time will tell. So now, it's looking like things are quite even at the moment. No real action going on, but action is coming. Action is coming. You know what I mean? It's like action is coming. There's something that will happen. We don't know yet what it will be, but something will happen. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I see something. And I don't know what it is, but it looks like there are birds outside or some shit. Like, the, there's some... Do you guys... See, wait, do you guys see that too? Outside, like, there's birds. Do you... There's birds! There's birds in my fucking room! Ah! Attacking me! I'm 
just like that, we are back to normal. And we are also back to witnessing the most boring game of the fucking tournament so far. 14 minutes in, not a single kill has been gotten by either team. Both teams just being content with farming it up and doing fuck all. Alright, so now we're looking. TF Blade up 10 CS. Jungle even in farm. Mid roll. Cassiopeia up 20 CS. Seraphine down 20 CS. Gold is even across the board. Does anyone else want to watch these games but they keep leaving because this kid is always screaming? Oh my god! And just like that, our team fight has broken out! And you will pass one! Roll! Fall! Tigers! Roll! Fall! Jurassic will fall! And so does Karis Mike! Everything goes on! And it's a 2 4 2! And it looks like Blue Side is chasing. They're trying to get Baby Demon, trying to get another kill of the game. Baby Demon trying to live, but he just won't be able to. Baby Demon will fall. And just like that, Team TF played up a turret, even in drags, up a held, and now up one kill. And now it looks like Blue Side is taking the fact that Orn is still on gray screen, and they're trying their best to secure this herald saying you know what if we're gonna get this herald then we're just gonna get more and more gold even though all lanes are even in farm an insurmountable gold lead is approaching in the top side as TF Blade almost finishes his second item it's looking like they will fight Dragon. TF Blade team, five man setup, hovering the Dragon. Jurassic trying to look for W to poke. Skylash following him up. Karasmai waiting on the flank with his ult. Ravy Demon TPing in. Alt coming from Karasmai. Alting in on the back line. Looking for a kill. Big ult coming in. It's a five man ult. Never seen a moose. Has never seen a better opportunity to get his ult up. But TF Blade and Dark Sword are just too tanky and they will not fall. And and red side gets absolutely wiped. Five man Nico ult just wasn't enough. TF played absolutely ravaging the enemy team. Look, Orn had everything happen. Nico went in, got an alt off on four. Tempest was on the flank, but it just was too little too late the problem is that red side just has no damage they can get the cc up but at the end of the day if they don't have anti-heal how can they play and now at this point red side down a dragon down three kills, down 4k gold, are just trying to just cling to desperation. Saying, you know what, if TF Blade's team threw a 20k gold lead yesterday, they might just do it again. And now, Charisma, Team Charismite, hoping against hope, praying. As they look for a pick on the boss side, Ornald coming in, getting ulted away by the Janna, healing coming in, Karasmai chains he seed, flashing to dodge ult, TF Blade trying to look for plays, oh Ravy Demon with a two-man knockup, but there's just no damage, there's just no fucking damage, there's just no fucking goddamn fucking damage, fucking idiots, zero fucking anti-heal, how do you expect to do fucking anything? No Oblivion Orb, no Executioner is calling, but it's fine, because Ali Sorn has a fucking Bramble Vest, and Kai'Sa also has a Death Timer, we've never seen the moose coming with the 5 man ult, getting the black light, oh my god, Karasmai coming in, getting some damage, will they find more, no they won't. Never seen a moose, Diamond mid laner, trying his best to t take his entire team in his back, and bring them to victory, giving a performance. Worthy of MVP of the game so far. And it looks like never seen a moose 
has also never seen a better opportunity to soul carry his fucking team to victory as he builds the first anti-heal item for his team. Stop this! Orn has Bramble Vest, and you have a fucking learning disability, dude. What the fuck auto attacks is Blue Side gonna throw out that the Orn Bramble Vest is gonna do fuck all? Charisma going in the field, finding it on the Seraphine, I think. No, it's not the Seraphine, it's actually the Janna. And she will fall. Tia Play TV coming in, looking for the flank as Blue Side tries to stall. Skylash will fall. Tia Play 1v5, he's trying to heal, he's trying to live, but he will fall. Jurassic with the shutdown on Tia Play. Tempest looking for a fight, looking for a way to miss his ult and hit zero targets. Blue side trying to chase, trying to find another kill, but they just won't be able to. And now it looks like even though red side got a better play, they were forced to reset. And as a result, blue will secure the dragon. Third dragon of the game, Ocean. One dragon from Ocean, so going over to Team TF Blade. Red side walking up trying to zone them off trying to make sure that they that blue side knows we have some presence and now it looks like blue side is starting the baron they're saying team charismai has no alt sona has no alt orn has no alt but what charismai has is flash and now it's time to see if the challenger jungle can out smite the diamond one <gasps> never seen a moose getting the two man knocker but it doesn't find any damage charismai smited at 2.5k What? Okay, so I'm... Wait. Joe, can we get a replay on that smite? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, <it's mine. laughs> Flashing into smite at 3.3k. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, I mean, you know what? It's okay. Tensions are at an all time high. Tensions are at an all time high all across the board. All right, so now blue side is pushing bot. Second inhib of the game will fall. And now dragon is spawning soon. If team Charismite doesn't contest this, it might just be over. Charismite going for Nauts, looking for a pick on Seraphine, will not find it. Ornaut coming in, four man knockup! Nico coming in with the flash up, getting a two man, looking for the E, looking for the Q, but they just heal to four. Even through fucking anti heal, they heal for 10 thousand and it doesn't mean shit it means fuck all absolute fuck all zero damage jurassic trying to go in trying to find the kill on amelia and he does but he will fall Ravy demon looking for tb tping back into base and he will be able to hold dark sword trying to solo the ocean soul if you guys thought that blue side had a cancer amount of healing, just wait until after they get Ocean Soul. Team Charismite might as well fucking FF at this point, I'm gonna be honest. Zero chance for a comeback. As blue pushes on the final neck inhibitor tower and looks to get the inhib, will red side look to engage? Ornald coming in, 3-man Ornald, Charisma in the middle of 4, Jurassic ulting in, getting 2 auto attacks, doing nothing else, looking just like off to the side, auto attacking Tia Blade, Horsey he kills Charisma, Charisma, Charisma will fall, Skylash will fall, never seen a moose, has also never seen a more pitiful performance from his team, as even 2 5-man knockup ults weren't enough. And Team TF Blade, in an absolutely decisive game, secures the win yet again.
And now, we have to bring in both captains. And we also have to ask Karasmai what in the fuck that smite was. Alright, Karasmai, wait. We're waiting for a blade. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, you have you have a lot of explaining to do. Give me a second. I know, dude. I know. All right, Tiaplin, you're here. Hey, yo, what up? All right, so before we start off, let's just get one answer. Charismai, it's the Baron uh, play, the most decisive play of the game. You have Flash, you have Smite, you have a fifteen hundred LP lead on the enemy jungler, and you flashed into Smite at three point three k. Oh my Let god! Me... I thought I, I was on over, I, I, and I, I, I missed didn't spite all the Baron. that. I didn't spite the Baron. I spited them. No, you smited the Baron at three point three k. I didn't spite the Baron. So I wasn't hallucinating. I, I Did you really spite three k HP? No, I yeah. spited one of you. Okay, I thought I was out. fucking okay, hallucinating what, there, bro. What I happened was, like, was just... okay. What happened was, I listen. I'll take full accountability. I fucked up. I'm an idiot. But what happened was, is I went in. I Nico had a four man all. I thought I just smite and try and execute their backline. Jana, whoosh, pushed all the fucking Nico ult away. No execution. And then yeah, my I, I used smite on an enemy. I swear, if you replay okay. it, I swear Joe, to you, I smite an enemy. Joe, Joe, can you bring up the clip of Karismai smiting? Joe, at Joe did not do that. Joe right. did not do right. that. Karismai, it's on screen. It's on screen. This is irrefutable right, evidence. It. TF played watch this as well. Uh, okay, Irre okay. Absolutely so irrefutable evidence. 3.8k. Karis oh, my, wait. Karis my flashes. They in. have a pink as well, so they have vision. I know. Look, look, look. Wait for it. Flashes I'm in? I swear, I think I spied an enemy, dude. No, 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 no. You're, you're gonna see. You're gonna see. You flash in right now, and now look at this. <laughs> No way. 3.4k. No. <laughs> <Like, laughs> Dude, I spied it. Wait, I spied the Baron! Dude! <laughs> Dude, I spied. I thought I'm the drunk one, bro. What the fuck are you? I, okay. I'm, I'm, listen, bro. I want to say a big so sorry to my team, bro. I am so bad. That was that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. I I have nothing to say about that. Uh, my bad, dude. My bad. Genuinely. It's okay. Tensions are running high. It happens. TF played. Let's get your thoughts. So, what happened that game? Honestly, I think um they were a little bit too scared. So I proxied as if I'm cinched. Means I got probably the entire game. The jungle couldn't even play topside, and then I just ran over the whole game with being single AD. Well, so Tiaplid, yeah, I, I think Tiaplid, you the game was I just think, completely free. I think Charisma's team didn't build any anti heal besides an Orn Bramble vest until 20 minutes in. Charisma, <laughs> explain yourself. You opted. Okay. For I, I need to, like, not a single executioner's. Nico didn't build Oblivion Orb. What the fuck was going on? We were watching. Nico did have Oblivion Orb. After 20 minutes, three <laughs> team fights happened. We were winning. We we were winning fights. We were I winning fights. I needed serpents. I in the game you were winning. <laughs> okay, no, but we were doing what we need to do. We couldn't kill the front line, but we were killing the back line. The sustain was not minutes, affecting you have like 70 gold lead. I mean, hey, at least we had a gold lead at some point, you know what I mean? I mean at least we had something, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. I should have went Serpents. I, I can't itemize Executioner. I personally cannot. You know, in that certain situation, I need Cleaver, I need Serpents, I need to be killing the back line. Like, you know, it's okay. like... Okay, so my, I just like, have one question. I just have one question. What? What, Is the reason you play Kane because you're a schizophrenic? Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know if it was blue Charismite playing this game and red Charismite playing another, but your recollection of events is just not lining up with what happened in game two. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Something possessed me that game. I got shit on. There's nothing else to it. I don't know. <laughs> no, you're chilling. You're chilling. You're chilling. All right. Well, anyways, it was a fun game. Um, yeah. good performance by both. Both gave it your all, so I respect Bro. that. Yep, what's up, TF Blade? Starbuck is out here fucking flaming my head. This guy's spamming to pick the dice roll. He can hear me right now. Yo, chill, man. I'm coming. Okay, so now for the third game lineup of the day, we have one of the most highly anticipated games of the day. 
Team Tarzan versus Team I Will Dominate. I'm just making sure they're both out of game. I will dominate out of game. Tarzan out of game. Let's get them in call. All right. Tarzan. What's up, Tars? Hello. Okay, wait. We're bringing Dom to Dom. Wait, he's deafened. All right. So, Tarzan, after witnessing your game yesterday, where you came back from a 15k gold deficit, how have your games been going today? We lost every game again. Okay, well, I mean, last time you told me that, you told me you actually won two games and only lost one. So, did you actually lose every game today? No, we played against SRO and Trick, so it was a pretty easy day. <laughs> okay, so far. So all right, so you played versus the two boomers, and now you play against the third. As soon as he undeafens, I don't know what's going on with Dom right now. I think they're vlogging, so he's got shit on or something. I don't know. Yeah, but he was, like, sharing screen, and he was deafened, and now he's still deafened. Trying to get him to undeafen. How's Why do I have the alcohol? Wait, what? I don't want the alcohol bottle. Can you swap me to the left? Wait, what do you mean? I don't want to hold the alcohol bottle, the beer. You are holding it. I don't want to hold it. <laughs> Dude, it's just a PNG image. I want to die. I can't be drinking. <laughs> Dude, it's a PNG image. There's no, like, are you serious? Yeah. Joe, make Tarzan's model 500 pounds as punishment for saying that. <laughs> All right, our team's dropping out, then. <laughs> no! No! Say, say. Give me a fucking beach bod. <laughs> okay, okay, Joe, can you give Tarzan? Uh, wait, fucking uh, Zach Efron's body from uh from Baywatch, I think. From the neighbor, the neighbors, the neighbor, neighbors, the na, the neighbor, the neighbor. <laughs> no, the neighbors. Dude, you can't, you can't be saying. Wait, stop. What was the name of the movie? I don't... It's Neighbors. Yes. Oh my god. I'll send you the picture. This is, it's gotta be this, okay? I... Oh my god. Can you look at chat? Look at chat. Yo, can you put this, please? I, we are number one right now, so I should get some special treatment now. Oh, what do you mean you're number one? We're tied for first. Really? Yeah. Holy fuck. Duo King must be performing today, isn't he? I think he's actually the worst performer today so far. <laughs> hate to say it, but... uh, Dude, where is Dom? What is this guy doing? I guess we just have to wait. So, Tarzan, I have a question for you. You're playing against Team I Will Dominate today, right? But that isn't the reason why this is such a hype lineup. Are you aware of the reason why we decided to make this one of the hype matches of the day, yes or no? Because there's a... Cheerleader on the enemy team? I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, yes, you are playing against your favorite person in all of Hilo solo queue, Chase Shaco. So, tell well, me. I don't think you could be saying uh, high elo and Chase Shaco in the same sentence unless you're saying Chase Shaco is not high elo, but sure, go ahead. Okay. So, can you elaborate a bit more about your thoughts on Chase? Uh, it's just. You know, I've had some exes that were obsessed with me, but I think Chase Shaco takes the cake in that respect or aspect. I've never been so antagonized by someone in my life. Like the guy actually, I think he actually has a crush on me. And I've heard some rumors that he like swings that way, which I mean, I respect it, but unfortunately for him, I don't know. Uh, I'm on to men, so. He's just obsessed with me for some reason. Maybe sexually, I don't know. So we have we have we have just acquired new information that apparently Tarzan is wondering whether or not the reason why Chase is this obsessed is because of attraction. Now Tarzan, I have a question for you. Do you want us to bring Chase into the interview room so you and him can have a little bit of a spitball before Dom comes back? I mean, honestly, no, but I, I haven't spoken to this person like four or five years, so I, I don't know if it's a good idea. 
He kind of scares me. I mean, you can, but what will we discuss? There's nothing to discuss. Like, I don't want to associate with this person. Well, 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 we'll just say who do do you guys think is going to win the jungle matchup? You know, just like get a bit of healthy banter going on in that regard. How's that? Sure, bro. Go ahead. All right. So now we will be dragging Chase into the call. All right. All right, Chase, you're in the call. I know you're muted, but I don't know if you can hear me or not. Mm. It's just Vegas round two, dodging me yet again. Unlucky. <laughs> so for all those that are unaware, Tarzan actually put up an offer to box Chase Shaco at TwitchCon Vegas. For charity. Year. For, for charity. charity. <gasps> Chase has unmuted. All right, Chase, how are you today? Hey, what's up? All right. So, Chase, we decided to bring you into the call to get a little bit of healthy banter going on since you will be taking on Tarzan. And as everyone in Hilo knows, there is a little bit of a rivalry between you two. So, before we start, Chase, I just want to get your opinion on how you think today's jungle matchup is going to go. Let me know. Uh, I think it should be pretty easy. I don't know. This guy invades me level one. Pretty much every single game, and then is shocked when he dies to it. So, I think I've won like the last six or seven games against him. I don't know. He gets oh. emotional against me, so it should be pretty easy. All right. So, Tarzan, you hear Chase saying that you get emotional when you're against him. You've lost the last seven games. What is your rebuttal? I can just sense his voice trembling. It would be the same thing in real life as well. But, I mean, yeah. we're in a controlled environment. You're not going to team lock. It's all good, bro. You're going to get ran. You're Did kidding. you get knocked out at an intramural soccer game? Huh? I got sucker punched <laughs> and I got ran away, yes. That's shocking. That was all shocking. Okay, sorry. That was I all. Ran just like you, I ran his shit in the entire game. I stole the ball from all games mentally ill. His father <laughs> has his father issues, so... As unlikable in person as you are online. So, why don't you just box me in real life, then, for charity? Why are you so scared of me? Box you and I'm scared of you? Yeah, you dodged me in Vegas. Dan Don has I'm messaged you for... I Vegas the week before. Okay. You didn't go to church, John? I mean, no, I know your career in the stream industry is basically dead at this point. You have to, like, social climb with everyone else, but uh, you could have still, you know, yeah, that's up for charity. Yeah, man. I'll, I'll talk to you anytime, man. Sure. Intermural soccer player. God. Wait, hold on. Chase. Inter what does that even mean? Intermural? What is that? What's up, Dante? Chase, okay, so I have a question. You said you're willing to box Tarzan at any time. If I were to set up an event where I would fly you out to Quebec and rent a venue where you and Chase, you and Tarzan, yes, I would fly. I'll be the passport, but okay. Oh, but already you... another excuse for Mister <laughs> Chase, the crybaby Shaco. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'd do it. Yeah. Okay, right. get your passport renewed, please. Where do you Where are you from? Are you Canadian too? Yeah, we're I'm, from the same I place. Canadian, I have no Canadian blood, but I live here, yeah. You're not dealing with a white boy, Chase Shaco. That's all I'm going to say. Just be, just be careful. Do what? You're not dealing with a white boy, so be careful. What are you? Middle Eastern. Okay, that's that's very scary. All right, uh, is, is that it? It probably is for you, yes. <laughs> you're, you're like 6'4", 150. Oh, God. What's up? What's up? I'm 185. Wait, are you Jack now? I'm gonna say God, it's a good thing you can freaking six four. Okay. One eighty is not even big, but for like league standards, when like there's cheerleaders and one eighty is not even big. Yeah, you're right. When you're six four, why are you cutting me off, bro? Let me speak at least. Have some respect. All right, go back to the sidelines. Get your team some water, Mister Waterboy. Internet. Go get your team some water, Mister Waterboy. Get the fuck out of here. Are you Sorry, talking right, to me or Dom? What's what 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 I talking to you, dumbass? You, you're a fucking cheerleader. Go, go sidelines. Thank are you. Are you are you the one talking? I can't even tell if you're talking to me. You just yell. Okay. Well, you cut me off every time I spoke. Then. Okay. You just did that to me. Oh, you're like you're boy, Goodbye. Shit. Let your captain okay. take over. Right, goodbye. So Thank you, you, just did, you just did that again. Okay. So listen. Do you say like... anything that's not projection or? Show up, bro. Most insecure loser in the ring. You are the ring. Loser, I've ever been. Everyone clip what he said, by the way. He wants to show up, by the way. He's gonna show up for sure. Alright, Chase, I gotta put you in the, uh, back in Team I Will Dominate, but thank you for the pregame interview. Anyways. Get those bottles filled, buddy. Alright, so, Dom, we were just up, having a little conversation, because we know mm -hmm. that on your team you chose Chase Shaco, one of your good friends yep. as your jungler, and as yes, you may or may not know, he does have a lot of beef with Tarzan. So, today... 
This matchup is all about a battle of the egos. Tarzan versus you. You need to show up and you need to show your team. Why Are you talking you... about me or Chase, Chase Shaco, bro? What? I'm just saying words right now. But all I okay. wanted to say right. was that how do you feel going into this game? Where are your emotions at? Bro, I, I feel pretty good. I'm have, I've been enjoying your tournament, man. I, I want to say, look, I don't know how many more captain interviews we get, but I think what you did for NA here, like, realistically speaking, I think it's a good thing you're doing, bro. Like, just being able to, like, interact with people, like, being these fucking calls and shit. I think this has been a good fucking time. So, hey, man, thank uh, you for that. Thank you. Well, thank you for participating yeah. as well, because I know that normally you don't do solo queue, so the fact that you're willing to actually... Yeah, like... yeah, yeah. I haven't played League in a long time, but, like, it, it, dude, you made a compelling enough argument. I, I, it's been fun to, like, play top lane, like, play a different role and shit, so... Aw, thank you. Yeah, I good. appreciate that. So, before we do start with the, uh, with the role, I just want to get my facts straight. Tarzan, when you were first starting out in the jungle... Is it true that I Will Dominate was actually one of the people who gave you pointers on how to climb? I don't remember. That shit was like, we were both like in our 20s. That shit, man, we were like fucking young back then. I don't remember. It was yeah, a bro, that, was a, that was a long fucking time ago. I, right. I'd say, yeah, he helped me with my YouTube channel and let me coach, and I was very nice of him. I have nothing but respect for Dominic. He's a very strong, uh, strong personality, strong, intelligent person. So I'm very I strong, like bro. He heard, you heard it. He said I'm very strong. <laughs> strong <laughs> mentally. Mentally. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we mentally. do it. So we do have a little bit of like a Darth Vader versus Luke Skywalker matchup today in the team captain with Tarzan. I will dominate pupil. Wait, does Finally that mean I'm his father? <laughs> I'm the only, only person bro. older than me here. I just, bro, bro, you have to call me daddy then. You have to call me daddy one time. <laughs> uh, if you win, I'll do it. If you lose, what's okay, up for me? Okay, clip that shit. If I win, Tarzan has to call me daddy. That's it. Okay, All right. what do I get if we win? Oh, what Nothing. do you want? How is that Nothing. fair? Wait, bro, if, that's, Tarzan, that's fucking, that's wait, the Tarzan, right Tarzan, if you win, I will dominate. Has to pay for Chase Shaco's plane ticket to come back so you can box him. We already know Chase is not going to show up. He's not going to show up ever. Like, the guy's just all talk. <laughs> hey, but if, if, if Chase Jago confirm, you need his confirmation, move him back in here then. <laughs> Let's get this uh, broadcasted live. Get him in here. Okay, hold on. Okay, Chase. Huh? Chase, we needed to bring you back in because we need official confirmation that you will get your passport gotten so that you can box Tarzan. Will you be doing so I can this? box Tarzan? Yes. Uh, I mean, I'm down to box Tarzan. I, I don't know with schedules and shit because I have a girlfriend, but I will try my best. And no, I'm not afraid of like a 150 pound 6'4 manlet. <laughs> I wish so, I was 6'4. Yes. What the fuck? Thanks for the compliment. I you said you were 6'4. I thought that was like the whole thing. You say that all the time. 6'4. <laughs> six, four. You, you uh, voices, bro. You good? <laughs> Yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> okay. okay, so how tall was it? How tall are you? Down? Let's let's hear this down. Let's write this down. I'm, I'm five ten. Okay, we'll see that. Are we got a uh, height measuring tape as well at the <laughs> boxing venue. <laughs> yeah, I sure. measure my height. <laughs> yeah, no shoes. Why? Because you lie about everything, just like you lied about me and most of the things you said. Do you eat? Do you have any idea that everything you say is projection? Like, do you even hear you? <laughs> okay, but uh, if you're not lying, are you lying yes or no? Are you lying and then just show up with no shit? About my height? No. That's something you're born with. I don't know why I would be insecure about that. All right. You're just we'll just get, uh, insecure we'll as a human. Tape. We'll get a tape to measure as well. We'll take off the shoes. <laughs> and if you lie about that, you lie about everything what else as well. What the fuck is going on right now, bro? Like, <laughs> this guy, like, every single thing he says is projection. It's so weird. <laughs> How's it projection? You're the most insecure man child I've ever interacted with. It's crazy. What did I do that was insecure of me? I just said, let's, like let's measure your height as well. <laughs> exactly. You immediately come for height. It's so funny. Which I'm not even well, sure, by the way. Like, you realize size. you're the one bringing up height the last two times we've interacted in this call? You brought up height like twice. Never... <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I don't think really... You are a bit insecure yourself, my friend. But it's fine. I'll <laughs> yeah, take you out on the room pretty easily. All right. uh, the draft might be a movie for. Let me just say the draft's going to be a movie for Mr. Chase Shaco. All right. Okay. So that is all. All right. So, Chase. Here, bro? Maybe. I don't know, this guy's obsessed right. with me. It's actually <laughs> crazy. I'm obsessed with you, Mr. PowerPoint. Okay. You tweet about me every fucking week, you fucking psycho. You're literally insane. <laughs> literally When's no last time I tweeted about you? Oh, uh, yeah. Mr. When's the last time you tweeted about me? Yes, never. 
That one time, I don't, uh, I, I don't track this shit. Like the fuck out. Go fill those water bottles. We got <laughs> we got important <laughs> man business to get to. <laughs> Mr. Q here, we got some man <laughs> business to get to. Go to the side of Jack, fill up the water every bottles. Every single thing you say is hateful projection because you're insecure as fuck. Thoughts God, measuring. it's up to you. Ape measuring. Holy shit. Yeah. Enjoy your miserable life, man. Disgusting. I love my life. I love my life. All right, so, I, I, okay, I so, so we're going to be putting uh, God, Chase... Suck. So we're going to be putting That's Chase be back. Mr. Cheerleader water bottle boy. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Chase is back in his team call, so now it's only back to the captains. So I'm going to be honest. After hearing all the back and forth, all the banter, all the uh, all the pre-game drama unfolding in front of our very eyes, boxing matches have been set. I will dominate. Will pay for Chase's plane ticket, or Tarzan will call. I will dominate, Daddy. Depending on whoever wins, only one of these will be true. So, Joe, you can uh, put the scene to my room, Bro, and then we'll start choosing. This is a win-win for me, man. Like, what? I get to watch a boxing match, or I just get the fucking clip of a lifetime? Like, I'm <laughs> fucking chilling. All right. So, you know what? Wait, uh, Dom, what's your current score? Win-loss? 2-4. Uh, okay, so you're 2-4. And then, Tarzan, what's yours? 6-1. All right. 6-1, bro. How 6-1? We've only played six matches. Are we 5-1? 4 three. Oh, I think we're 5-1. Yeah, sorry. All right. So I'm mean, after this game six one, my bud. Oh! Uh, after this game six one, okay, bro. Leave Uder Ooh. open. Let's see what happens, bro. That's all I'm saying. Okay, okay. Leave I will it, dominate. Leave, 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 leave. Don't worry about it. Leave, leave some fucking Uder open. Okay, well, we're gonna see exactly what's happening soon. So, Dom, you got your first color choice. Which one do you want? Wait, there's. I'm going to your stream. Hold on. Right. Oh man, not this shit again, man. Just fucking red. <laughs> Come on. It's fun, dude. Dude, just do one or two, bro. One or two. Like, can we just flip a fucking coin like human beings? No! I'm too for old shit. for this shit, bro. Don't, I don't, don't choose a this. fucking color. Please choose a color. 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 You said red. Hurry. Okay. Okay. Give me blue. Whichever. I don't care. Dark or light. Doesn't matter. Okay. Look, I get half the colors. Tarzan gets half the color. Spin that shit. I agree. Doesn't matter. Uh, T T. W W T okay. W T W Okay, we're going. All right, perfect. The wheel has been it. spin. Spun. Tarzan takes the selection. Tarzan, which side will you want? Uh, can you give me like thirty seconds? Talk to my team. Sure. Or Tarzan, and then where we... you? Wait, Tarzan, are you here? Yes, I am. What you could do as well is just for the ultra BM, you could give the other side side selection just so that if you do beat Chase, you gave him every possible advantage and you still just let your gameplay speak for itself. What do you want to do? Well, I think it doesn't matter because I think what side they want. So can I ask them what side he wants and I'll just tell him what I wanted instead? Is that right. no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what side we want. I would have to ask my team too. Uh, okay, you guys both have... 30 right, seconds. It's fine. We want red. You want red? Okay, All right. they get red. I will give them side, but I really... That's like the only person in this scene I hate so much. So, we'll go right here. Okay, so Tarzan right. takes red side. I will dominate takes blue side. Wait, what about Tai Chi? I don't even hate that guy. <laughs> Alright, okay. That's fair. That's a good answer, bro, because he might kill you. He might kill you in game if you yeah. said something else. So you I've seen watch. some clips. Don't worry about it. I've seen some. All right, clips. all right, all right. Are we done? Are we done? <laughs> yep. You guys are done. You can right, join your luck, teams. Good luck, peace, all right, good peace. luck, bro. Much love. All right. Best, best of luck to the both of you. Added you. I'm barcode. All right, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is probably the most hype game that we're gonna be casting today. Like I thought, Tars. I thought Tia played versus Hums would be the main event. I will dominate versus Tarzan might just take the cake. I'm going to be honest with you guys. So for any of you that want further context, by the way, on the reason why Tarzan and Chase have such a long-standing rivalry. Years ago, Chase made a PowerPoint presentation that was like 20 slides, which he then converted into like a 30-minute long YouTube video talking about why he thinks Tarzan's a bad person. And then after that, Chase made like 50 to 100 tweets over the course of like a year or two where he would just like randomly like talk about Tarzan or like shit talk or whatever else.
And then Tarzan one day said, you know what? I've had enough and did a 30 minute long stream because he would always like kind of shit talk Chase on stream. But then he did like a 30 minute long stream where he finally let his demons loose and said everything he wanted to say. And since then, since then, neither of them have interacted with one another. Apart for the offer for the boxing match, which was supposed to take place at TwitchCon, but never did. But we might just have to get a little redo of that going on sometime soon. So we will be seeing what we can do. All right. So we are now waiting for everyone that did forget about yesterday, by the way. Killer G is the infamous split pushing Malphite top. Never team fought a single time. Just split push the entire game until he slapped the Krugs away and then randomly ulted one meter. So we got Killer G on Tarzane's top lane. We got Tars. We got the Chase Shaco matchup. We got I Will Dominate, 55 years old. We there right now. We have a crazy game that's about to happen. Get us that hook. Get us that fucking kill. In game, of course. Level one invade. Chase five man sack. There might just be the first level one invade of the game. Talking will fall. First blood for Tars for fucking a team. I will dominate. Killer G looking for the flash. He flashes. Chase flashing over the wall to chase him. Hi. And Chase unable to get the kill. Mechanical player autoing. Two Qs flying in. Will they commit? Tarzan walking up, mechanical player with the kill on Renekton, and Chase dies to the sand! Mechanical player falls, Dunn and Kraken looking for the kill on Killer G, Dunn securing the kill on Malphite. Pikachu trying to walk in, trying to redeem the play, but there just isn't a play to be redeemed. And now as we see the replay, we see That it might be a three for two in favor of blue side. However, the thing that you have to understand is that Tarzan got the first blood. Tarzan got the kill. Tarzan got the assist. And Chase only got an assist. So Tarzan right now, he's looking at that 300 gold. He's looking at his inventory. And he's saying that longsword, I'll win the fucking game with it. I don't care if we're down one kill. I will make sure that we win the game with that extra kill advantage that I have. And Chase is sitting there and he's telling himself, you know what? Even if I'm down a little bit of gold, it doesn't matter. I'll play through my team. I'll make sure that I facilitate the win. I'll play for my full clear and I will do my best. Chase might just look to skip his red and Krugs here and instead opt to go for a straight up bot gank. While Tarzan might just look for a bot dive instead. Or they may just look for full clear and bring this a man to man fight in the river over the crab. Chase probably gonna reset since he doesn't have priority. Tarzan looking for the crab. Will he look for the double crab? Will he say, you know what? If there's one thing I can do as a jungler, it's fucking get those double crabs. Let's see. Or will he just opt for a reset? A little gold advantage and then just refill clear. I will dominate versus Killer G in the top lane. No blood being spilled just yet. Duel King diving bot and Jin will fall. Karma, full HP, full mana, waiting, sitting to see if they actually go for the dive. Mechanical player walking back. Tarzan hovering, Duel King walking up. They might just go for the dive. Bone plating has been procced. Tarzan waiting for Duel King to start tanking. Duel King with the E, and now he's tanking. Draven throwing out autos. Duel King will fall, but Draven trades a kill. And Chase says, you know what? You want to get the bot side? I'll secure the top side. Killer G falls in a trade bot for top. Two for one trade bot, one for O oh trade top. Even, yet again, in kills. But what's not even right now is jungle gold. Tarzan up 600 gold on the enemy jungle. Double longsword versus serrated Derek. Double longsword. Blue side ball in, crashing the wave, trying to push it in. If, Tar if Chase would have skipped his topside camps path straight for Dragon, he could have used mid and bot prio to secure the drag. Instead, he is now unable to. Done. Completely missing his fucking ult. Completely getting shit on. 
If Tai Chi saw that, there might have just been another clip. Chase is bot side, but he will not get to Dragon in time. And just like that, Dragon will fall. Red team claims first objective. I will dominate. Going in on Killer G, one shotting him. Killer G will fall yet again. Tarzan clears his Gromp, looks for the reset. Let's see what he buys now. Runs out of base. Umbral Glaive already completed. First item completed for the Zane. Red side. Shoving in bot. But there's no dragon to take. Harold spawning in one minute. Tarzan might just look to hover topside and play for Harold. If I know Tarzan, and I know Tarzan right now, he's telling Duo King, Duo King, you fucking freak bastard. Walk top right now, secure this Herald with me. Will Duo King roam up for the Herald? He's walking up. And just like that, what did I say? I know the fucking Zane. I know the fucking Zane. Duo King roaming up. Kraken still balling. Chase has numbers disadvantage. Tarzan going in on Chase. Getting the damage. Chase half health. Chase ulting away. Flashes. And he will live. But Tarzan will secure the Rift Herald. And just like that, Red Team has even gold. But they are up to objectives. Bot lane getting priority. Tarzan finishing his bot side camps. But Chase is going to finish his Krugs. Will he be able to look for a kill right now? He has a small timer. It's a small timer, but it's a timer nonetheless. Broken lines the queue on Kraken. Kraken manages to escape. Chase goes in, but he doesn't find the W in range. Mechanical player getting a lot of damage in, but it's just not enough. Exhausted. Chase is in. Bun is in. And mechanical player does fall. Chase gets the reset. Gets the form. Blitzcrank gets altered and dies. Tarzan goes in. Finds a snipe kill on the Karma, dodges the Q, dodges the W, and gets away scot-free, while Pikachu gets a turret plate mid. Botside is getting pressured, while Chase steals the enemy Raptors. But as Chase gets the Raptors, and maybe looks for the Krugs as well, Tarzan gets the bot tower, with the pressure he exerted, as well as the Dragon 2. Just like that, three, four objectives in favor of red side, even as they are down three kills. And then red side as a four-man unit, walking mid, and now looking for a play around mid. Tarzan heralding the mid tower, Dorking looking for a hook opportunity. Will he find it? Tarzan walking up, pressuring, taking a QW to the face by Oriana. Oriana getting stunned, Karma getting hooked, and she gets insta killed. Done. Zero man Oriana alt. And four turret plates fall mid. As the, mid, as the bot tower also falls, and so too do two dragons in favor of Team Tarzan. And as we look at the state of the game, it looks like this game is on the soul laner to carry for Team I Will Dominate. Both of Tarzane's low elo players lagging behind both of I Will Dominate's higher elo counterparts. As Tarzane and his balling group mid yet again to try and look for a turret play mid. Diego's hovering, he has the E. Jin lands the W, but they aren't able to find anything. And the second turret will fall in favor of Team Tarzane. I will dominate, saying, you know what? I'm not going to sit top. I have an advantage. I'm just going to play bot, try for some plates there. Killer G matching him. Tarzan looking for an invade. Here's the scrying orb. Chase going in, gets hooked. Tarzan gets a Q. Draven ult flying in. Plus crying calling. But Viego does not fall. Will Red Side play for a Rift Herald right now? As Killer G goes for the reset, will he opt to path towards top and give the turret bot, or will he match? I will dominate yet again. He has teleport. Let's see what he does. Walks right back bot. Harold spawning in like 10 seconds, and Killer G is sitting there on his fucking weed mouth fight, just walking bot, split pushing yet again. By far the most useless player of his team. 
but very funny to watch nonetheless. So we have to not hate him. Harold being taken down. 2k, 1.5k, 1k, smited. And just like that, the fifth objective of the game. Sixth objective of the game in favor of Team Tarzan has fallen. Six objectives to none, even while down two kills. And now Tarzan on the Scuttle Crab. Chase Kraken looking to maybe shove him off it, but they won't find it in time. Tarzan secures the crab and walks right back into his jungle. Oriana TP coming in, probably going to look for mid, maybe looking to set up the dragon. Syndra is top, she does have TP. Killer G is bot, Chase and Dunn and Kraken waiting in the top side bush. Bot side bush, looking to see if they could find a pick. Chase, his E flying out, sitting in self, looking for pick with W. Throws out his W, misses, ults randomly and fucking ends. Duo King finds the hook on Karma. Karma sends the kill, but I will dominate. It's all in, and he finds a kill. Gorjinger coming in, healing coming in, and will I will dominate be able to get something done? No, he won't. I will dominate. Will fall, and for the first time this game, Team Tarzan takes the kill lead. Chase looking for a kill on mechanical player. Oriana damage coming in. It's not enough for a mechanical player to run. He will fall. And just like that. Top red side tower. Outer turret. Is now free for the taking. Killer G. Split pushing bot. I will dominate. Matching him. Brikachu. Chilling mid. Clearing waves. While Duo King zooms around. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Popping his W. Just walking around. Tarzan catching waves. Tarzan using his ult to get onto Dunn, looking for a pick, Smite coming out, Zonia's being popped for Dunn, Chase coming in with the sun on Tarzan, but Dunn is not able to live, and he will fall, Chase will fall! Tarzan, 6-0-6, 100% KP, 2 heralds taken, 3 dragons taken, escorted his team on every single turret. And in his mind, all he can think is all those years, Chase, of you running your mouth on Twitter. And this is where we stand. Chase sitting there, desperately cr clutching, thinking maybe if I could just find one reset, one pick. We just need one good ult from Dunn, and I'll just run amok. I will run amok. I will get reset after reset, and I will try for a comeback. Team Tarzan is just miles ahead in terms of coordination. Chase looking for a pick on Tarzan. Tarzan doing a bit of damage. Alting away. Looking to get out. Exhaust coming in on Tarzan. Tarzan eating out. Gets halted by the Syndra. And Tarzan dies to Chase! As Killer G tries ulting to maybe try for the kill on Kha'Zix, but it was just too little, too late. And Chase escapes with his life after taking down the 4X. Tarzan falls, so now Blue Side takes us as an opportunity to get the Baron. While Killer G takes us as an opportunity to split push bot, but that's TB coming in. Pikachu waiting on the flank. Mechanical player coming in, talking, pouring out the Q and misses. Oh. Killer G getting chain CC. I will dominate false. Pikachu comes in, gets a double, gets a triple, and that's Pikachu. Tarzan spawn real pick, getting a triple kill. Will it be a quadra? Yes, it will. Pikachu with the quadra to save the Baron play. Fourth dragon of the game spawning. Soul point for red side if they're able to get it. Blue side will be five man contesting. Sintra's behind. Tarzan gets stunned. Chain CC coming in. AOE ults coming in. Duel King secures the kill on Karma. Mechanical player kill on Vigo. I will dominate in the middle of all of them. Kills the kills the Zane, but he will fall as well. Kill G on the back line. Lands the Q on the Jin. Unable to finish the kill. So he starts dancing and emotes. And just like that. Fourth dragon secured for Team Tarzan. Three turrets. Two heralds. 
one Baron objectively outclassed at the moment. Blue side had early kill leads, but was just unable to translate that to anything. As Team Tarzan slowly but surely shuts Team I Will Dominate out of this game. Red side looking to get a play down mid. Rikachu hovering on the flank. Duel King looking for a hook opportunity. Applying pressure with his presence. Chase done off to the side. I will dominate farming Krugs. E flying out for Viego. Trying to see if maybe he could land a sun on someone. But even if he does, would it even matter? At this point, done is down. 1.5k gold to an emerald mid laner. We heard Yum Hums yesterday come on the broadcast to call Dunn Tubby and insult him. And now when it's Dunn's point of redemption where he could maybe redeem it all, instead he is down 1374 gold to Tarzan slowly low pick. I will dominate, trying to look for null, trying to look for a play. Dunn TPing in. That's ult coming in from Brikachu, but he has to, or fuck, I will dominate. Serax will absorb all the damage. Tarzan looking for a reset. Chase missing his fourth W of the game. That's QE flying in for Syndra, but she's unable to find the kill as Tarzan falls to Chase yet again. As mid pushes and is able to get an inhib. Chase taking this as an opportunity to invade Tarzan's jungle and secure his bot side. Genold flying in, trying to look for something. But Killer G looks for the ult on. I will dominate. I will dominate. Sarax is still down and he gets insta killed. Chase off to the side looking for a stun, but he gets hit by the E. Stun is cancelled. Jin W flying in, but no damage was done to Draven, so there was no loot. Chase finds the stun on Killer G, and Killer G will fall. We did see yesterday that there was a 10,000 gold lead thrown with Dragon Soul thrown. And it was Team Tarzan versus Team TF Blade. But now, will this shoe be on the other foot? Could I will dominate Team look for an angle to come back? Or will Tarzan be able to close out the game with the advantage that his team has right now? Tarzan up 3.8k, Dwoking up 2.2k, Draven up 6.2k, what the fuck, what the fuck, wow, okay, alright, so now it looks like blue side is getting pressured, while Red side looks for Baron. Will blue side look to contest? Will they look for a steal? No, they won't. The Draven and Karzik's Baron is just too fast to even contest. With a full build Draven and a 3-4 item Karzik, you just can't do anything except sit there and watch. Alright, Elder Dragon spawning right now. This is Blue Side's last opportunity to win. If they don't contest this, if they don't seal this, then I'm sorry to say, but they just have no chance to win. Baron on the side of Team Red. Mountain Soul on the side of Team Red. 12,000 gold lead on the side of Red Team. Killigy looking for an ult, looking for a flank, takes the boss cone over. Killer G, Duo King, walking up, looking for a play, Brikachu on the flank, looking for something, QE flying in, she finds a son on Dom, Dom is down! Killer G on the back line, Diego is 1 HP, Tarzan takes down Chase, takes down Karma, takes down Don! And just like that! Team Tarzan crushing team i will dominate into a slash ff yeah, yeah dom. Up, up. all right so dom we're gonna start off with you mm -hmm. after seeing what happened what are your thoughts on the match bro top just doesn't matter bro this role fucking sucks next dante's invitation on playing jungle that's all i gotta say my right. role is weak 
All right, so TF played solo carries every single game on top lane, but here yeah, you have it. Dumps. <laughs> like, I, look, the thing is, I'm like, I'm like three six nine, bro. I'm like the 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 the, the, the stable top laner who's gonna play fucking Renekton and like be ahead and show up to the dragon fight like up items. That's my playstyle. I'm not the one v nine top laner yet. Maybe next Dauntless Invitational, I'm the one v nine top laner. Okay, okay, I see it. And now Tarzan. I got to get your thoughts, because after that game, that decisive victory, 100% KP until 20 minutes, every dragon, every herald, every objective, versus your long-standing rival, Chase, how do you feel? I just feel bad for Dom. He said, I'm going to pick two challenger players, but he only picked one, so he can't win. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Yo, but how is my Renekton, though? No, you're actually, you're actually pretty good. You're, you're actually clean, bro. You played well. Bro, it's, it's, it's a little clean. It's a little clean. We're getting there. We're getting there. You're fanboying me a bit too hard, though. I'm not going to lie. Wait, how was I fanboying you? When was I fanboying you? <laughs> Their whole team was flashing on me off cooldown every single time. Bro, like, what are we supposed to do? Like, dude, every single top laner, I swear to God, every single top laner, they just do this shit. The, the same thing that you casted last time, Dantes, it, was it not the same exact game where the Malphite just sits behind the fucking turret, goes down like 100 CS, and I yes. just can't do shit. Yes, it's dude. so unlucky, yes. bro. What is my role? How do you carry these games, bro? You I can't. don't know. Yeah, you can't. But you know what uh... we can do? We can get Chase Shaco in the call for his thoughts on how that game just went. Tarzan, do you want a post-match interview with Chase? I mean, I don't want to kick a man when he's down, but I guess he's not technically a man, so get him in here. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, Chase, you're here. You can unmute. Wait, he might be AFK for a second. Yeah, I think he's AFK. All right. Well, when he's back, he'll be able to hear. But Tarzan, give me your thoughts, though. From a jungler's perspective, how would you rate that game on a difficulty level? I was just like 1v5 in them with the entire game. It was pretty funny. It looked pretty right. easy to win. 1v5 the entire game, pretty funny. Okay, well, I'm just going to add Chase in his chat. Uh, and then we're going to try to get the final post-game interview before we get into the I, last I'm game. I'm just really confused with their draft, right? Because like, their win conditions are mid-top, but they yeah. mind-picked mid and top, and they're mid-splaying a, a utility champ, which is really weird. Okay. Yeah, hello. Right. Yo, Chase, so after that game, we just wanted to get you in call to get your thoughts on what just happened. Honestly, from my point of view, okay, so Tarzan played well this game. Um, but from my point of view, it was kind of tough. I think we first picked Kha'Zix there. I, I kind of knew what they were going to do doing that because he knows it's like my, one of my best champs. Um, best champ, you just can't play anything else. No, no flame, you played okay, great too, bro. Uh, you actually got a 5v1 the entire game by me. Anyways, go ahead, proceed. Yeah, you God, you are insufferable. Um, anyways, though, yeah, it's pretty hard to play jungle in a game like this, especially with a... Because he's got Duo King with him all the time. It's kind of hard to take control of Vision sometimes. But... Uh, I was going to call him. I think it was... Uh, self I wasn't really looking, in, a problem. Was really looking for coaching, but good game, brother. And good game, too, man. He played great. I can't wait to see you in person. Make sure we get the uh, tape measuring thing going, yeah? Okay. Yeah, all right. Show for sure, okay. like, no troll, right? Next year? Next year, I mean, how can I just prom? I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll fucking well, box you, but like, well, Chase, a... Chase, Chase, you can get an expedited so passport. Chase, listen, you can get an expedited passport, and we can set up the event for sometime during February or late January. That's kind of rude. Okay. I mean, all right, I, I mean, I'm fine with that. I don't know. It's just not that important to me as it is to him, clearly. But yeah, I'll, I'll What's go. What's important to me? The game. Oh, hey, it's so really about important. the boxing match. In person. And this is I, just I very important. Yeah, I can't wait really to see your beautiful face. Smooch. All right, all right. Well, with that being said, thank you guys for the post-game interview, and you can join your respective channels. All right, but GG's well guys, you played well. Good luck. All right, GG, bro, GG. Also, you, wait, we're, we're bring him back in here. Bring him back in here. Who Tarzan? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right. bro, he's, Tarzan. He's, he's, Tyson, wait, I will dominate has something to say to you. Bro, your top leader is the nicest guy ever. What the hell? Is he just like the, the nicest guy ever or what or what's going on? This guy is sending Why me such happen? nice messages after that. I don't know, bro. He's just being he's just chill as fuck. I don't know. Yeah, he said he all played him the entire game while we're playing the game. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, top diff, I guess. All right, all right, GG's. Peace, peace, all right. GG's, bro. Well, Best of good luck. Good game to both of you. Bye. All right, later. All right, guys, now it is time for 
game four, the match of the day. We have TF Blade, Team TF Blade versus Team Hums. And Joe, could you bring up the current standings on the Leakpedia page? Because if I'm not mistaken, TF Blade and Hums have we'll some of the high. Hold on. All right. So when the day started off, Team Hums versus Team TF Blade were both three wins, one loss. After three days of grueling battling, now we have to see where they stand now. It looks like Team TF Blade is 6-1 and Team Hums is 5-2. So, we will be getting a match to see. If Team Hums can win this one, they will be tied with Team TF Blade. If they lose, then it's not looking too great. Anyways, let me just check right now to make sure that they're both out of game. Uh, TF Blade's out of game. Okay, what about Hums? Hums is out of game. There we go. All right, so now let me bring them in. All right, TF Blade, you here? Yo. All hello, right. Hello, hello. So, you guys both played a full day of matches up to now. Up until this point, two of the tournament's strongest teams battling head-to-head. -head. Now, before we get into it, Hums, I want to know, how are you feeling about this match? I'm feeling good. I think we 3 all them in scrims, so I think it'll be easy. Okay, so TF Blade, Hum's saying that he thinks it's going to be an easy game. He 3 0 you in scrims. What's your response to that? Let the game just show for itself to be a. <laughs> you think we'll try in scrims? <laughs> Instead of limit testing 15 different things, nah, trust, just wait. Okay. Wait, we'll... TF Blade, just, just for a little bit of, I guess, pushback, you say you weren't trying in scrims, but did you or did you not? Used to flame your entire team and then deafen during okay. scrims when you would get that tilted. Is exactly the point of scrim, though. We have to fuck up and learn how to play from. Like, I put Horsey against the strongest player every game. Now he's shitting on anybody in his own elo, right? Like, he's just fucking smurfing. And then our jungler, we kept getting behind. Now we are literally playing perfect almost in team fights, except that one game. But, like, that's a good part about it, right? Wait, yeah, but you have to fuck up. Wait. Tifa, what do you think about your jungler, though? You had a lot to say about him after every game. Is he a good player? Um, he's improving a lot. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, that's really good, though. That's really good. He's improving a lot from two weeks ago to now. Okay. Insane. So TF played giving his jungler props. That's good. <laughs> All right. So now, for the last time of the day, we have to roll the spinny wheel. So I'll need you both. Two, choose colors. So right, here we Hums, go again with this bullshit. Here we go again. This guy <laughs> better make me feel like I'm schizo. Dude, no one's red, trying bro. to take red. Okay, bro, just, right. just get, it, it don't matter who. It don't matter. Just I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. All right, for this uh, Joe, just put on the room background so that they can see without the green screen. Perfect. All right, Hums, what are you choosing? Yo, cheers. I can't see shit again. What do you mean you can't no, see can shit? Now. Okay, now we can see it. Uh, okay. Red. Red, Mother. okay. You said it doesn't matter. Why are you picking red? It don't. It don't matter. It literally don't matter. <laughs> Go red. All right. So Hum's doing red. Tia played. Which one do you want? Uh, yellow. Okay. Tia played taking yellow. Hum's. Which one do you want? Blue. Hum's grabbing blue, and then Tia played. Dark blue. Dark blue. All right. So now Hum's. One, two, three, four. Choose one. That, um. One, two, three, four. Yo, the camera's like about thirty miles away. Can you bring it closer? Let me get. Let me get. Uh, pink. Uh, there's two pinks. One or three or four. The one, one or four. The one, the one at the bottom. Okay, four. All right. So that's Hum securing four, and then TF Blade taking the rest. All right, let's go. Here we go, RNG gods. All right, well, it looks like the RNG gods are in your favor, Blade. You won. The First side. time, bro. I lost all three today. Okay, nice. Big. All right. Which side do you want? Uh, blue. All right, so that's blue side locked in for TF Blade. Red side for Team Hums. 
Uh, TF Blade, create a lobby and invite me, and then yeah, I'll invite we're, we're everyone else. We're, we're, already, we're, we're, but we're outside the lobby for a whole hour and a half. Wait, what? How, how is it an hour and a half? We were waiting this whole time for an hour and a half. We've been finished. What the fuck? Been a long okay. ass time. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, All right, good luck, in. buddy. You'll need good it. Luck. Good luck. Good luck, You guys can join your teams? <laughs> Alright, All right, there we go. Best of luck to both of you. Too much yapping. Yeah, but if I told you the yapping is the best part, getting the beefs going. Up to now, we've only really had drama between uh, t <laughs> between Tarzan and other people, though. It was Tarzan versus NXI. Then it was Tarzan versus uh, versus Chase. And what if I told you guys that tomorrow, the final game of the night will be the ultimate drama match, Tarzan versus Hums. The final game of the round robins so stay tuned for that announcement all right joe what's the time left on the game starts and now we're already in it xd but ah! all right so with that being said the final game of the night the highly anticipated tf blade versus hums tf blade versus hums Dave Mon thinks he's gonna get a free lane versus my low elo player. No, he won't. TF Blade stepping up to the plate yet again and telling his team, get in my back while I carry and do what needs to be done. Hums Nikic, Aphelios Thresh, Tempest, Amelia, Yon Karma, Horsey, Silsoul, Tank, Tank, just farming, scaling doing absolutely nothing. Horsey looking to proxy the wave as TF Blade looks to shove in mid. Goes for a chain on Daemon, escapes. Half health versus half health. Fiddlesticks hitting the top crap. Well, okay, man looks for the gang pod. Nikic getting his play and looks for the hook on the rooted. Amelia, but misses it. Oh no, he landed on Yon. Okay. So he lands it on Yon and nobody falls by. Nikic flash being burnt for absolutely nothing. While Amelia's double sums go down as well. Davemon trying for a play on TF Blade. Looking for damage, K Man coming in, but no play can be found. TF Blade walking up, healing with his Qs, trying to get a little bit of power before he can reset. Tempest getting caught. He overstayed and it looks like he tries to get the shield, tries to get the root, tries to get the dash, but it's not enough. And Tempest will fall as Humps takes first blood of game four. Daemon flashing in, misses his on TF Blade, lands it on Fiddlesticks. They're looking for a play, they're looking for something. Tempest going in, gets it to on Silas. Daemon falls. Caveman looking for a reset. Darkstar might just look for a play. Doesn't realize that Caveman's greeting a reset in the bush. And Caveman will find his back while TF Blade does as well. And now, Davemon shoving in mid. TF Blade just trying to hold the wave. TF Blade going for a trade, Daemon down to 3rd HP, ult coming out from both sides, the Dominus is spraying, TF Blade praying that Daemon walks back to lane to give him his 3rd kill of the game, as TF Blade showing yet again why he is a true team captain. Yesterday we saw Tarzan coming back from a 10k gold deficit, and on both days TF Blade taking on the mid lane roll so he doesn't become forced to play versus a tank matchup. And both days TF Blade performing out of his mind. Blast coning in, Empower W coming in. Dave Mon falls. And now we see Hums up 3 CS on the enemy ADC. Having the first blood advantage, but his solo laners are down. His top lane is down 20 CS. His mid lane is down 2 kills and 20 CS. 
TF Blade roaming up. Team Hums did secure the first dragon of the game, but Dark Sword looking to trade the Herald. We've seen time and time again Team TF Blade playing for gold leads, trying their best to just sit there and say, you know what? We have what we need. We have the better players. We don't need dragons. What we need is gold. And gold is what they're getting. Horsey trying to reset. Greed's a reset. So so has ult. Could look for the ult. Has flash Daemon coming in. And they just let Horsey escape. Horsey walking back up. Might try to mess with the enemy jungler's buffs. Daemon catching the wave under tower. TF Blade escaping. Dark Sword trying to look for a play around mid. Hovering. Maybe gonna go for the Raptors. While Horsey solos the enemy red on some trick 2G shit. Showing why he watches his friend's streams and actually copying his play style. And now TF Blade looking for a play on the enemy bot side. Invading the Gromp. They have vision of him. They know that he's hovering bot. He blast comes out. Will he look for the crab? Just looks to sack his rage. And TF Blade walks back to lane. Dark Sword might just look for dive under tower. He has alt up. He has flash up. He might just go for the play. Davemon realizing that something was amiss. Going for a little bit of uh, trade damage. <gasps> Dark Sword is ulting in. TF Blade's walking up. K Man throws out himself. It misses. Dark Sword's flash has been forced. And Dark Sword does fall. Team Hums trading a kill on their mid laner. Dave Mon going in on TF Blade, trying to get a playoff. His ult came out, he goes for the Empower W, has to flash away. Will Dave Mon look to chase? No, he won't. TF Blade backs off and might just look for the reset. Oh, instead of resetting, he has Amelia. He might just look for a play here. Eing and queuing to heal and then just clearing the wave. And meanwhile, both top laners. Wow. Tank versus tank, dude. Wow. Zero KP at 12 minutes. Wow. This is really riveting gameplay. Really riveting gameplay right now. Walk in a tank. Build defensive items. Don't die. Wow. Just farm. Wow. Harold drops for the mid lane, and so too does the outer turret. Hamza Nikic going in on Tempest, trying to find a play. Are they able to? No, they are not. Are unable to finish the play. TF Blade, Amelia, and Dark Sword coming in. Blue side to B is coming in. Can they catch? Hums in a choke. Horsey comes in, gets the stun. Hums has the cleanse, but does not need to use it as he takes the Thresh Lantern to safety. Red side might just start dragging here. Can Blue side even look to contest? They have some alts, they have some summoners, but they might just have to give. The second dragon of the game. Blue side shoving in. Hums getting knocked up, but we'll just be able to enter to safety if needed. Has both red and white guns. The best combo that you could have on Aphelios. Highest damage output by far. Will he be able to find a kill? Will he be able to? We don't know yet. And now K-Man taking the red buff. Trying to push it. Trying to get his CS up. As Dark Sword takes the second Herald of the game. A very common thing that we've seen, especially in TF Blade's team, is how they will just drop early dragons, play for insane gold leads, until a point where they can just contest third or fourth dragon, and they don't have to worry about a thing. Hums, Nikic. Holding mid, looking for a potential play, looking for that turret. Will they even be able to find it though? We don't know. And now it looks like both ball lanes are hovering mid. Nikic is getting deep vision with Silas. Hums is alone. Will they look for a catch on him? He has no turret, he has no safety. Dark Sword going to push them out of his jungle. 
trying to clear a bit of vision. Daemon going in, trying for trade. Everfrost coming out. Q flying out. Daemon looking for the flash. Unable to find the kill. Dark Sword stopwatch gets forced while Daemon is able to just lantern out to safety. And now it looks like TF Blade got the bot tower and might just look for a hit on the inner tower as well. K Man trying to force him off, but TF Blade is trading back. Unable to get more, TF Blade takes both turrets of this game. And just like that, TF Blade is up thousands upon thousands of gold. The question is. Will it be enough to solo carry this game? Will he be able to pull through like he was able to in the past? Or will all fail? And will Hums be able to perform on his Aphelios after getting banned out four times in a row? Silsoul forced off. Horsey can just look for autos. Looks for the turret. Demolish has been procced. And top outer turret will fall. Red side loses three turrets. Every single lane pushed into the inner turret. Dark Sword walking up, but he might just face check into Thresh and Silas. Dark Sword getting chain CC'd, and he will just die. And just like that, Dark Sword will fall before third dragon, giving another dragon to team hums potentially darks are respawning in 18 dragon spawning in 25 there might just be a chance that blue might look to contest tf blade hovering bot udir has a tp will blue team look to contest or will they just give it yet again And now it looks like they're giving the third dragon of the game. Blue side is saying, you know what? You can have your three dragons. You can take whatever you want to take. But at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter. Because we'll be able to come back and fight Soul Point. TF Blade, TP's top. And accompanied by Horsey, they take down the inner turret. Just like that, 700 gold for Team TF Blade. Dark Sword just hovering around top, waiting to see if he can catch someone out. Blue buff spawning soon, might look for that. Raptors have spawned, maybe he'll just look for an invade. And invade he does, as he ease to aggro, and then we'll finish them off with his W. Red buff has spawned. Nikic has no vision. He'll be face checking. And Nikic will get picked. Root coming in. CC coming in. And support falls for the side of Team Hums. Now the question is, we know that blue will get the red. But will they get even more than that? Will they look for the Baron play? Or will they just look for another pick? Dark Sword channeling ult, Bill ult coming in, Joel ult coming in, Silas will fall, Daemon will die, Hums trying to get a playoff, throws out assault, no damage coming in, K-Man force out. TF Blade finds K-Man, ult tries looking for a play, he knows that there's no inner turret, might look for more. Empower W coming in, Eing out, dodging the Q, gets hit by the ult, chain CC'd. Hums only has one item. There might not be enough damage coming in. Blue side did start Baron though. Tepid is trying to hold, trying to pressure. But K-Man is hovering the sideline. He has his smite. He has his flash. Red side to be coming in. Blue has four. Red has five. Malphite, Udyr, both just chilling bot. Neither moving a single centimeter. Davemon steals the fiddle ult, ults in, and takes down Dark Sword. Jungle down for the side of Team TF Blade. Emilia forced the flash. Blue side forced to reset. And both top laners, still with no fucking KP, doing absolutely fucking nothing yet again. Absolutely fucking nothing. Both top laners literally just doing nothing. 
as Team Ham starts the Baron. Young just scouted. He knows they're on it. Tiapet is coming in. Amelia is coming in. Can they look for the play? Baron is 2k. 1.2k. 700. Smite comes in from K-Man. And just like that, Baron is secured. Soul Soul's Flash gets forced. Horsey has no mana. Unable to follow it up. And yet again, we're 23 minutes in and neither top laner has a single kill participation. Wait, Joe, blow up my camera for a second. Let me show you guys how you avoid voice problems when you scream all the time. Just like that. Easy. Drinking honey, bro. Diabetes speedrun? Why would I get diabetes? I'm not afraid of diabetes. I'm afraid of diamond beaties. <laughs> Anyways, Tiapli walking up, applying pressure, gets hooked by Nikic. Might get picked off! K-Man coming in with the ult on Horsey. Tiapli, ult coming in. Yo, ult coming in! Daemon, 1 HP! Zonius comes through! K-Man will fall! Daemon will fall! As Tiapli looks to push his lead, Social on the flank gets the ult! And arms with the triple! And just like that, Cell Soul, three man alt, and is able to turn the tides. Rock fucking solid performance by Cell Soul of the first team fight of the game. Three man alt as Aphelio throws his out too. And just like that, blue gets wiped. Hums looking to finish his LDR. Sees that the enemy team builds a lot of armor and says, you know what? I'm going to make sure that I am able to actually do damage. But his flash is down. Baron is coming up in two and a half minutes. Will Red Side be able to look for another winning fight on Baron? Or will blue team be able to get a pick? And look to push their, their advantage right now. Tempest holding mid. Look at how tanky Hums is looking right now. With that shield. The mountain dragon shield. Along with overheal. ADC is looking weak this patch. Let's get some buffs right freak. Maybe if you buff ADC 20 more times. You'll actually peak diamond one. We'll see. So it looks like red is playing three lanes. Three mid. One bot. One top. Renekton. Matching Dave Mon. Joe, can we get a visual on all three lanes right now? Just so everyone can see. And as you guys can notice, TF Blade is looking to walk up. Tempest, Dark Sword, Amelia all hovering around mid while Horsey keeps farming top. Looks like there might be a fight around Baron right now, though. 50 seconds on the timer. Nikic looking to secure some Baron vision, looking to get vision control on the topside river. However, blue does have a lot of vision. They do have some wards placed. So now it looks like Horsey, TF Blade, Amelia, Tempest, Dark Sword moving as a five-man unit, trying to clear out all the vision that was previously gotten by Red Side as Baron spawns. Red Side with only one ward in the entire map, literally no vision might just be looking for a pick dark sword his alt is up will he look for a play not just yet no shadow flame on blue side no serpents on blue side playing against mountain dragon shields as well as overheal and malphite shield it might look a little rough and now it looks like team hums Trying to start the Baron. Udyr CP coming in. Looking to finally join a fight. Blue side looking to contest. Red side walks away. Sil Soul is on the flank. Dark Sword is farming Raptors. Red might just look to commit again. But Elder Dragon is spawning in one second. And if either team secures Elder, it might just secure them the game. Blue side starting the outer. Amelia, TF Blade, trying their best to zone while the rest 
continue on the play. K-Man walking up. Elder, 8.5k, 8k, so so on the flank, so so might just look for an outplay, Dark Sword ulting it on three, Harms with the cleanse, Dark Sword has the flash out, unable to find anything, Daemon ults in, kills Dark Sword, Diablade tries, kills Harms, Harms has fallen, Diablade flashing in, my look for came out, Tempest ults in, gets the two man ult, and just like that, Red Side falls! Red side has fallen! Silas throwing out double R. Tiapa getting caught in the middle of it, but it's too little too late. Silas will fall. And just like that, Elder Dragon taken for Team TF Blade. Now let's get a little reset or a little replay on the fight. Dark Sword ults in, Hums cleansing. Dark Sword getting caught. But TF Blade is on the backside and Hums lanterns into TF Blade, solo losing his team the fight and giving TF Blade an 850 gold shutdown, giving TF Blade's team four kills, and giving TF Blade's team Elder Dragon. Keep in mind that there's still zero anti-heal on Hums right now. All the anti-heal is on Silas, and it looks like Blue is pushing the advantage after getting the Elder to secure the Baron. Redemption coming in, 700 healing on TF Blade. TF Blade zoning his entire team. Came on! Q's in and gets the steal! Baron in favor of Team Hums! And just like that, Team TF Blade thought that they could close out the game, but K-Man said, K-Man, watch this, and cues in to take everything away from Dark Sword. Hum slowing out his ult, almost kills Tempest, but is unable to find the finishing damage. Even with Elder Dragon, Team TF Blade just cannot fight right now. Dark Sword might just be getting caught. Gets queued by the Malphite. Movement speed has been stolen. So so looking for the ult. Finds the ult. Nickage showing out the hook. And Dark Sword will fall yet again. K Mount looking for an invade on the red. TF Blade looking for the red. TF Blade secures the red buff. K Mount queuing in, trying to look for a play. Doing absolutely zero damage. My god. Davemon ulting in with the fiddle six ult, finding the ult on Tempest, Tempest 5 HP, tries queuing out, but is unable to, chains he seed until death, Tempest will fall. Team TF Blade might just be on the ropes right now, with Dark Sword down for another 5, Tempest down for another 40, and Baron on the side of red, they might just look to end the game here. Nickage, a third HP, finds the Q on TF Blade, TF Blade gets pulled in, Goggle is simply coming in, Dark Sword with a 0 man ult into the chain CC, ends the fucking game! TF Blade's ult still down. Tempest still having 10 seconds. They're gonna try to clear, but will they even have enough? They're trying to walk up, trying to pressure. So so ulting in one man ult on TF Blade. TF Blade ult coming through, getting CC'd, eating in, getting one shot! Horsey will fall! And just like that, Team Hums takes the win. All because of the smite on Baron. Alright, now we got it here. What both captains have to say. Alright, Hums. Yo. Alright, so before the game started, TF played said that even though he got three out in scrims, that he thought this would be a win. And TF played, tell us what just happened. I mean, you thought we were ahead in gold the entire game, and we just, man, like I don't know, we're missing smite on Baron. Whoever calls gold, man. Fucking up, like Whoever two gold gold barons in a row should be ours, and we lose it, right? It's just like bad synergy, or 
whatever fucking happened there. To be honest, I don't think we're ever going to pick Fiddle again in our entire... <laughs> yeah. All right, Tia Played, I need you to be Amazing. honest with me about something. Tia Played, be honest with me about something. Was but... it that your team had bad synergy, or was it that your jungler had cancer this game? No, Tell no, it's a right team now. game, right? No, 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 it's a team game, it's a team game. All right, oh, so no. it's a jungler. I think it's your jungle no. with Tearblade. You're gonna no. have to flame him again. No. <laughs> nah, I also banned fucking Noctan because I'm sleepy. I went to ban Cannon. It's uh, it's our pick that I banned. It's my own jungler's <laughs> pick. This right. was unlucky. The effects of the hangover came yeah, in. Yeah, bro, I did it to fucking... We were, we were planning to fucking first pick Noct. I accidentally banned him instead of Cannon. <laughs> unlucky, whatever. It is what it is. Now, Hums, yeah. what do you have to say after that decisive, well, not decisive, but riveting victory on your end? Honestly, that game was actually really fun to play, but, bro, not, no bot lane in this tournament can match me and Nick. All right, Peace good out, games, out. guys. Right, good games. Just, All right, and just like that, day two of the Dantes Invitational draws to a close. Four games, riveting games, and at the end of the standings, we look and we will see where teams are placed. In first place, with seven wins, one loss, the Zane, the 4X, leading the leaderboards. As a close second, Hums, TF Blade, tied after that performance. And now, Team Tobias Fate and Viper all 6 and 2 with Gamer Girl 4 4. I will dominate and Lolo both 3 5 and SRO 3 5 as well. Now, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. It's not looking too hot for Team Solar Baka or Team Trick 2G. These, both these teams, unless I will dominate and Lolo don't drop a single game tomorrow. It's looking like Solar Bach and Trick 2G might just be eliminated from the entire tournament. And Charismai's team isn't looking too hot either with a score of 2 to 6 right now. And let's just say tomorrow's games are going to be even crazier. If you guys were wondering what are, is the schedule for tomorrow, we're going to have only 3 games, not 4 this time. Only 3. And it will be Team Gamer Girl versus Team Tobias Fate to start off. Then... We're going to have I Will Dominate versus TF Blade. Another drama match. I Will Dominate TF Blade. Used to be good friends. And then things ended a bit sour. So when we get them in call, it'll be a bit interesting. And then finally, for the final game of the tournament, the highly anticipated game, we're going to have Tarzan versus Hums. Welcome, everyone, to the final day of the round robin the day where everything is decided 12 teams only eight will be moving on and moving forward to the quarterfinals today four teams will be facing elimination Right now, we have the current standings on screen with Trick2G and Solar Baka coming in hot in last place with a 1 and 7 score. Karasmai not doing too well either. 2 win, 6 loss. And then Solar Renekton only, Lolo, and I will dominate in a three way tie for the next biggest loser. So, as you guys can see, Anything can happen today. No team is out just yet. Because if Trick2G pulls through, and if he wins four in a row today, he might just make it to quarterfinals. He just might. I'm going to be honest. The only thing we know for sure is that it looks like the Zane, as well as everyone else with six wins, will most likely be moving forward. But, that's besides the point. The final day of round robins means we've been saving some of the best games for today. So to start off, fresh faces that we have not seen casted yet on this channel. With Gamer Girl versus Tobias Fate in our first game of the day. So who's going to take it home? Who's going to win? The king of the plank or the queen of the blades? 
We'll just have to wait and see. And then right after that, a big drama match coming in. Two rivals that were once friends. I will dominate versus TF Blade in the second game of the day. And for the final game of the night, the biggest game of the round robin, we have a grudge match. Tarzan versus Hums for the main event. Banger lineup ready today. Banger lineup. And honestly, you know what? I've had enough talking. Let's just get right into it. So without further ado, we'll be trying to get Tobias Fate and Gamer Girl in the call. And then we will start the pregame interview. But before I do, let me just take a second to shout myself out for having the most insane sense of style out of anybody. We got the ripped skinny jeans. The ripped skinny jeans, chilling. With the fucking black tank top, the overhanging front. Oh yeah. Oh my god. You see me pulling up to the club like this, you already know you better go fucking home, dude. Ain't no way anyone's outclassing me with the fucking fit of the kings, bro. So you know what, let's actually just bring in Tobias real quick. Have a little chat, see how the tournament's been going for him. Tobias! Yo. Alright, first time we got to talk in a pre-game interview. And all I want to know is how has the tournament been going so far for your team? <clears throat> uh, Pretty good. I mean, we lost a few games we probably shouldn't have lost. But like, overall, it's good, man. Everything's great. Yep. Well, I just wanted to say, you know, I tuned into your stream last week and I saw you're looking quite healthy. Then now mm -hmm. I'm looking at of my course. screen and it looks like you put on a few hundred pounds. Can you tell me what happened there? Uh, it's a family secret. I can't reveal it. All right. I can't let you know. Well, you know what? To all those people that say things like diabetes runs in the family. No, the problem is your family doesn't run. You know what I mean? That is true. That is true, actually. <laughs> the problem isn't diseases running in the family. The problem is your family members not running in the family. Well, anyways. So, with that being said, though, how confident are you feeling today? Um, let's just say, hypothetically, my jungle isn't here. And we would need a new jungler. How does that sound? Uh, <laughs> well, is it, is, well, does that sound good? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, hypothetically, uh, that's... Moving uh, on to game two. Um, that is qualified. And GG. No! <laughs> you no. let us play! <laughs> listen, listen. We can let you get a sub for today. If you need a sub for today, we can let you get a sub it's for the today. Listen, we have a sub. It's the same guy who actually subbed in in jungle when he wasn't here. I don't know if it's like family matters or an animal's in trouble or something. I don't know, bro. Okay. This guy's always punctual. I got no idea. Okay, wait. Who's your sub going to be today? Uh, It's a guy named like Cryo or some shit. He's like Challenger. Cryo? Do you know him? Wait, his name's Cryo? I think so. Wait, what do you mean you think so? You don't even know the name Cry of your own Ky sub? Kyra. Ky Cryra. Fucking <laughs> Kyra. Kyra. I don't know, bro. Cry, yes, cry, right? Yes, yes, yes. All right, so you're bringing in the Evelyn one trick into your team. I got I suppose you. so. All right, so do you want me to give him the team Tobias role then so that he can actually join the VCs and whatnot? Uh, yeah, you can do that. Okay. Also, uh, it looks like Gamer Girl has yet to respond to my DMs or ask. Disqualified! <laughs> uh, you might actually not even have to bring in Cryo. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hold on. Uh, so I'll add Cryo. Is he even, is he even in the server? I don't know. <laughs> Wait. Fuck if I know, I don't know. Wait, Tobias, <laughs> was Cryo yeah. a part of the pool of junglers? Does TV he need chosen? to be part of the pool? Yes. Subs okay. can only be a part so of the pool. So how about we get a guy in the pool? Can we just go look? Yeah, I mean, yeah, dude. You want me to do it or not? Like, here. I'll add everyone in, uh, I'll add all challengers, I guess. I, okay, so Pansar Dragon says he can sub for you at 5 p.m. I've got, hang on. I've got a guy. Who's Reggie? Reggie? You know who Reggie oh, is? Uh, Reggie Dice. Yes, Reggie Dice. 
Yeah. Is he good? Uh, he's like he's like a Rengar OTP, but he can play other stuff too. Like he'll never beat Tarzan off Rengar, but it's like he could still pull his own weight. Like he won't be, mm -hmm. he won't like soul lose through the game. You want to bring in Reggie? Man, what the hell? Well, let's wait till Gamer Girls here. Is that fine? Yep, we can wait. We can okay. wait. Okay. All right, so Tobias, before we he's uh, he's here. He's here. Wait, the fucking here? jungle is here. <laughs> Disqualify this woman! She's not prompt! My team is! We are here! <laughs> wait, wait! Did Are you he's here? He's here! Tobias! Tobias! The only DQ you should be worried about is fucking Dairy Queen! With it's that good. fucking fat it's ass face! As, you, oh, come on. It's good as fuck, though, right? <laughs> Dairy it's Queen's actually good, not man. bad, yes. It Dairy is good. Queen it's probably good. has the best ice cream. I'm not gonna okay, lie to you. what's the Dairy Queen order? What do you get? Uh, what do I get? <laughs> hard problems after I overeat. <laughs> stomach issues, you know, like hard problems and stomach issues. That's what I get after I finish Dairy mm -hmm. Queen. I see. Okay, but you need to respond to the allegations. Of what? The allegations are that all along you've just been dodging the name Tobias Wait. What are your thoughts on that? No, the name is Fat Bias Wait. <laughs> Listen, it's 2023. Don't shame me. <laughs> wait, wait. If a man wants to be 800 tons, he'll be 800 tons. <laughs> you know what? It's just more to love for your partner at the end of the day. I respect exactly. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. wait they're Where's Gamer Girl? Oh, she's here! Okay! Gamer Girl makes it at 359, so she will not be DQ'd. Let's bring her in. No! Gamer Girl! All right, gamer girl. Tobias was just trying to convince us to disqualify you because you were late. What are your thoughts True. on that? I was. No. Okay. That the other day that was like a week ago. Look at me now. Go look at my OPGG. I'm serious. Okay, it was but... Emerald One last night. I just promoted to my peak. <laughs> oh okay. my god. <laughs> thoughts. What the fuck am I looking at? Oh, okay, yeah. wait, hold on. Wait, wait. It you know, in all fairness, though, in all fairness, Tobias, you say you pr you demoted fucking Emerald One, but you're probably playing some bullshit like full AP Mundo. No, that's true. Okay, well, no, I was. Pl I, mean, I, I was saw playing, you playing like, full AP, <laughs> bro. I saw you playing full AP fucking Graves for three weeks straight, randomly. You don't like it? You don't like it? It's good. <laughs> I've also saw that. <laughs> All right, so gamer girl, after seeing that, how confident are you that you'll be able to win versus Tobias Bay today? Um, honestly, not that confident. Damn His right. Side is pretty strong. He's he just builds tank Tobias. Like it's so easy to carry him, but we'll carry see. me. His laning is. Yes, oh, you. You just feel a rod of ages, and you just... It's so cancer. What is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> says the Katarina Oriana player. Like, what, what's this, man? Come on. Well, I was put on Oriana duty. But... Well, I was, put, I was put on tank duty. Okay, fair Listen, enough. we can both... It's fine. We can both get carried. <clears throat> okay. All right. I'm done for well, that. Listen, without further ado, though, since we are running one minute behind schedule... We will be getting into the side selection. So, since this is both your first time watching the casting and being a part of the pregame cast, for if you are unaware, you need to choose a color. So, Gamer Girl, what's your current score, team standings? We are 4-4. Four, four. Tobias, you're 6-2, right? Yep. Wait, are you actually 6-2? Height, yeah. 6-2 win-loss as well, yeah. God damn. You hit the fucking genetic lottery. All right, mm -hmm. anyways, Gamer Girl, since your team does have more losses than his, you got to choose the first color. All right. I choose blue. Light blue. Okay. Tobias? Wait, what is this for? Y you need to choose the color. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, green. Okay. All right. Oh, that's that's... A good, it's a good choice. 
<laughs> okay. All right, gamer girl, your turn. I'll do dark blue. Okay. The fuck? <laughs> we got red, yellow. Yeah, we got red, yellow, pink. Yo, give me pink. No, I was gonna say, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't know what this shit is. Just give me whatever. <laughs> All right, okay. so it looks like you get the highly contested pink. Gamer Girl, which Ooh. one do you want now? I'll do red. Uh, hold on. Okay, but the thing is, you can only choose three out of the four reds. So imagine this was one, two, three, and four. Which one do you not want? Wait, what is... Okay, so... One, oh, two, fuck. three, and four. Which one do you not want? I don't want... Wait, I don't want red anymore. What is that? Okay, 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 you want... <laughs> all right, all right, fine. You get yellow then, all right. Yellow locked in for you. Okay, Tobias, now you get to choose three of the four reds. One... Two, what? three, four, dude. It's complicated. Okay, you, okay, Wait, look. Well, okay, I'm so, so confused. okay, let me explain. Okay, because the thing is, red is the only one that has four, so you have to choose one out of the four that you that you don't want, and then you get the other three. Then gamer girl gets the fourth red, so that it's even. So give me red. Uh, okay, look. Okay, Tobias, what's your least favorite number between one, two, three, and four? Which one do you hate the most? Uh, let me think. I'm gonna say the. Uh... <laughs> Yo, give me like two, four. Wait, you want four or you don't want four? What? Wait, what do I gotta do again? You have to choose the one that you don't want, and then you get the other three. Oh, so I don't want four. Okay, so you don't want four. No, I wanted four. I don't want one. <laughs> okay, 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 so you don't want one. I think so, yeah. Okay, so you got four, three, and two. You're okay with that? Yeah. All right, Gamer Girl gets one. Let's spin it. Wait, wait, why don't I get two and he gets two? That's besides the point. All right, anyways. Wait, wait, the wait, wheel... no. wait, wait, hang on. The... No. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Please, please, it lands... please, please. It lands on the pink. The highly contested I pink. I fucking knew it. Wait, can we right. re-roll? No. Just two of three. Nope. Wait, you so can't. what is this? Is that me? Yes, you landed no, on pink. Why so you upside to... down? Be, okay, so pretty much the way that gravity works, right, is since I wrote T like this, then okay. when I spin it around. Oh, all right. It, That's yes. genius. Yes, yeah, true, true. Okay. I, I wrote yeah, it yeah, like yeah, this, yeah, right? So then when it's over here, it's like gr because of gravity. Okay. Wait, so not okay. angular momentum. Just all, right. Uh... <laughs> all right. So, Tobias, which side do you want? Red or blue? Oh, shit. Oh, this is. Oh, let me consult my team. All right. I didn't know what we were doing. I was just saying numbers or whatever. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, normally people do coin flips, but the thing is, I am athletically incompetent. True. So, wait, what do you mean true? No, that's when you're you supposed to. You don't look physically fit, bro. You're not like me. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually true. Actually true. It's okay, fun. we want red side. All right, gamer girl, did you want red side too? Um, won't leak. All right. I mean, yeah, we wanted blue. We wanted blue. Thank you. Oh Tobias. shit! That's fine. We got strats too. Don't worry. No, All right, don't. so we're in the matrix. We know everything. <laughs> All right, so okay. it looks like. Red side is locked in for Tobias. So, Tobias, what you can do is just um, DM me what your IGN is and then make a custom, add me. I'll bring Gamer Girl in and then we'll get the custom game booted up and we'll be started in five minutes. Uh, That's good. Wait, so I, uh, do I DM you to add you? I'll just send you my name? Wait, just tell me what your name is. I'll send your friend request right now. Okay. 
Let me message you it. All right. All right, so now, Tobias, you can create the custom, and then I'll bring everyone in, and we'll get started. So you guys can both okay. rejoin your team. All right. Good luck, right. good luck. Best good of luck, luck to both of you. All right. Guys, we got some crazy things cooking. I'm going to be honest with you. A mid lane matchup of the century. Tobias Fate. The worldwide best Bilgewater player. Just plays every fucking champion from Bilgewater. Builds whatever the fuck he wants on them, because why not? Versus Gamer Girl. Katarina one trick being forced to go on Oriana duty if Katarina's banned. This might just be a crazy start to the day. Who are you guys repping? One for team Tobias Fate. Two for team Gamer Girl. TF versus GG. Who do you guys think is going to be taking the cake? It's funny because I remember when I was announcing captains, most people thought Team Tobias Fate would just be an easy role because they're like, oh, Tobias Fate, you know, he's not consistent child, nothing like that. And then as the tournaments progressed, he's currently like six wins, two loss. Gamer Girl was one of the favorites to win with her top lane, her challenger top, challenger soul lane. People thought they were just going to run everyone over. Right now, they're sitting at 4-4. And if the day goes bad, they may just be facing elimination. So this game for Gamer Girl means quite a lot. Let's just say it means quite a lot. All right. So game one of the final day of the Dantes Invitational Round Robin to determine which teams proceed to quarterfinals and which teams will get eliminated. Who will move on to claim the title of Dantes Invitational Victor along with the $10,000 prize? But little do the teams know that I said it was a $10,000 prize, but I never said the currency. We might just be giving them 10,000 rupees. All right, Tobias Fate getting his corrupting potion. Who still remembers when junglers used to be able to buy fucking refill pots? And they could get that one potion that every time you would kill a jungle camp, you would get a little bit of mana and HP back. And then at one point, Ride was just like CBA, dude. And they decided to make the jungle roll easier. And then they decided to remove level smites. Then they decided to remove the fucking... Uh, they decided to remove actual smite items, and then they decided to remove XP and just make it the worst role in the game. Jungle is, without a doubt, the worst role in the game. And the proof is in the pudding, as Perry Jungle, 1800 LP Jungle, locks in a tank fucking jungle. Sejuani Jungle on an 1800 LP player. It's literally like giving an MMA kickboxing, like, 1v9 warrior machine Conor McGregor, dude, a water gun in a war. Imagine that. Here's a hot fucking take straight out of the microwave, dude. Jungle is by far the least impactful role as teams get better and as teams improve because a jungler can only work with what he gets given by his team but Raktik doesn't give a fuck as he sits here four camps taken and he's looking for a gank on the bot lane Raktik the diamond jungler parry the full clearing challenge 1800 RP jungler Raktik coming in the exhaust flying in Raktik deciding to go on Sonora Sonora flashing out Hero coming in but Sonora will fall Unibuda to HP Raktik getting the reset getting the damage up parry jungle will fall triple kill for team gamer girl Triple kill for Team Gamer Girl. Raktik saying, fuck my full clear, fuck my camps. Going for the gank and executing it flawlessly. Finding the stuns, finding the resets, living through everything and managing to make his presence known. Saying, you know what? I might be D1 Masters, but I'll show Perry just who the fuck I am. 
Raktik securing the dragon, got kills for his team, and now he's getting an objective lead. But the thing is, he's down. 20 CS. Does that matter though? Not at all. Because if there's one thing we know about jungle, it's that you could have one guy that's 0-10, 0 CS, no objectives taken, and he'll only be one level down as the guy who has 100 KP, 8 dragons, 9 barons, 20 turrets, fucking 30 CS per minute. It doesn't even matter. It is absolutely crazy what this role has come to. And now we're looking at buys. Tobias Fate getting the Sheen. Speaking of Sheen, who watched Jimmy Neutron, I kind of look like Sheen. I'm not going to lie to you. Some people have told me that before. And it's kind of a hurtful comparison. But you know what? It is what it is. The only Sheen we're worried about right now, though, is Charlie Sheen. That guy used to be one of the most problematic actors in the entire industry. And then, I don't know what happened. He just stopped doing drugs and stopped doing, like, crimes, and he just fell off. Haven't heard of him in years. But by God, did that guy make a good TV show with the one where it's like he has his brother and then his brother has a kid, but then he's, like, the bachelor, and he's just, like, chilling, living life, like the fun uncle dude. That was, like, a chill show. That was a chill show. And now, as we're looking at the state of the game, Perry was up 20 CS. Now he's up 4. <laughs> Full clearing all game just to be up 8 CS on the enemy jungler. <laughs> oh my god. Unbelievable things going on right now in the jungle. Unbelievable. Perry looking to trade objectives. Lost the first dragon. Lost the three kill spot. Trying to look for a way to regain gold. Cupid just alting off cooldown. Because why not give Lux a 30 second cooldown ult? Why not? Why not give Lux a 30 second cooldown ult? Why not? Why not? Why not give her... Okay, well, I guess it's 45. 45 at 9 minutes with a level 1 ult? Fucking bullshit! Absolute bullshit! Meanwhile, a champion like Akshan, able to revive his teammates, has an ultimate as his passive, but none of this matters as Raktik gets caught. Diego might just fall, balling both collapsing, but they manage to escort Diego to safety. Diego lives, no blood is shed. Speaking of sheds, in 2020, my shed's roof was deteriorating. So I spent a week outside during that summer just helping my dad redo the roofing of the shed. And as we look at Gamer Girls IG and Taco, all we can think is that tacos are one of the most mid foods that you can get from like Mexican restaurants. Fajitas and quesadillas are a million times better, and you genuinely cannot agree with that. Tacos are like actual dog shit, genuinely when I say this. And now, blue side, Team Gamer Girl securing the dragon. Second dragon of the game, taken. And you're seeing Tobias Fate on his gangplank. As the gangplank ult comes in, Taco getting caught, but it's looking like Kubrick finds the ult. Solidify TPing in, and they might just try to turn this around. Double kill on Kubrick with his 30 second box ult, as Raktik queues over the wall and looks for a pick on Tobias. Tobias tries to look, but he will fall. In a decisive team fight that leaves red side scrambling. Let's get a quick replay. Gangplank, try doing something. Perry, jungle, try to hold. But Cupic found an ult that just one shot Lux and brought Unabuna to 20 HP. And after that, it was just completely over. Completely over. Just like that. Team Gamer Girl up 3,000 gold. Up two dragons as red side tries to look for some kind of way back into the game 
Team Tobias Fate starting the Rift Herald. Unabuna is bot lane though, but so is Cupic. Cupic TP coming in. It looks like blue side will have numbers advantage, but Perry Jungle manages to secure the smite. Sonora might just have to flash out. Flash being forced. Perry looking to maybe get out, but he's silenced. He can't move and he will fall yet again. Ractic queuing over the wall, trying to look for a play on Crimson. Tries going for it, but he just can't because Riven has four dashes in her kit on a two second goddamn cooldown. Not to mention the fact that after she uses one of her abilities that is a dash that either gives her a shield or it gives her damage and also amplifies her passive, which gives her more damage. That seems very healthy for the game. That seems very healthy for the game. And now it looks like red team shoving in the waves, looking to start knocking down on the turrets. All right, Rift Herald hitting the tower, but won't find the damage to kill. Red side trying to use this as an advantage to start the dragon. They're down thousands of gold. They're down two dragons already, but they're gonna try to contest. Solidified. Holding the front, trying to walk in, trying to be escorted. Cupic looking for damage. Finds the finds the and the Lucid. Solidified going in, finds the ult on the virus. Virus getting CC'd, and Solidified will return to his team. Virus trying to auto, trying to do something, but everyone will fall. It's just not enough. Crimson falls, Unabuna falls, Sonora falls, Dragon falls. And now as we sit here and we look at the fact that Gamer Girls team up 8 kills, 3 dragons, 3.7 thousand gold. How did you get that number? I'll tell you. 3, 6, 1, minus 3, 2, 3, 1, minus 3, negative 2, 6, minus 2, 4, take away the 4 because it was 1, 4, minus 1, 3, 3, plus 4, 3.4, 3.4 K gold lead right now on Team Gamer Girl. Ractic tries to look for a hover, but he will get caught. Tobias Fate, 1,000 true damage on his passive, and they just one shot Viego. Viego, who built Blade of the Ruin King, decided to go and build full damage, even though his team already has a damage overload with Lux and Nyla. Deciding to build full damage versus a comp that can chain CC him and kill him. And now red side might just take this as an opportunity to start the dragon. But Cupic lands his Q and just one shots. Let's get a timer on Cupic's ult. He just used it. Joe, what's up? Oh, 18 seconds left. Nice. He just used his ult. It has 18 seconds left. That's fucking balanced, I think. That is absolutely balanced. Here's a hot take. Lux is the AP version of Zed. We're watching as red side tries desperately to hold their own down so much with a forest that rushed blade of the rune king and only has one item 22 minutes in wait what's the goal difference on adc right now i'm actually curious Varus down over six. Oh no, it's not six thousand. Okay, Varus down four thousand gold, down an entire item. Not looking too hot for Team Red. Gamer Girl saw that Tobias Fate locked in the GP, and she said, "I don't want none of that," and decided to play bot lane and show the enemy bot lane just what a challenger Katarina Wanchek is capable of doing off roll. I'm gonna be honest with you though, I didn't even think Katarina Wanchek could tie their own shoes. The fact that she's actually executing a Nyla performance is not too shabby. But then we also have to keep in mind that there was the bot lane gank early on that swung it around. Alright, and now Team Red looking to try for something on blue side. They're sitting there, they're prepping it. They're getting it all nice and ready. Getting the river 
everything all nice and prepared as Perry starts hitting the Baron. Raktik hitting the Dragon. Is Blue gonna trade Soul for Baron? They just might. But Blue is actually looking to contest. Lux throwing out her E, getting Vision. She has an ult on a 10 second cooldown. Will she look to use it? Going for the Q on Crimson, it misses. Perry going all in, for applying pressure. Crimson looking for flank. Lux ult completely wasted. Nyla will ult! But can she find a kill? Crimson getting chased down, getting exhausted. Nyla following it up. Cupid finds a kill! Taco is 1v2, but she will survive! And three members of Team Tobias Fate will fall. Four members will fall. And now, as we're looking at the state of the game, Team Tobias down 12 kills, down four dragons, down three towers, down one Baron. Inhib will fall 14 Gamer Girl. And as they run around with their movement speed given to them by Cloud Soul, the most OP dragon in the game, Team Gamer Girl shoving out bot, looking to play on two lanes. Solidified, walking up, trying to pressure. Tobias Fate almost gets caught by the ult, but even though the Lux one doesn't find him, the own one will. Perry going in, Crimson going in, but they can't find any kills. Soraka healing is just too much, but Crimson goes back in, finds a kill on Soraka. Nyla will trade, Riven will die. Back to going in, trying for a kill, finds a kill on Varus. He will take the form and he will get out. And just like that, Tobias Faith showing the world yet again that he has an insane KDA, but he'll still fucking lose every single time. The reason why this guy just can't take rank fucking serious anymore. Sitting here, lowest death count on the team, trying his best, but it's just never enough as Team Gamer Girl knocks on the nexus ends the game and secures the first victory of the day now we'll bring them in for a little post game chat and see what both captains have to say about that game yes i'm here all right so before we start i just want to ask tobias one question are you ready yeah, what is it Sure, go How for does it, it feel that even in a team environment, you'll still always have only one or zero deaths, but you'll always fucking lose no matter what? Give me your thoughts on that. Bro, that's life, man. You take the loss, you move on. No pain, no gain. Shit happens. It is what it is. <laughs> Bro's going to draft the most insecure mid lane against me. Disgusting. You take it and you go next. True. That's it. Gamer Girl, we saw that in Champ Select, you decided to dodge Tobias Fate and not play against his infamous Gangplank, and it ended up t giving you the victory. So what is your take on the game? Basically, I don't know why the fuck they left Lux open and Nyla open. Those are like... Well, oh, hold on, hold on. Nyla? Nobody cares about that champion. It's only Lux. That's it. Lux is gone. I think it's a free win. But you know no, what? You did win, so that's no, okay. No, that's no, true. No, no it's no, true. No, that's no, no. How? Okay. Well, I'm just gonna say that. That's okay. I'm good with that. <laughs> but your bot lane is down three levels. Very my homeless. bot lane, very homeless. My bot lane's also diamond one and emerald four, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Well, well, your top side was homeless too. Yeah, shit happens in this economy. I don't blame them. <laughs> You're right. In this economy, in this economy, in, in Bro, economy. Whoa, whoa, yikes. <sighs> okay, that's besides the point. So anyways, Gamer Girl, Tobias, great first game of the day. Was a very uh, well-fought match by both of you. Wasn't close at all, though. But regardless, <laughs> we know that both of you gave it your all, and it showed on the big screen. So I just want to thank you all. Thank you both, and wish you both the best of luck on the rest of your games today. Thank you so yeah. much. GG's. Take it easy, man. GGs. Take it easy, game. Right. GG's, GG's. You too. Good game, guys. All right, so now, guys, for all those that are unaware, we have a grudge match coming in. 
versus two of the biggest names, the biggest egos in all of NA. And I'm not talking about Tarzan. We're bringing in today TF Blade versus I Will Dominate. Once friends, once people who lived with one another. Until one solo queue game changed everything and ruined a years-long friendship. Since then, neither of them have talked to each other apart from today. Will be the first time that they get in call once again as they settle this rivalry once and for all. TF Blade! Yo! All right, hold on. We got to bring in the Dominator. Vin's all for. Is it no, three, no, no. actually? Oh, yo, what's up, what's oh, up? Oh, sure. Oh, wait, Dom, you're here. All right, so anyways, let's get into the game. Guys, TF Blade, I will dominate. You guys were both once friends living with one another until one solo queue game turned everything sour and turned friends into rivals. So now I just want to know, as that we are about so to... Oh, wait, you guys are good now? I mean, uh, from my yeah, side, I don't fine. really know. Yeah, I mean, we're fine. Oh. I mean, whatever, like, I don't know. I feel like Blade changed, though. Low-key. Like <laughs> How did Blade like, change? You are in a good way or a bad way? And, and a, yeah. Dude, I remember... I, okay, so when I first met Blade, he had the best mental out of any player. He would literally just never type a thing, and he would just get, like, rank one every account, never type, like, never flame anyone. Like, he would just try to win no matter what. I think solo queue broke this, man. Yep. Repetition of League of Legends does that to you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it broke it broke me long ago, but I'm saying I'm saying it, it broke Blade. It yeah. Broke Blade for sure. It yep. happens to everyone. Yep. And speaking of broke blades, we're not talking about broken blade. We're talking about TF Blade, who doesn't play Riven, even though she uses a broken blade. Mm hmm Great, uh, man. Excellent. Okay. Anyways, um, so that being said, are you guys ready? All right, so now, uh, Dom, what's your score right now? Win loss. Uh, four and five. Four and five. Tia played. What's your score? Six three. No, we're. I I checked. Even if we lose all three, we're like, but there's no way we can be eliminated. Okay. So since Dom has more losses, Dom, you get to choose first color. Which one do you want? Uh, red. All right. Bro, can you just split it up again? Can we just do it the way we did it last time? Like, no! get the show on the road, bro. No, I don't have no, all day. no, you, no, you need to choose the colors. Blade, which one do you want? Um, yellow. Okay. All right, Dom. Uh, blue. Okay, and wait, then. This is... Wait, this is so fucked up. Wait, doesn't he have to? All right, no, whatever, you'll, you'll see, blue. you'll see. Okay, okay, then TF Blade wants dark blue. So now, Dom, you get to choose one of the four. One, two, three, or four. Uh, let's go one. All right, so we have the wheel locked in, and now we roll. Bro, you couldn't find some, like, even-ass wheel? You had to do That's this shit I'm with, saying. like, the mismatched colors? Like, come on, bro. Guess how much this wheel costed me? Two dollars. Fifteen. All right. 15. Anyways, the the fact that I spent three hundred dollars on this wheel doesn't matter, as I will Bro, dominate. No way. No as way, I no will way. dominate wins the draft. Dom. Okay. Okay. Which one do you? Which side do you want? Uh, I'll I'll discuss with my team, and we'll uh, yeah, we'll get we'll get you, and we get in the. Um, yeah. Yeah. The day where everything is on the line. If Team I Will Dominate loses this game, there is a chance that they could face elimination. Everything on the line right now. And now TF Blade walking up to Dom, trying to look for the kill, popping the E, but the AoE slow from Udyr won't allow him to get it done. They're looking for trades on each other. TF Blade walking up. He has flash, he has ignite. He's lining the E, but I will dominate! Casting the empowered R, looking for something. Potion coming in from TF Blade. Oh my god, we have a riveting display of matchup knowledge, of mechanics right now, as we watch Udyr versus Garen play out in the top lane. 
I will dominate. Walking up, looking for some ult damage, casting the R. Tiempe going W second, avoiding a lot of damage as the wave crashes and he can just chill. Speaking of chilling, we have Anivia throwing out her Q. And the reason why I said speaking of chilling is because Anivia is a cryo phoenix. Cryo is cold. Cold is chill. Chill is cold. And as we're thinking about cold, we're looking at the side steps on Draven as he goes for an out trade on the enemy bot. Trying to stop him from getting his reset off. Tiamplate not having TP. Knows that if Dom can reset TP and catch the wave, it's bad lane state for him. But Limo's hovering topside. If Tiamplate tries to catch, he might just get caught. Done! Walking top. It might be a 3v1 on the mid. I will dominate going in. Getting the CC. Tiamplate looking for a way out. But he sees three are in. And he knows that he will fall! Olympus has fallen as the upgrade dies and gives first blood. But while blue side looks for a play on the top side, it looks like red side is looking to trade bot. Kraken, as well as the ADC whose name I keep forgetting, get out traded and are forced to reset. Limo looking for a gank mid. Holding on to the EQ, trying to force Tempest Flash. Auto, auto, EQ. Flash has been forced. As Anivia backs off and just has to recall. Dragon spawning soon. Well, either jungle or to contest it, they just might. Dark Sword looking for a full clear. As Limo looks for his Gromp. And now Dark Sword. Forced to try to hover TF blade so he doesn't get screamed out any longer as Limo decides to ignore top and just play for his clear. And now we're watching and we're waiting as TF blade and I will dominate fighting once again. Dom going in for the fight. Nocturne is top TF blade baiting him towards Dark Sword. Dark Sword might just look for kill. He has ult. He could look for it. But he won't. Because Udir, for some reason, is allowed to double W, get an 800 health shield, heal for 100 health over a few seconds, and then if he autos, heal even more. Seraphine PH makes the same sound as F. 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 Seraphine replace PH with F. Seraphine. Seraphine is not fine. She is unbalanced. Remember that. As Tia played and I will dominate. Looking for a fight. Tia played goes for the flash. And I will dominate. Will fall. And just like that. Tia played showing his father just what he is capable of. He's saying, you know what? You wanted to come home all those years. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Whatever. And you wanted. Okay. Okay, how can I. Okay, wait, let me explain. TF Blade looking, okay wait, oh shit. Let's just say that when it comes to League, you always have to plan ahead. As Limo and Dunn take advantage of the fact that Tempest didn't. And secure the kill on Anivia mid. And now Nocturne going in. Trying to look for a play, but he will get caught. Flash being forced. Amelia and Horsey trying to look for a play. The ult coming in and misses on Dunn. Dunn, Limo trying to look for something as I will dominate comes in on the flank. Oh my god! Limo with the re-engage knocks up, gets a kill. I will dominate comes in, finds another, but I think the play might just be dead. And just like that. Team, I will dominate. Up one kill, up one herald, but I will dominate down 10 years of his life as Anivia takes him down. But Limo looks for the trade. And now it looks like 5 to 2. 5 to 2. Karis Mai's height when I met him in real life. 5 2. All the. All the numbers lining up once again for us. As Red Side secures the dragon. 
and are able to finally be on the board. But still, not a turret has been taken on the map, which is a bit con concerning and surprising for Team TF Blade. Because for everyone that's watched them play, Team TF Blade always plays for First Herald, and then they always try to get that gold on the Sean action. Sean, Sean Mendez, Camilla Cabello, dating. Think about it. It all lines up. As Limo hits the Herald, trying to secure second Herald. Dark Sword going in, finds the ult on Oriana. Will he be able to kill? Oriana down to half HP. Dark Sword blast coming out. Tiempe coming into zone. As I will dominate 1v2s. And Limo looks for a re-engage. But China killing everyone to fall. Tempest on the flank finds the shutdown and looks for a chase on Lulu. Tempest getting the kill on I will dominate. And Red Side showing up and finding a way to turn the tide. As TF Blade looks for the turret, I will dominate. Is that he does have TP, but that demolish proc is just too much. And TF Blade will secure the first turret of the game. Limo looking for a fight on Horsey. Horsey throwing out the ult. The cleanse comes in for Javen, and Horsey will fall. Done. Walking up, looking for an angle, looking for an opportunity. But red side is forced to flash out. I will dominate, not using his W to dodge CC. Because the only thing he's been dodging has been the DMV for the last 20 years. Because they want to take away his license. Because people that old just shouldn't be allowed on the fucking road. In game, goddammit. Tiapli trying to fight. I will dominate. But Udir is just looking a little too balanced right now. He's just looking a little too balanced right now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Shield every one second. Healing. Yeah, use your Empower W now. Shield for another 800 and then heal for that same round too. Ood, you're looking insanely balanced right now. Alright. Blue side trying to look for the turret play. Lima walking up, applying pressure. While Tia and I will dominate. Duke it out on the bot side. Anivia finds a Q on Lulu. Lulu chains the seed. Will she die? No, she won't. I will dominate versus Tiapa in the ball lane. I will dominate healing, shielding, but it just isn't enough. Wholesome Garen takes. I will dominate down yet again. Tiapa getting collapsed on by Limo. Limo finding the knockup, autoing Tiapa trying to run, but he won't be able to. And just like that, Tiapa will fall. Tiapa. 45 seconds left on his that timer. The entire blue spide, a uh, blue side respawn. They might just look for the Baron play. For everyone typing Forsen emotes in my chat right now, just know that Forsen watched five minutes of a, of like my stream highlights two years ago and said, "How the fuck can anyone watch this Zoomer dude?" And now as I like, tell you guys that story, blue side looking to secure the Baron. 5k left, and Limo decides to engage. Horsey throwing out an ult, it lands on two. Limo ult EQing in with the knockup. Nocturne will ult, but nothing can be done. As Blue Side manages to regroup, and the entirety of Web's Red Side will get wiped. Red Side minions forcing on the bot lane, opening a Nexus Tower as Red Side decides to give the Baron and tries to trade Dragon. Mountain Drag will fall in favor of Team TF Blade. Tied in Dragons, two against two. Blue team pushing mid as four, but red team has Anivia and Seraphine. They can wave clear. Tiapid using this as an opportunity to just knock down turret after turret. Hull breaker tank top. That's really fun to play against. I will dominate getting the special treatment as Tiapid tries to go for a trade. Blue side ditching mid and trying to do something but the limo's gonna go in he's gonna find the pick out on tempest and tempest will fall and just like that half of 
Red Team's wave clear is gone. Draven looking for maybe a potential kill on Amelia. He has the cleanse. But it looks like Blue will just look to reset and regroup. Blade still trying to fight against Udyr, but does not build Serpents. He will never be able to kill Udyr if he doesn't build Serpents, I'm going to be honest. But he also needs Cleaver, so what is he even supposed to do? Nothing. So now it looks like Limo looking for some kind of engage. EQing in 1v5? Okay, well, I mean, Red Side has no vision, so they didn't know that he was alone. But who is alone is TF Blade, caught out on the ball lane. I will dominate, looking for a chase. Might just look for the kill. Speaking of chase, never forget, Grow Score misinterpreting a famous line of a song and saying, chase a chick, never chase a bitch. Not realizing that the real word was check. And completely just fucking up the meaning of the entire song. And now we watch as Horsey falls yet again. 0-5-0. Zero, zero. As we look at Draven's build and we see he built Trinity Force and Serax Gauge. All we can think is, wow. How fun does this look to play against? ADC's building tank items. Welcome to Season 13. Dragon spawning in 15 seconds. Blue side looking to get it set up. Shoving out bot. Getting vision secured on the bot side jungle but not touching the mid wave. Red team might look to contest. No, they won't. They'll just let it drop. Are they going to trade and try to look for a play around Baron? That is the real question. Wait, Carvis? It looks like Carvis is holding! Uh-oh. I forgot to build Zonia's. It's... Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, Joe... <laughs> Joe, isn't there supposed to be like a visual effect of the Karthus salt? <laughs> Joe, you know what? It's... Oh, okay, okay. Alright. Karthus is ulting! Okay, you know what? It, it's, it's fine. We're... Oh my god! I'm in... Oh. Alright, and now as I'm starting to respawn, it looks like blue side is fighting against red. Shields, heals, damage all flying and coming in. Blue side secured the dragon. Blue side secured the baron. But will they be able to secure a winning team fight? It looks like even with all these advantages, Red Side is still able to hold their own. Even down 11 kills, even down 8k gold. Tia played on the flank, looks for the kill on Limo, but Limo will escape. Even with Baron, Blue Side getting pressured so hard that they just can't do anything. Alright. Blue Side now getting the pressure in. Tia played has flash, he has a flank, he might just look for play. His flash is up, his ult is up. Limo EQing out. Balling looking for a tactical retreat, but they might not find it. Tiapai is on the flank! Dark Sword is ulting in! AOE coming in! Tiapai shuts down Draven! As Red looks to trade! Done, gets the double kill. Limo EQing in, finds a knock upon Tempest, and it looks like Tempest might just fall. Done, caught in the cryo Phoenix assault, but it's just not enough. Tempest will fall. Dark Sword will fall. Tia Blade will fall. And as waves start to crash mid and bot, all we're thinking is can Horsey get it done? Or 
Will he be able to get it done? Yay or not? Nay. Get it? Yay or nay? Nay is also the sounds that horses make. But I'm not talking about what they eat, which is hay. As blue team looks to finally push their advantage into a winning game. And blue side takes the victory. Team I will dominate. Ending the game. And TF Blade's father making his son sit down. And now we're going to bring in TF Blade and... I will dominate in to the interview section. All right, TF Blade, explain us what just happened. <laughs> We're practicing split push <laughs> with my team. TF Blade, every time you lose, are you just going to say you were practicing or are you going to take accountability well, I mean, for like, your losses? From the looks of it, we need the practice, don't we? Look at that <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we need practice, man. I don't know. We have to, because it's fearless draft. We have one composition that works. And in fearless draft, we can't fucking do it. I know what you mean. Yeah, so, so we're practicing like every scenario, but it's like, it's looking rough, man. But honestly, I'm hopeful. All right. Rough, but hopeful. I will dominate. What are your thoughts on the game that just happened? Bro, all I'm saying is all Garen players are... No way you're going to complain about Garen as we there. Bro, Garen is so cringe. Like, come Garen with Ignite on is now. so I just cringe. picked that matchup. I play, play, <laughs> come on. I play you... every single Garen in solo queue, and every single Garen, they just hide behind their turret, they regen, they hit two items, they split push the entire Bro, game. You're Garen players zero are damage the most for the first inflated. 20 minutes. The, the Garen players are the most inflated <laughs> players on the server. Have uh, you ever seen a Garen on. one trick get banned second. out? Wait, wait, give me a Have second. Have you seen a Garen one trick get banned out? Wait, Have wait. anyone seen a Garen challenger dumb. one trick get banned wait, out? Wait, what dumb, do they dumb, look like, dumb, bro? Dumb. Give me one second before we elaborate. Joe, can you show us damage shielded on I will dominate Udir top for one second? I just want to see the shielding done. Advanced details and then it's like shielding done. Because wow. we're talking. He shielded more damage than me or what? Wait, wait, that, uh, wait, click graphs. No, that's wrong. That has to be healing, right? No, no, I want to see. Uh, you need to click uh, graphs. Where is it? Because it's not ally shielding. It's like... Okay, wait. Uh, okay, where is it? Is there any way to show it? Uh, do self-mitigated damage. Self-mitigated damage. I think it's that one. I will dominate. You self-mitigated 110,000 damage that game. <laughs> yep. And that's, that's, that's what Top Gap is about. It's about self-damage mitigation. I mean, dude, like, you don't want me to play Vayne, you don't want me to play Garen, you want me to leave with your open for you. Do you want to just leave lane or something, and then you can lane against, like, minions? Bro, bro I don't give, know. Give me a real laptop. I'm giving you everything you want. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, all right. No, it's fine. Next time, next time I just know that... that... If a Garen's in my lane, I just play it to only fucking push the lane and I never fight him because every Garen player with Ignite is inflated by a thousand LP. Go look at every single Garen player on the ladder and have them ban I'm out I'm not Garen even a Garen player, player and you know like. this, right? Like, I just play every champ. Okay, so do you think Garen's inflated or not? Garen's a bit easy for solo kill, but Udyr is 10 times more inflated in my opinion. Because Garen gets <laughs> punished if he Where, why, Okay, so then why is why is there no Udyr players in Challenger? There's no Udyr top players in Challenger, Champ, but there's a million Garen players. It's more players. boring than fucking Garen. You just keep swimming the same thing. But how's it is a couple how's of... more boring than Garen? All right, bro, listen. There's a couple of child, massive Guys, Udyr players. We have to Udyr, get... They're like listen. Silver. We have to get okay, to the sure. final match of the game of the day but the good news is that you guys can maybe have this conversation again because it looks like dom you winning that game secures that you will move on to quarterfinals so there might Perfect. be a chance that you guys play against one another but i just want to thank you both for the game great performances by both and i wish you luck in your last game of the day all right good luck bro peace peace all right peace all right guys now it's time the final match of the day the highly anticipated the ultimate grudge match we have tarzan versus hums coming in hot i purposely left out this match so that we could have it as the final game of the casted series and now we're just going to bring them both into call and get a pre-game <laughs> interview going on so all right, hold on. We're going to bring in Hums. Give me a second. Yo. 
All right. So the final game of the round robin, Tarzan versus Hums. How are you feeling? Let's start off with you, Hums. We feel good. Tarzan's already complaining in general chat the whole time that he's accusing our top player for cheating. He's oh, already never, tilted. That's never what happened. I said there's a you chance. Already? Scenario. Let me speak, you fucking monkey. Stop. It's not your turn. Me. It's not your turn. Let me finish what I'm going to say. First of all, Tarzan is, Tarzan is literally saying my top player is a cheater because he's gapping the fuck out of his top player. His, he's mad about that. His top player is fucking masters getting got by a low elo player. So now he thinks that our top player is cheating. He's mad because his top player can't play Malphite and then it's a little ultimately. Our top player is down 100 CS. No offense. She's down 100 CS against every single player. But she knows how to play the game because she has game sense. She was rank one previously. And you're saying that she's cheating? Tarzan, what do you have to say for yourself? Well, I was going to respond to the question initially and Hums had a panic attack slash aneurysm and just like jumped trains. So here's no, what no, I'm going to say, right? I, the I, say. Fuck, shut up. Holy fuck. Shut the fuck Whoa. up. Whoa. Yo, you can get Whoa. these hands before Chase Shake relax, if you want, buddy. Relax. I have braces. I have braces. Yo, Tarzan, relax. Relax, buddy. Relax. 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 You speak, you fucking ugly. Relax. 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 No need to okay, I'll, I'll tell you off every time you talk. Every, we're not doing this interview because you're a fucking loser, bro. I let Yo, you speak your entire... Hums, 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 hold on, Hums, Hums, let Tarzan... You just talk over me again. But he just wait, Hums, speaking. Hums, wait, hold on. I will, wait. Let Tarzan get his two cents in because we gave you the opportunity to speak. Tarzan did not interrupt. Now you need to show him the same respect and let him get his two cents in. Tarzan, continue. All right, prior to when this tournament started, a lot of people were claiming that Silso was misranked, which I don't think is a your team problem, right? I'm saying that is Dante's fault, right? After a lot of people have been like going through this person's streams, I guess. And if you look at her league streams, she's only streamed league once every four months last year, which is very odd to me that someone can come into a tournament like this as a random and perform so consistently. So you can make mentality, you can bring up this, the thing that, oh, she's been challenger in the past. She hit rank one years ago. Which is fine. So if that is not the issue, and I'm asking for you know stream with face cam or a hand cam, her avatar, her VTube avatar distracts her. Whatever is what she said in, in her, her games or scrims, whatever. What's the problem with with streaming her her hands or whatever to showcase it's actually her playing? Because like I said, I've been in league scene for a long time. There are people to this day that stream themselves as whatever gender they are. The gender does not matter. The rank does not matter. With other people playing on their stream. And I've literally shown Dante's this as well. We were literally laughing about it. But 10 years ago is what happened. Cats had th this, was this girl claiming to be challenger and a guy played for her on stream. I'm not saying that's what's happening here. I'm saying it just seems very weird this person doesn't even play League anymore and just randomly shows up and is this good. Anyways, go ahead. I, 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 never, I told Dante's I don't want them DQ'd. I just want to know what the fuck's going on because this person... Is I, I don't know who this person is. Yeah, wait, so Hums, before you respond, I'll just like say something, right? So for anyone that is unaware, Soul Soul messaged me and told me that they were rank one like literally years ago. And when I say years ago, I mean like season like one, season two, right? And the two accounts they linked to me were two accounts where both accounts didn't have many ranked games played and they would only have maybe five to ten games a season, right? And the accounts never went past like gold platinum. So that's the reason why I initially ranked her as a low elo player, but maybe it should have been a bit higher. Maybe that's a problem on my end, right? But Hums, you can now respond. Uh huh. Uh, what was, you say? Like you can now what respond. Is it, what is respond bro, you cannot argue with Tarzan. Like if you argue with Tarzan, literally just waste time. Can I go back to my team? Good response, bro. Uh, if I had some of my team being bro, accused I, I, of cheating, I, I would, would say, not, okay, bro, I cannot wrong, argue with this guy. Bro, well, no matter what you say, it goes yeah, through one year to the other. Well, okay. You can never argue with Tarzan. Literally waste time. We, we, we deal with this all the fucking time. Can we just okay, you're unstoppable. Uh, yeah, you're so, hold on. Give me a second. I'm just erasing the, the uh, wheel, and then we can get to the spin. All right, so... Okay, so the spinning wheel is out. Uh, Hums, what is your team's score currently? Uh, I don't even know. I think we A and two. Tarzan, what's your team score? Nine one. All right. So Hums, since you lost more games than Tarzan, you do get the opportunity to choose first color. Which one do you want? Uh, red. Red. Okay. That's so red locked in for Hums. Tarzan, which one do you want? Pick whatever, I don't care, man. Like, do you want green, blue, pink, yellow? Pick whatever. 
Uh, uh, ooh, yellow is the color of happiness. What's it on? All right, Hums, your turn. The the pink one. All right. All right, Tarzan, your turn. Any color is fine. It's a 50 50 <laughs> anyway, so I don't really care. Just pick. <sighs> okay. All right, now Hums. All right, give me green, bro, if it's a problem. Sorry. What? I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Oh, you picked blue? No, wait, hold on. I'll, I'll choose green. Give me a second. All right. Yay! All right, Tarzan chooses green because he's all about getting that green. Now, Hums, you get to choose one, two, three, or four. Which one do you want? What the fuck does that even mean? Pink points in the first one and second one? Yeah, I just said. So the first one is this one, and then the second one is this for, one. For, for... First one, first one. All right, so that's that one for Hamza, and Tarzan gets the rest. All right, now the final spinny wheel of the round robins. And it looks like Hums takes the win. Hums, which side do you want? Uh, I'll go red side. All right, so red side locked in for Hums. Tarzan will be blue side. Uh, Tarzan, I think I have you added. So, um, Tarzan, you can make the lobby. Hums, uh, just message me the IGN of someone I can invite, and then we'll get right into the custom. Hums, hashtag 0001. Okay, I'll just add you right now. And now... As we're starting the final game of the round robin, Joe is going to be bringing up the current standings of every team so we can see which teams are facing elimination and which ones are guaranteed the position to move. So it's looking like Team Sorabaka, one wins, nine loss, guaranteed elimination. Team Chick2G, two wins, eight loss, guaranteed elimination. Charismai, Lorlo, if they win their games, will be tied with with Solar and Acton only if he loses. And there could potentially be a three-way tie. I think there's a tie. They play 10 games, no? No, wait. Oh my god, wait. Are they supposed to play 10 games or 11? No, it's 11 games. 11 games. Yeah, it's 11 games. So, it's supposed to be 11 games, so... There is a chance we have a t three way tie, but uh, someone was actually asking me yesterday and said, Dantes, what happens if there's a three way tie? And I said, I don't fucking know, so let's just pray to God there isn't. You know what I mean? So let's just hope that one of those teams loses and the other one wins, and then we can just be really happy. Who do you guys think will? win. If Tarzan wins, he guarantees first place in the round robin. If Hums wins, he takes down Team Tarzan and ties for first and second. There's a lot on the line right now. A lot on the line. Type 1 if you're Team Tars, type 2 if you're Team Hums. I need to know who do you guys have? The doctor or the nose? And it looks like we are off! to the start of the final game of the round robin the top two highest scoring teams hums versus tarzan battling head to head for first place looks like no early invades happening no early plays looking to be made as both teams just protect their entrances everyone just playing their lane dave mon looking for fight on pikachu early on Gets a trade, but gets out-traded. However, Brikachu's health potion is forced. We're watching what's being done. We have a tank versus tank matchup top lane. Never seen before. They're both going to be 0 KP at 20 minutes. Both building full tank with absolutely nothing going on. Never seen before. As jungle, yet again, no carries being locked in. Just a bunch of CC setups. And mid lane, a carry locked in for red side. A controller locked in for blue side. And now we're looking as Tarzane finishes his red. K-Man does his gromp. 
Bob Pryor for the Zane. He might just look for a play on the crab. However, Brikachu is getting shoved in. Dave Mon could look for first roam. Top lane, no one even cares about top. It is what it is. Everyone, even in CS, apart from top, where Sil Soul is up 15 CS on Killa G. <laughs> and we all know the amount of arguments that are about to spawn in the post-game chat. As Sil Soul is just chilling farming versus a champion that can't even contest farm and isn't even looking to trade. Look, Killaji not even looking for any damage at all. Just watching as Sil Soul farms. But Tarzan is gonna see that Sil Soul is getting a good CS per minute and it's gonna infuriate him. And in that fury, we might just get the best content of the tourney. As Tarzan looks to take the dragon. K-Man walking in might look for the steal, but he doesn't have his team anywhere near. Joking, not zoning, not doing anything, just autoing it. But Tarzan might just go in. Daemon has ult, could look for play. K-Man flashing in, might look for the smite. And Tarzan with the perfect smite secures it for his team. K-Man will fall. Yonot will come in. Joking gets hit by it, but nothing will happen. Tarzan securing the winning play as Duo King steals two kills from his team. Duo King stealing every kill from his team after not even trying to zone K-Man while Tarzan gets the perfect joke. Can we get a replay on that smite? I want to show everyone just how fucking cracked out of his mind Tarzan is right now. Operating not on caffeine or drugs or anything but just the urge to win i want you to look at the 600 health smite look at this everyone watch and appreciate it say what you will about him but look at this 760 600 586 insta smite secured for blue side and then flashing the yon ult and securing the winning play of the early game we have the Challenger Master bot lane matchup right now. Hums, Nikic, Challenger Master, Duo King, Mechanical Player, Challenger Master. A high elo fight breaking out. But Mechanical Player and Duo King have a little bit of a disadvantage because Team Hums has something on the bot lane synergy that the other team doesn't. And that's 75 games duo experience in Diamond 1. Now the question is, will all that practice show up and will they be able to actually get something done? Only time will tell. There's a CS lead right now for red side. And that just made up for their gold disadvantage in kills. Team Tarzan hoping that he can maybe take the Herald. Starting it, he's asking for Cho'Gath to roam down. Cho'Gath roaming down, but K-Man just isn't even on the same side of the map as him. And now it looks like Heyman trying to set up for the dragon play. Tarzan might just like to contest. He has no camps to farm. The only thing he can do is contest. Rikachu holding off to the side. But she gets salted on. And she will escape. But that's Dave Mon's ult down. Tarzan going in. Duel King ulting in. Tarzan and Duel King fighting the cops on Hums. And just like that, Hums will fall. Mechanical player throwing out autos. Trying to find the kill on Sejuani. Tarzan going in, finding the E on Renata. But Renata will flash. And just like that, Team Tarzan winning yet another fight. And just like that, second dragon will fall in favor of Team Tarzan. Dave Mon looking for a way to shove. Looking for a way to look for a kill. Trying to show the enemy mid laner. This is the reason why I'm much higher rank. But just isn't able to find any opportunities. Tarzan looking top. After all the things he said about Sil Soul, he might just try to send her back to base. Killaji predicting the E. Finds a knockup, but won't find anything more than a damage trade. Sil Soul. Force under tower without alt will not be able to contest this herald. K Man shows bot. Will Tarzan go for the herald? He W's into the pit and he starts it. K Man walking up, but Nikic is just bot lane, not even rotating. 
not looking for any kind of map movement as Duel King commits towards the Herald play. Hums and Nikic both resetting, hoping maybe they can get there in time, but there's not a chance in hell as Tarzan secures the third objective of the game. And it looks like Shen is chilling, just farming as Daemon goes in on Pikachu and finds the kill. Just like that, Pikachu will fall, and Davemon is able to get more than just CS in this lane. Tarzan looking for a potential lane gank, entering through lane, but knows that he won't find anything, so just resets instead, but cancels his back, might look for the crab here. Davemon again looking for a trade. Flashing the ult! And he finds a killing spree on Pikachu, who was just unprepared. They banned his Pike. They banned his Silas. But they didn't ban a 2023 champion, Yon. Why they would ban Davemon's Pike when Pike is there, like. Who. Who's going to do anything as Pike mid, dude? Honestly. In any kind of comp setting. I don't understand it, but you know what? It is what it is. And now we're watching. Looks like kills have evened out across the board with Dragon spawning in three seconds. Kill a G, roaming to Dragon from base. Shen has alt, no TP. We might just have a team fight breakout. Just like my face after I eat McDonald's breaking out in acne. As Tarzan goes in for the engage with Duel King. Nikic forced the flash. So so ulting Hums at full HP. Looking for the E. Completely misses it. Tarzan looking for the re-engage. Finds the ult. Finds the kill. Nikic will fall. Gets it to find center proc. Flashes away. But it's not enough. And Tarzan will live. Duel King with the flash. Kills Hums. And just like that, Nikic and Hums sent right back to base. Davemon trying to do something on the flank, unable to find an angle. Gets the kill on Killer G. Davemon forced to back off. Can't do anything. And now Blue Side is looking to push their kill advantages and get the third dragon of the game. K-Man goes in, gets the steal. Eight thirty-nine, perfect smite from K-Man as Tarzan watches the third dragon get stolen. K-Man farming right now. No objectives spawning for a little while. Baron in 40, Dragon in 4 minutes. Jin's favorite number, 4. A lot of 4s. Team Hum's kill count, 4. The amount of kills Davemon has, 4. The amount of assists Rakan has, 4. The amount of CS Renata has, 4. 4 is everywhere. As we look at the state of the game. Okay, man, might just look for a Q over the wall, might just look for Nalta as well. If he does, it could be a pick opportunity. But nothing will happen. As Tarzan takes the red and might just look for Davemon shutdown. Davemon, yet to be killed throughout the entire game, might just find his first death. Cho'Gath missing the Q, Tarzan coming in. Davemon, finding the ult, finding the ult from Soso, gets! The kill on Killer G as Tarzan is forced to ult away. With Shen all down, will Team Tarzan look to try forcing the Baron? Silso has TP, but without ult, Shen is a useless champ. It looks like Red Side looking to start the Baron. Tarzan caught with his pants down, farming Krugs. Wasn't expecting this. Rikachu coming in. Mechanical player Duel King coming in. Will they look for contest? Nikic getting a zero man alt. Alting the fucking control ward. As Daemon goes in, tries for a kill on mechanical player. Gets the flash and gets the kill. 
Dave Mon solo carrying his team 100% of Team Hamza's kills. Team Hums securing the dragon. Tarzan, I'm wanting to contest. Mechanical player tries for Daemon, but Daemon gets sealed from so so. K Man ulting in, but Mechanical player will also ult. Duo King trying to peel. It looks like Bob might have the opportunity to escape, but Hums lands the ult. And just like that, no blood will be spilled. Daemon fighting Killer G, and even though Killer G tries holding the turret, he just won't. And just like that, Hums is now on the board. Hums with his first kill of the game. Now listen, in my opinion, right, I'm not a Varus one trick. But if I see an enemy team like that, 100% of the time, I'm building Radiant Virtue. Wukong dives with Orianna ult and Rakan, right? So so why not just go? Bork, Wits, and Radiant Virtue, you're unkillable. And said Hums decides to say, you know what? I'm going to put Chuss in my team. I have the Renata revive. I have the Shen ult. Maybe it will be enough to win. Now we're watching. Red side is starting the Baron. And Tarzan might just come in. He's looking to contest. Tarzan going in, he might just get caught, he has no W, Duo King and Mechanical Player fighting the enemy bot 2v2, Tarzan forced to flash ult, ulting out, and he manages to escape, Hams will fall, Tarzan on Nickage, while the rest of Red Side takes on the enemy frontline, Cho'Gath, Rakan and Wukong, the only ones left, as Tarzan looks to try and secure another kill, but he won't, Davemon, 500 HP, Nickage 200 HP, there's no way they can look for the Baron, but maybe Tarzan might just try for the Dragon, might just try for the third drag play. Daemon resetting TPing back in, and it looks like Tarzan might just get Baron and trade the third drag. And just like that red team secures the baron and blue team secures the dragon now the question is will hums with his 5k gold lead be able to actually put the pressure daemon ulting and looking for a fight on Pikachu, but Pikachu ults and escapes daemon 15 thousand gold six thousand gold lead right now on his counterpart team tarzan team hums both at an impasse no objective to fight for no one grouping up but it looks like yon will be playing top and Silsol will be playing bot red side playing on three lanes with the baron advantage blue side Forced to respond to that. Davemon going in. Might try to look for a kill. Nickage. Hums also finding the collapse. And just like that, Killer G dies yet again. As Red Team pushes the inner turret and pushes their advantage. Davemon looking for knots, but Mechanical Player counters with his. No kills will be found. As Tarzan shoves out the mid wave. Makes it impossible for Red to push out mid and look for that other inner turret. But Red might just look for a force fight as Silsoul backs off the inner turret when it has 200 health left. Tarzan looking on the side for a flank. Goes in for a small trade. But that small trade might just turn into a lot more as K-Man refuses to queue out and dies to blue side. Tarzan going for reset. Is he going to sell his Doran's Blade for two control wards? Let's see. He won't. He got an elixir. Tarzan going all out for this fight because he knows that it might just be the game decider. 
if Tarzane's team wins this fight, they will get Soul, and they might be able to get enough turrets to bridge the gold gap. If Hamza's team wins this fight, then they're only one dragon from Soul, and they might be able to look for a push that ends the game. Two Guardian Angels on the side of Team Hums. Yon, splitting top, getting the inhib, kill a G, can't even contest. Just has to watch as Yon takes his base. Blue side, giving Dragon so that they can contest the Yon split. And just like that, no team fight breaks out. Yon executing to the fountain. For all of you that thinks he's trolling, he executed to the fountain so his GA doesn't proc. If you die to fountain, your GA doesn't proc. So he wanted to save his GA for the Baron time in 30 seconds. And that's the reason why he did. Team Tarzan starting the Baron. Team Hums looking to contest. Shen is bought, can look for an ult, Baron is 4k, Baron is 1k, and just like that, Baron for the side of Team Tarzan, Renard ult coming in, landing on one, Ricard ult coming in, Tarzan gets the ult, Sejuani falls, Hams falls, GA being proc, Daemon ulting, hitting none, and just like that, Young ult wasted, Pikachu holding him up, Jums will get shut down, Yon will lose his GA! Just like that! Team Tarzan turning the game around in typical Tarzan fashion. Down thousands of gold, just playing the fights better and finding kills, finding winning angles, and winning the fight. Baron for the side of Tarzan. 40 seconds left on Dave Mon. 30 seconds up on Soul Soul, 20 seconds up on Hums. Blue Red Side has no wave clear alive. Will Blue Side look to end? TP coming in, and just like that, Team Tarzan knocks down three turrets, knocks down the Nexus, and secures first place in the Dantes Invitational Round Robin against Team Hums. The 4X showing that he's not just rank one season six, but he is also rank one in the Round Robin. Let's bring him in. Yo. Hey, how's it going? Hold on, we're gonna bring in Hums. Give me a second. All right, Hums. Yo. All right, so after all that was said in the pregame, after all the accusations are being thrown around, we saw a slugfest ensue. And at the end of the day, Tarzan ended up being victorious. Hums, what are your thoughts on the game? It was a good game, honestly. I think that was pretty fun. We just made a bit early mistakes. Our uh, comms a bit early. We're a bit iffy, but it's fine. If it's a BO3, I'm sure we'd win that, though. See in semis. Okay. Semis okay. and finals. Damon right. was the MVP that game. I definitely could have played better in that game too. Okay, so graceful and defeat Tarzan. What do you have to say after winning that game? Oh, I'm not gonna lie. We spent like an hour last night preparing a draft for this thing. So I think Homs are contenders, like one of the better teams for sure. Honestly, like, no matter what anyone says, like I have respect for Homs. I think he's a very good player. And oh. I'm sorry, for, like, I'm just saying, I just have PTSD from stuff in the past where, like, I don't think Seal Soul's cheating. I just, you know, maybe it was an excuse before we lost or something. I don't know. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, it wasn't happening. But you guys don't have to prove anything. It's all good. It just me being a part of right. So Tarzan admitting that the only reason he was saying those things about Seal Soul was to have an excuse if he <laughs> lost. But now that he didn't, it's all good. So, yeah, it was just banter, guys. Haha. -ha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, both of you played out of your minds. Tarsin securing first place. Hum securing second place. But I will need you both in the call for now because, Joe, I need you to pull up the soundings for a second. Solar Baka, Trick 2G, Lorlo, and Karasmai completely eliminated. Will not get the chance to 
carry on. Tarzan Viper Hums, looks like you three secured third place. Now, the only thing is that what we're going to do to make this more fun for you guys, right, is we're going to do some coin flips, okay? So, Tarzan, since you're tied with Viper, I'll try to get Viper in the call. And uh, Hums, were you tied with anyone or was it the other team? Wait, what's their hat to? Didn't they beat Viper? So, Hums should pick first. Don't they just win second? No, you're no. first pick. No, so I, wait, so, you beat Viper, no? Wait, wait. So like, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. So the way it's gonna oh, work is, three. yeah. So oh, the way it's gonna work is oh. to reward the teams that won, right? So like Tarzan, you ended up uh being first place with ten one score. We're gonna give you an advantage going into quarters by being able to choose your opponent, and then after that, Viper hums. And then it's TF Blade and Tobias that will have to do, I guess, like a coin flip to determine. But, Tarzan, which team do you want to face going into quarters? You get to choose right now. So it's a guaranteed best of one, right? Yes. All right, we'll pick SRL, I guess. We'll go with the one versus eight. All right, so Tarzan securing the Tarzan versus SRL bracket for quarters. Um, I'm looking for Viper. I'll drag Viper in. All right. Viper. Yo, what's up? Yo. So, congratulations. Your team did secure second place in the round robin. So, you get to choose which team you want to play against in the quarters. Team SRO uh, was already picked. So, it has to be oh, any they were team. Picked? Yes. Okay, okay. I'm going to do. I'm going to do I will dumb. All right. So, that's right, that I will team's dumb. been going crazy. I don't know that one. Done on the Victor. Four game win spree. Nah, just ban Victor. Like, ban his champs, he's, he's done. <laughs> okay. That's true. That's true. Right. So, Viper against I Will Dominate. Now, Hums, you get to choose. Who do you want to play against in the quarterfinals? Max, so Tobias and Gamer Girl? Uh, Tobias, Gamer Girl, or if you even want to take on TF Blade, you get to choose. Mm, can I ask my team? Uh, yep, I'll give you like a minute to consult, sure. So, Gamer Girl, Tobias Fate, TF Blade. You can choose any of these three. Because the thing is, like, TF Blade can't even choose, right? Like, he just plays against whoever. Um, My team all said Gamer Girl's team. All right. So, thank you, guys. Uh, brackets have been formed. And tomorrow, same time, 4 p.m. EST, quarterfinals will begin. I'll release the schedule on when, which teams are going to play uh, tomorrow. So... I'll, I'll, or actually, I'll do that tonight. So after the stream ends, I'll do an announcement so you guys will see when you have to play. But thank you for the round robin. And yeah, good good fought match, guys. You know, that's on the way. Yes, see you guys in finals. GG's was fun. GG's, GG's. Later. GG's, see you guys. All right. So everyone, just like that, the round robin draws to a close. Four teams eliminated from the tournament. And tomorrow, every single team will compete in a head to head to see who will advance to semis. For all those wondering, the way that quarterfinals will operate is it will be a best of one following the same tournament draft. And it's only starting in semis that we're going to be switching things up. And I'll get into that after quarters ends so i'll be br announcing when which teams will play tomorrow um still haven't done any of that yet but uh can we just bring up one more time joe like the team standings but for all those that did participate and unfortunately won't be making it to the quarters so team solar baka trick 2g lorlo and Karismai, thank you guys all for participating Really, really, really do appreciate that you guys are willing to come into this event with me. And yeah, you guys gave it your all. And I'm sure that most people can be proud of the performances they put on. But starting tomorrow, four teams eliminated. The only ones remaining, Tarzan, Viper, Hums, Tiafli, Tobias Fate, Gamer Girl, Dom, and Solo Renekton only. These teams will be fighting for a chance to make it to semis. And for a chance to win the prize, which is $10,000. So just so everyone understands the way the prize is going to work, is it will be 6000 US for the winning team. Then, I think 
3,000 US for the second place, and then 1,000 US for the last for the third place team. So just because the team doesn't come in first doesn't mean they won't get anything, right? So just like that, the round robin draws to a close. Uh, for all of you that did watch over the last few days, uh, for all of you that are watching right now, peaking at like 14,000 viewers today. Um, it's crazy. So I want to thank you guys all for taking time out of your day to watch. If any of the participants are still watching, um, all those eliminated and all those still in, thank you guys all again. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun and I'm enjoying it. So I want to thank you guys all again for everything. We're going to be live again tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. So same time as today and going to be playing four matches. And remember, now that quarters are going to be live, no two teams or no, I guess four teams will be playing at the same time. So we'll be able to watch every game one by one. You won't have to like sit here and like split or anything like that. Every single game will be casted from now on. So I want to thank you guys all again for everything. Um, hope you guys all have a rest of the a great rest of the night. And I'll see you guys all again tomorrow for...